All righty, are we live? Wait for it. Wait. Oh, there it is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're watching this and it does not say live at the bottom of the screen, unfortunately, you're watching the recap. The good news is we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on mobile press. Hi, chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts Boot Camp and Real Estate Course. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very wild start here to the morning. We have a couple of different pieces of news. There's some stuff overseas. China not off to a start. You have Japan closed for a holiday. But Europe is already starting lower. You got the big issue with Boeing and SPR. We talked about it on the watch list yesterday. But for the most part, you have a lot of other assets moving around. The dollar is slightly up. Gold is down. Oil is down. There was news from the Saudis. There was a couple of things over the the weekend with the uh, Middle Eastern conflict, but all in all, we are back into this mode of the market's kind of fading, it's kind of up, we have big data this week, what's going to happen, but for now, this whole worst start to the year, it still kind of looks like it's going, but Chattadonia, I hope you're ready for all of it, I missed you on the weekend, baby, so I hope you're feeling good, oh, good morning, baby, happy birthday, Matthew, let's go. But Chattadonia, how you living, baby? Good morning. What's up, baby? What up, Kelvin? What up, Alaska? Maria, Laurie, Lucky J, Lucky Soldier, baby, Laker, J. Oh, good morning, baby. What up, Najee? Well, Philip Hamilton, Wandering, Caleb, Tony Garlinger, SQQ, Ben Stone, baby, Elite Classic, CYB, Riley Mack, me, not you, Rigo, baby, Malcolm King, Carissa Hines. Oh, good morning. What up, Richard Roy? What up, Antonio? You feel me? One wheeler, Antonio. It's Jets backwards, baby. John Daniel, and Umbrella. Baby, good morning, Kurt. Ernest Baskin in the house. Oh my goodness, Candy Upton. Good morning. What up, Eric? Winning loser, Mr. Spriggs, Antonio, Aslim, Jerry Woods, Kurt McGar, baby, Skinny FX, Ian, yeah, yeah, baby, Kyle, Mr. Where's Kyle? We got K Dog, we got Kyle, we got Kev Dog, we got Truck and Mike, Jerry Woods, Ken Sam, Sean Butler, Candy Upton again, Bill Rose, Sarah Sosa, Exidia, Sean Carter, Ian Hutchinson, Coin Fox, Jesus Duran, Lucky Soldier again, El Chapado, Bruce Beat the Tiger Man, Chris Flores, HS, right? and ask I. super takeoff Gregory what I got what I Gregory Ruiz baby Ari Jason McCoy Frankie Untamed, Colin, Monica, Sly, Benny Silverio, baby. Good morning. What up, Sean Burke? How you living, Chris Diaz? How you doing, KC Hunter? Operation Property Preservation. How you living, man? Good morning. Tyree, Trav Life, Tim Whitman, baby. Good morning. Red Red, QXO, Jason McCoy, Gunner, Sissy, Guts for the Law Term, Kevin, Jake Tovar, Nate the Great, Pixelated, Wild Style. Oh, we got a classy Egyptian in the house. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. What up, Open Face? How you living, baby? Good morning. I hope the weekend was good. How you living, Zenith? What about the Twitch? What about Slizzin? 8012, Blizzy B, JG Industries, Triple Three, T Toxy, Tuna Ranch, baby, Charlie and the Tree, Lizzie, 8012, You Nanny, Jake Gaming, S. Jones Jax, Feed Me Seymour, The Silly Wolf, Aloha, Big Curly, Most Dope, Andy. Preforms in the house, baby. Good morning. Blazing Reefer, Universe's favorite. Feed me again. Blowing Doe, Ibex, Angelo, KJ Lemur, Mother Liquor, Most Dope Annie, Robo Hand Tech, and Charlie in the Tree once again, baby. Oh, what up, Vasily? What up, Braxton? How you living? Oh, Mr. Parmesan. How you doing, man? Smealy De Niro. Oh, my goodness. So, Chattadoni, I hope you guys had a good weekend. This is week number two, baby. Week number two of 2024. I hope you're locked and loaded. Again, we already got curveballs with the news, but overall general market, I think they're chalking it up to technicals. I'm sure we're going to talk about that here in a little bit. But, Chattadoni, let us get into the news. Uh, stocks edge lower after choppy week and Boeing falls. 
Uh, U.S. stock futures and treasuries posted a small move on Monday as traders recalibrated their bets in the wake of last week's sell-off. Brent crude fell below $77 a barrel. Contracts on the S&P 500 inched down by 0.1, and European stocks paired an earlier retreat. Boeing slumped as much as 9.8% in the U.S. pre-market trading after a fusillade section on the 737 MAX 9 ejected during a flight over the weekend. Spirit Aero Systems, which installed the panel, dropped by 21%. Oil slid almost 3% after Saudi Arabia cut the official selling price for oil in regions amid persistent weakness in the market. Markets are looking for direction after mixed U.S. economic data on Friday capped a week that saw global equities sink in the most since October on speculation that the Federal Reserve was in no rush to reduce interest rates. Uh, further catalysts may come in the U.S. inflation print due on Thursday and the earnings season kicking off on Friday with U.S. financial names, including J.P. Morgan and Chase Citigroup. Oh, J.P. Morgan Chase and Citigroup. Uh, multiples are already priced at rich levels, said BNB Paribas analyst Calvin Say and Sam Litton Bryan. They wrote in a note, with the probability of a disappointment in the full-year earnings elevated, we believe that the downside risks outweigh the upside ones. According to Bloomberg's latest market survey, the consensus estimate of sell-side analysts is that the S&P earnings 500, S&P 500 earnings this year will reach historic levels, but that forecasts are too high. The poll shows an economic slowdown is the biggest risk for the bottom lines this year, and Europe and Germany factory orders rose much less than anticipated in November, a discouraging sign for Europe's latest econ economy data, uh, economic data showed on Monday. Uh, seizing yields. The yield on U.S. Treasuries advanced one basis point to 4.06. Some traders are unfazed by the recent pullback, seeing it as a chance to seize on elevated rates before the Federal Reserve starts driving down rates. The dynamic was on display on Friday when bond prices dipped after the Labor Department reported that job growth unaccel unexpectedly accelerated last month, but the sell-off was curtailed because buyers swooped in as 10-year Treasury yields neared 4.1, the highest since mid-December. Elsewhere, Brent halted last week's rally after the Saudi price cuts. The region underscored a worsening global outlook amid strong global supply, including the U.S. and outweighed concern over Red Sea tensions and supply disruptions in Libya. In Asia, Hang Seng China uh, enterprises closed down by 2.3, led by a sell-off in technology shares. Sentiment remains quite negative in China. Nomura analysts, including Shaitin Seth in Singapore, wrote a client note that there has been more signs of support for the economy, but equity investors still do not appear to be convinced. Key events this week, you have Atlanta Fed Bostick today on Monday, U.S. House returns from recess on Monday, Australia retail sales on Tuesday, Japan Tokyo CPI household spending on Tuesday, Eurozone unemployment on Tuesday, World Economic Economic Global Risk Report released on Wednesday. U.S. Wholesale Inventories on Wednesday. Deadline for U.S. Security Exchange Commission to vote on Bitcoin ETF application on Wednesday. New York Fed President John Williams on Wednesday. U.S. CPI initial claims on Thursday. China PPI and PPI trade on Friday. France CPI on Friday. U.K. Industrial Production on Friday. U.S. PPI on Friday. Then Bank of America, Bank of New York Mellon, BlackRock City, J.P. Morgan, and Wells Fargo all report fourth quarter results. And Minneapolis President Fed Neil Kishkari will be speaking. Speaking on Friday. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Uh, rate cut narrative. Uh, last week was dominated by fluctuating bets on when the Federal Reserve will start cutting interest rates. That is likely to remain the dominant narrative this year, Bloomberg's notes, uh, with a focus on how inflation is slowing and getting closer to central bank targets. Bond traders are unfazed by the pullback in rate cut bets. However, they're seeing it as an opportunity to lock in elevated treasury yields before the Fed starts to ease policy. Stock strategists, however, are parting with their high-flying profit forecasts and saying that economic growth will have to pick up for U.S stocks to repeat last year's rally. Uh, it's a big week for Bitcoin. A series of deadlines are set to fall on mark on a uh, fall to mark the culmination of years of long pushing to launch an exchange traded fund backed by crypto token in the U.S. market. Bitcoin bulls say this would be a watershed moment for digital assets, and optimism grew with a major hurdle was cleared last week. Would be issuers have until Monday morning to submit any last minute revisions to pending applications, and the SEC has until January 10th to take action on at least one of those. Boeing's challenges. Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun entered 2024 saying that this would be a key year for the turnaround of the plane maker that has been upended in the first days after a door-shaped panel ripped out of an Alaska Airlines flight leaving Portland, Oregon, an incident which followed months of punctuating by quality lapses. Regulators and carriers acted quickly to ground the 737 MAX 9 planes for inspection. A key piece of the plane which was suffered the blowout was found in a teacher's backyard. Uh, Boeing shares have fallen by 9% U.S. pre-market trading with Spiro Air Systems, uh, maker of the fuselage, has plunged 21%. 
uh, China in the midst of reshaping its economy towards manufacturing away from the struggling property sector, which could continue to raise trade tensions with U.S., Europe, and others. Government-linked economists in China, meanwhile, have suggested that fiscal reforms being made in Beijing need to be better incentivized for local authorities. Elsewhere, China sanctioned five U.S. defense contracts on arms sales to Taiwan and said it has caught a foreign consultant allegedly alleged to be a spy for the U.K. My goodness. My goodness. Uh, S&P futures are up by 0.1 on Monday morning trading. Uh, near the best levels of the week, uh, or near the best levels, uh, comes after U.S. equities finished lower last week, with the S&P and NASDAQ both snapping a nine-week winning streak. Treasuries unchanged to a firmer after yields backed up to start 2024. Ten-year yields jumped nearly 17 basis points on the week and almost touched 4.10 in the wake of the non-farm payrolls on Friday. Dollar index marginally lower after gaining 1% last week. Greenback weaker on the yen and euro crosses. Gold is off by 1.1. Bitcoin futures are up by 2.5 and WTI is down by 3.4 erasing last week's gain. Uh, path of least resistance has been lower to start 2024. Blame is still largely chalked up to more technical factors uh, like overbought conditions and stretch positioning that any meaningful shift in the fundamental narrative However, some thought that the market has been too aggressive with Fed easing expectations. Also, some skepticism and attention in the press surrounding the consensus of a 12% S&P growth on EPS for 2024. In the face of disinflation headwinds, buyback blackouts, and geopolitical tensions, some other overhangs exist. Uh, bulls are still focused on favorable combination of dovish Fed pivot and soft no landing for the U.S. economy. Uh, Fed in focus, Dallas Fed Logan are suggesting that there may be a case to slow QE. Also mention easing of financial conditions could reverse progress on inflation and Fed should not take possibility of another rate hike off of the table. Uh, December New York Fed one-year inflation expectations on the economic calendar today while the Fed's Bostic also speaking. CPI expected to be the highlight of the week on Thursday and several big banks are kicking off Q4 earnings season on Friday. There has been other several and several other important factors uh, in conferences this week including the ICR, JP Morgan Healthcare Conference and CES. Uh, the conference are likely to provide more color on key macro and market themes such as consumer resilience and GLP-1 drug and AI proliferation. Uh, Boeing under pressure after the FAA grounded dozens of 737 MAX 9 aircraft. Tesla also getting some attention following reports that Musk's drug use has worsened and leaders at the company and SpaceX are worried. Uh, Apple antitrust risk in the headline as well in recent days. NVIDIA reportedly seeing pushback with big China tech names over their chip provisions. Uh, less power, ANSS in talks to be acquired. My synopsis in a deal worth $35 billion. SWN in Chesapeake reportedly near $17 billion merger. PSX acquired uh, ANX for three. Point seven billion. Uh, Lulu raised guidance ahead of ICR, but move was widely expected, and magnitude seemed to be somewhat underwhelming. Mm -mm. Uh, China has detained an executive of Evergrande's vehicle unit, threatening to further complicate the outlook and restructuring of the world's most indebted property group. Uh, China chip industry comes under further scrutiny in Washington as a bipartisan group of lawmakers calls on the White House to take steps aimed at countering Beijing's growing footprint in making older generation semiconductors. Uh, the Israel military says that they have successfully destroyed Hamas as an organized fighting force in North Gaza, and they have shifted their focus to the center and the south of the battle territory in a fresh stage of war against the Palestinian militant group. Uh, Hezbollah fired a barrage of rockets in northern Israel Saturday morning, a move analysts called a symbolic response to the recent assassination of the Hamas official in Lebanon, rather than a significant escalation. Uh, Obama has expressed concern to Biden about the state of the president's 24 ray election campaign, warning that Trump will be a formidable opponent. Dallas Fed Logan warned that easing financial conditions could require the Fed to hike rates further. Logan also hinted at the slowing of the pace of QT during her Saturday speech. Uh, congressional leaders announced a bipartisan deal on top-line spending levels for the current fiscal year, lessening the chances of a partial shutdown on January 20th. The move clears the way for Senate and House to work on detailed spending bills. Uh, Boeing fell 10%. You all already know that one by now. Uh, NVIDIA faces a problem in China as customers there don't want to buy their new degraded chips. NVIDIA has degraded the performance of chips for the Chinese market that firms like Alibaba, Tencent, and others are seeking alternatives. And consensus expects fourth-quarter profits for the 
aggregate S&P will grow by 3% year on year. Analysts have not entered a quarterly reporting season of positive S&P growth since expectations in third quarter of 2022. EPS growth estimates for fourth quarter create a higher bar for positive surprises compared with recent quarters, negative seven ahead of first quarter, negative nine in second and zero in third quarter. When results beat expectations by four basis points on percentage points on average, nonetheless, Goldman expects S&P firms and aggregate will benefit from continued strong economic growth in subsiding input cost pressures and beat consensus forecast. We still got more. Uh, bond traders are confident that big Fed rate cuts are coming despite recent pullback, seizing on elevated yields. Morgan Stanley Wilson sees U.S. stocks resuming last year's 24% rally only if economic growth picks up. Investors hope companies start announcing their plans to share repurchases uh, to push this year's stock rally. Strategists expect Treasury yields to resume after current rest. Uh, Goldman strategists say that U.S. corporate earnings may exceed forecast this year. Earnings season offers signals whether profits are strong enough to propel the market higher. Un Certainty persists in uh, markets approaching 2022 record highs. A uh, company faced record number of activist investor attacks in 2023. Uh, Boeing faces fresh scrutiny over 737 masks planes. Uh, U.S. air safety officials retrieved fuselage uh, that blew up on Alaskan Airlines jet on January 5th. Uh, big China tech names are not interested in downgrading NVIDIA chips. NVIDIA plans to begin mass production in Q224 of AI chips as they're designed to comply with U.S. export rules. Uh, investors bet cheap U.S. healthcare stock valuations will offset a tendency to underperform during presidential election. Uh, big U.S. banks set to log sharp rise in bad loans due to unpaid debts and impact on higher interest rates. Uh, Tesla, SpaceX executives, and board members are concerned about Elon Musk's drug use. Uh, winter storm lashes U.S. northeast with heavy snow and flights canceled. German factory orders in November miss estimates, and Eurozone investor mood improves after further signs of mild rebound. Uh, Fed pivot will dominate this year of rate cut cycles around the world. Dallas Fed Logan says that the Fed can take further hikes off of the table. Bank of Japan said to be worried about balance sheet deficit after rate cuts or rate hikes. Uh, Saudi Arabia cuts official selling price for all regions and persistent weakness in the market. Uh, Congress strikes 10th hour deal on 24 spending and key step to averting government shutdown later this month. Biden and Johnson battle over Ukraine aid and immigration policy coming into the head this week. Uh, China sanctions five U.S. defense firms and Taiwanese arms sales. Taiwan accuses China of psychological warfare after a balloon spotted over country. Uh, Blinken starts five day Middle East diplomatic efforts seeking to avert a wider war in the region. Uh, U.S. officials concern Israel may launch major military operation in Lebanon. Israel army says it has destroyed Hamas in fighting force in northern Gaza. Uh, China's securities regulator lifts stocks net selling ban for mutual funds. Uh, China's stock slumped to five-year low as 2024 gets off on a downbeat start. China targets French brandy imports on escalating trade dispute with EU. China uh, Z to shift high-value manufacturing could risk triggering new trade war. And then China to ease video game industry fear of another crackdown. Wow, wow, we wah. Yes, Elon drug use. I saw that one come up twice. Apparently, uh, again, it's a Bloomberg article. Surprisingly, that's usually Wall Street Journal when they're saying they're worried uh, members at board of uh, Tesla and uh, SpaceX are worried about Elon's increasing drug use. Yeah, that's that's how that's what they say. Mm hmm. And then as far as pre-market movers, Chattadonia, uh, you got DoorDash there up by 3.4, Jeffrey's upgrade, LSXMA up by 3.3, Dell up 2.7, JP Morgan upgrade, Enphase up 2.4, Wells Fargo upgrade, a firm is up by 2.3, PSTG up 2.0, Crowd up 2.0, DXCM up 0.8 off of guidance, AXNX up 20%, BSX acquires for $71 a share in cash, INSP is up by 12.4 off of guidance, Crocs is up 8.2 off of guidance, uh, AVDL is up 6.4 preliminary Q4 net revenue of Lumerers at 19 million, RXST up 5.7 off of guidance, AEO up 4.8 off of guidance, uh, CMC up 4.5 off of earnings, Upwork up 3.9, Jeffrey's upgrade, BCRX is up by 3.6 preliminary revenue and guidance, GitLab up 3.1, Mizuo Securities Upgrade, AXSM up 2.7, 
uh, off of nothing. Relay up 2.5, 30 million private placement. FSLY up 2.4, RBC capital market upgrade. ARDX up 2.1, preliminary revenue. Joby up 1.8, definitive agreement with Clay Lacey Aviation. NXT up 1.7 off of Wells Fargo upgrade. AQN up 1.7, BMO capital market upgrade. Harp is up 110, Merck in advanced discussion to acquire Harpoon Therapeutics for $23 a share. AMAM up 99.9, J&J acquires for $28 a share. Spec up 76.2, uh, VINC up 47.5, clinical results from phase one NIH sponsored study of Enelitokotitib. I can't say that one. Uh, CLRB up 19.2, top line data achieving primary endpoint of pivotal cl uh, clinical study of Iopofacine I131, LFMD up 14.9, AKYA up 14.3 off of earnings, GoEV up 12.6, acquires manufacturing assets, DMTK up 12.1, uh, BRG uh, BROG up 12.0, HRTX up 11.9, five-year distributor partnership with Crosslink Sciences to support Zen Relief. Uh, TMCI up 11.7 off of guidance, Blink up 11.0, SLDB up 9.8, 109 million private placement, BFly up 8.9, Molin up 7.8 to present updates in 24 Outlook at 42nd Annual JP Morgan Healthcare Conference, uh, Newbie up 6.7, uh, ANNX up 6.5, 2024 strategic priorities, uh, ADMA up 6.4 off of guidance, PDSB up 5.6, UFI up 5.6, Invis up 5.6, SDF SFWL up 5.0, CRVS up 4.9, CAPT up 4.7, SMR up to 3.8 to cut 28% of full-time staff in transition from R&D to commercialization, uh, ZVRA up 3.5, FDA acceptance and resubmission of RMOCIOMO. And then Bitcoin stocks all trading higher, trading lower. Uh, Boeing is down by 6.1, 737 max incident and grounding. JD down 4.9, uh, Dada, not Baba, Dada, sympathy. Regen down 3.1, Bayer, Aaliyah, 8, uh, 8 milligram. Afil Bellercept uh, approved by EU commission, commission for treatment of NAMD and DME. 5 down 3.0 off of guidance. XAS down 3.0 off of guidance. AEM down 2.0. Southwest 1.9. Boeing Max Incident Grounding. Lulu down 1.7. NEM down 1.5. UAL down 1.1. Boeing Max Incident Grounding. Gold down 0.9. Bernstein Upgrade. Uh, SPR down 14%. Boeing 737 Max Incident Grounding. Cytokinesis down 7.7. SDGR down 5.4. Business Update. Alaska Airlines. Uh, Boeing 737 Max Incident. Pack B down 4.3. Zoom Info down down 4.0, RBC Capital Market downgrade, STAA down 4.0 off of guidance, QuantumScape down 3.8, ALIT down 3.1, CNM down 2.9, 15 million share offering for holders, MPW down 2.8, AU down 2.3, OR down 2.3, ULCC down 2.2, Boeing Max Incident Grounding and Morgan Stanley downgrade, DTC down 34%, JCEO John Maris to step down, Dada down 25%, announces certain suspicion, suspicious practices that may May cast doubt on certain revenues of Dada's online advertising and marketing services. A Ren down 19.1 forbearance related to note purchase agreement and financial restructuring discloses interim CEO resignation. Uh, BNZI down 16.0, CARA down 15.5, GCO down 12.4 off of guidance, SGD down 12.1, PODC down 10.1, uh, ARBK 8.6, and then energy names all trading lower. Wow, wow, yeah, it's a lot of plays, huh? Honestly, a pretty decent amount of movements there. Again, I'm sure we're going to have a day of all individual movers, and then everybody and their mother should be focused uh, on Boeing and everything else going on. That's going to be all over the place. Again, ALK, UAL, those are all going to be ones to watch. I do have a couple of plays, uh, Boeing, SPR, UAL, and then Delta. They have earnings, so they may be in their own little world watching out for ANSS. Uh, I even have EYPT on my list. Again, today you woke up to another set of biotech uh, buyouts there, so watch out for that. Gold, I don't know if you guys saw that. Dollar's barely up here, but gold came down a little bit, so I'm going to be watching that. And then Molin, uh, they're the ones at the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference, and then I will be watching J.P. Morgan for earnings. So I'm going to send those out there to the stream alerts right now. Uh, we actually still got a commercial, so I think it's great time. So, Chattadonia, you got a couple of minutes, baby. Tell me, what is your first play of the day? You're here right now. I haven't even got to play you the news, so you haven't even heard the talking heads yet. So you ain't even know what they playing yet. What do you got for me, baby? Poster plays in the chat. Let's go. Good morning. Happy Monday, the second one of 2024. Boeing calls. 
MES calls, Zim calls, waiting for CPI, IBM puts, SMH calls, N phase upgrade, Boeing, Snow Hair 2, 466 puts, Boeing short, sitting on hands, Boeing 225 puts, SPX calls, oil short, NQ long, Pfizer calls, RSV came back, wheels on save, MGC long, Crocs and Moderna, Beetle calls, Baby's first word was Baba shares, Myrna, CLSK, Tesla puts, Tesla puts, uh, JPM puts, Spy puts, I just want the Lexus, MPW, Boeing puts, GG, JA calls, uh, Spy credit spreads, Coin and Nvidia, Tesla covers, praying for Josh, SPX calls, Tesla for holds, 223, Mara calls, Disney long, waiting for Mulan, Fun Day at the market, Wells Fargo puts, Boeing puts, NU calls, City puts, UAL calls, Bitcoin long, I buy gold, AMD, and silver, selling premium, Microsoft, MSOS long, Tesla puts, Outlet, Boeing long, Del, Del, Delta ghetto spread, short ES, 4760, Birkenstocks, AG shares, buy the dip, puts, 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 Elf calls, Boeing puts at open, wait for bounce, short everything after CPI, wait, 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 Neo shares, buying Crocs and Lulu, IBITC, Tesla puts, Apple puts, SQ, BITF, big call syndrome, uh, child support syndrome, testing out the thing, Lord Georgie, you're out, baby, uh, ANF, uh, Disney straddle, CYT. TK, BA puts, Charlie in the tree, Godspeed, JP Morgan, Delta, Spy puts, Spectacular, Spectator, Monday, JD Goodness, Boeing 710 puts, Boeing shares, UDP, adding 1K to the long term, UNG Mark calls, Apple calls, Boeing leap, watching Peralton, Airbus, Easy, FXC, average down on China, Fed puts, long on building, GND, my name is Jeff, short Boeing shares in the final trades. Palo Alto Networks, NVIDIA calls, calls on everything, screaming 10%. And I'm ready. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. It's game time, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Chad Adonia, how do you feel? I already gave my plays there. Uh, again, I'm going to be watching a lot of the airlines. I will be watching gold, but Chad, do we have enough? Oh, we don't have any time right now. That's it. The day is about to start, and something's more important than all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's an honor to start off the second week of the year like this once again, because here at the Colt, before we do anything, before we try to chase a dollar, before we try to enrich ourselves, we must pay homage to a very special group of people that has sacrificed more than most of us ever have and ever will, and I am talking about the veterans of the United States of America. So on behalf of the Colt, the people here, the people not here, I want to give a huge special shout out, all the active servicemen, past servicemen, any Anybody who has served this country, even their families, for real. Thank you for the ded dedication, a dedication of people you have never met and known. You fought for our freedom. And again, I encourage all of y'all out there to always live this on and show that love and appreciation of those who deserve it. So vets, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love all of you. And big shout out to anybody else out there giving back to their local communities. All the doctors, nurses, teachers, firefighters, police officers, the janitors, the garbage men, the coaches, anybody helping out making things run. I hope you know you appreciate it as well, too, baby. But ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Place your right hand over your heart. Say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, baby. Oh, it's game time, baby. Oh, no. Let's go. Oh, Chattadonia. Are you ready? It's game time. Oh, my goodness. Man, it's getting hot in here. It's getting hot. It was so, it was so cold. So cold this morning. I, I could say that. It was like snowing degrees, kind of. I don't know. It was really cold, but my goodness. I just turned the heater on, and that's it. Now I'm getting toasty, baby. I'm getting toasty. I didn't go there. I got a minute to go to the bathroom. You think I don't even think I could, I could etch that out. Let me just down a water bottle real quick, and we'll save the bathroom break for a little bit. It's snowing in Utah. Is it snowing in Colorado? Mm-hmm. Y'all snowboard, y'all better be careful. I think I might go snowboarding again, though. My girlfriend showed me an invention. It's like a big turtle that you put on your back. It's like a giant stuffed animal. So if you fall, it feels good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm thinking about. 
Yeah, so okay, yeah, I see y'all keep doing. I'm not gonna take any lessons. Just give me the give me like the padded jacket. Let me fall on something. We'll be good, man. We'll be good. But Chatadonia, you got less than one minute, man. We got about thirty seconds till the bell. Drop that thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Let's have a good day. You got any plays, you let me know. Any questions, you let me know. Call out anything. And let's see what happens. Again, there's a lot of activity in bond land, dollar land, gold land, oil, commodities, and then uh, we got to watch how to play Boeing, so I'm going to wait if there's going to be a pop on Boeing at all, but let's take a look at any of the contract prices. We should, oh, we have 10 seconds. We should bet. You guys even think they're going to open up the Boeing chain in the first couple of minutes? Why do I get a feeling like it'll be closed? Something, I feel like if the Boeing options ain't even going to trade for a minute. Uh-huh. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Let's go. Dash got an upgrade. Yeah, I don't think Boeing. Yeah, Boeing. Yeah, Boeing options aren't trading yet. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, there they are. Okay, they gave it some time. They gave it some time. Oh my gosh, these things are crazy. Every single one of them is up like a four thousand percent. There's a couple at a thousand percent. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These guys are crazy, Habibi. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. All right, so we got to see. Wait till it bounces again. SPR, that's going to be another one if you're interested. I'm going to be watching those UALs pop in. I think uh, your boy Alaskan Airlines, I think they're the ones that got clobbered the most out of any of them. Google pop in, Bowen will bounce. I'm waiting for that. We'll see again. Remember how uh, Walgreens played out the other day. That's going to be one to watch. But Spy's already coming up here. Uh, believe it or not, NASDAQ is up 0.36. Uh, Spy's up by 0.16. Uh, Russell and Dow, those are the ones trading weaker. Don't forget about any of the other plays, too, again, related to earnings. Yeah, bro, these plays are up 1,700%. That is absolutely insane. Mm-mm. Let's see. All right, I grabbed one Boeing. I only put 80 bucks down. I'm going to use this as a place marker. But I grabbed uh, I grabbed next week plays. I, they're up 1,600%. I spent about 80 bucks there. I think they could go for like 20, but the idea here is I'm going to have that as the first one, and then we wait till the bounce in there. But I just want to see how these are going to play out. Yeah, Boeing put. I grabbed a put on it to the downside. No, no, no. I'm grabbing one of the downside plays that are already up a lot. It's at a it's at a very solid level. So again, it's uh, I don't know. I don't even know what this thing's pricing in. Six bucks, eight, twelve, twenty four. It's actually within. It's two standard deviations exactly. So literally, it's like twenty. 20 something dollars two standard deviations solid level if you can't figure it out at that point you just don't want to listen uh but, but i'm gonna use this one i grabbed one of them for like 80 bucks i had it at like 70 so but then i was like all right let's see how it plays out here but then on the bounce we'll see where that performs and then i could use that to get a gauge of everything else from there so we'll see and the video ripping, I saw that in the morning. Again, Walgreens, I think, is the... Remember, Walgreens, within the first couple minutes, they died, and then they had that, that run up there. And surprisingly, they opened up the Boeing option chain pretty early. So we'll see how that one plays out. Yeah, the video is actually up by $8. So again, I know we have CES starting here, but I don't know if they are involved in any of that one. Good morning. Apple's going lower. Again, where's ALT on the high? SPR is trying to move up. A UAL actually went green. Alaskan Airlines, they're still kind of clobbered there. Yeah, Baba got, again, a lot of bad China news. And then even not Baba, but Dada 
uh, affected JD. There was like some sketchy stuff going on. And then once again, you know, even though they're changing stuff in China uh, to try to be more accommodative, it hasn't been taking hold. And then watch out for gold. Again, uh, ES is going straight up right now. You guys remember, we keep talking about gold. Uh, that thing came down a decent amount. It hit 2024. Oof. 2024. Again, I like the 2020 flat. So we'll see. Mm -mm. Okay, I grabbed two MGCs. I grabbed the micro golds at 2028.40. Not a recommendation. You'll lose money. We're going to start. I'm going to go with the small golds for now because last time I wanted a little bit of it, but I'm glad it keep kept going lower. But then again, we got to see the dollar. No oil swing trade. I'm glad I didn't have any. If anything, my next play I'd be looking at again Kind of the same plays from Friday. If anything, the next thing I'm going to be looking at is probably a, a bond short or going along on the bonds. Uh, but that one might be a little bit more difficult. And like we said, I'd keep an eye out uh, for the dollar. Let that kind of be the guy. But dollar's down, so we might be able to go up. I'm surprised even gold is running with that. Nvidia wants over 500. Hmm. Uh -uh. All right, Boeing's still chilling. They're burning the premiums. That place marker is still holding up, though. That's what I think is interesting. Uh -uh. GCT close. Again, keep up the dollar. Let me switch the Boeing and the dollar. That one will be quite important. Oracle on the low. NVIDIA, Airbnb, good candle. Actually doing pretty good. Again, I don't know. I don't know how travel. Again, it, the travel airline plays are all clapped, but I think travel should be a little bit better, more or less. Again, I don't think uh, like lodging should be affected too much. Yeah, Boeing's not halted. No, it's just kind of stalling. I mean, is that a bad choice of words? My bad. Mm -hmm. AT and T X dividend play. I. Uh, it's probably gonna sell off whatever they're paying, but. I don't know. AT&T, that's a deep value play for now. I don't really like them. I kind of gave up on AT&T, but uh, again, they've actually kind of killed it here recently. So in general, I mean, they, they were the ones like around here. They had a lot of value. They're kind of in the middle. They're near 2020 lows, 2022, but I'd be a little bit more careful with it. Uh, where is it? Where's MO? Again, Pfizer has dividend in what, two weeks? Pfizer's even down right now. Baidu's down 2.3. UAL is on the high. And then again, see if the dollar starts waking up. Dre mm -hmm. Bowen. The Boeing plays are just holding exactly where I bought them. That's the interesting part. That's why I'm saying I want to see if they actually move. I want a big pop. We don't like this for now. Again, you're down 9%, but we want it to like flush. We want like some crazy pop, you know, pretty much scatter all of the chips on the table. And then we go from there. Mm -mm. Unity dump. Uh, Boeing going lower now. So literally the options aren't moving. Literally you just flushed a new high there or a new low on the low ticker, but those puts didn't go up. So again, it had a little bit more of that morning premium. Where's the wheat stocks? Speaking of premium, NVIDIA keeps going. NVIDIA 502. So they're above 500. Mm-mm. There's Tesla. They're concerned on Elon's drug use. Random play. Oh, I forgot to even ask for that. Oh, shit. I mean, well, I guess we'll chalk it up to the holidays. My bad. Mm -mm -mm. And then NVIDIA 2.2 is killing it. Baidu starting to come up again. China plays all woke up pretty clap. They're trying to move their way up, but still got a long way to go. Uh, where's oil? Kramer pump. Uh, oil's getting clobbered. Oil's down at 70.4. I, I, again, they're lowering the prices. Uh, Saudi Arabia lowered the prices. I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know if we'll touch oil today. 
I think we wait a little because, again, I like playing those down fours, but you might have to let it run its course throughout the day. But I know when, if it goes back below the 70s, uh, it starts to get pretty ugly again. Yeah, oil is insane, bro. Down, it's literally in one day gave up all of what it did last week. It's down 4.6 right now. Hood up 2.5. Apple is on the high. Interesting. UAL. Apple's in the green, 0.7. Walgreens is going up, too. Alaska trying to make a run there. And then SPR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Apple's up by 0.8. Remember, it's Amazon. Remember Amazon on Friday? Last week, they were doing really bad. Big Tech is holding up great, actually. So, again, NASDAQ's up by 0.6. SPY is up by a quarter. Dow and small caps are the only things not doing good, but... Like you have tech doing very, very good today. I think that one's kind of creeping a little bit there. Mm -mm. It's a mag seven day. I think it is. And then again, bonds are coming up here too. They've doubled up their gain. They're only up by like 0.5. So again, I think that was getting a little bit of attention as well too. Mm -mm. Decent red. Oh, I forgot. J.P. Morgan. Remember, we're going to have those earnings. So where are those plays? Literally, both of them are down. So, again, shooting too early in that case. Uh, again, your calls and puts are now both negative. So that means the pricing is going to be a little bit lower. Again, we'll have till Friday. So, again, like Thursday will probably be the most ideal time, unless it starts moving uh, insane from here. But, yeah, they're chilling out. XLF, even uh, KRE. All of the banks are pretty are down quite a bit, actually. Carries down by 0.6. So, again, I think tech is the only thing doing good. And then, again, Dow is not up by that much. And then Boeing still hanging on. The contracts are kind of decreasing a little bit more, but still holding an eight-handle. NVIDIA is on the high. 506, that's a 52-week high? No shit. New all-time high, yeah. Nancy knew. Nancy knew. That's crazy. Thoughts on PayPal? Just bought 10 shares. I like PayPal. I like it for the long term. I mean, for a swing, I think you're just getting ready for earnings. Uh, and then check their earnings date. UNH could be good. Again, healthcare in general. Again, usually uh, healthcare is not good during an election year, but given some of the value, people have been excited by it lately. Bonds are just going straight up. So that's a good sign. Gold is ripping a little bit. We said that took a big one. But no, the small one for now is holding up. Again, gold is still down by almost 1%. That's the crazy part. My weekend was good, baby. I'm ready for the first full week back. I hope the volume actually goes through. I mean, again, we're at 3 million in, in 10 minutes. We'll see by the first hour. AMD starting to go up again. Banks are flushing, so banks are not doing good as well. That's a, that's. I think that's going to be a bigger part of the deal considering we're opening up the week of their earnings. Mm -mm. Coin red. Again, January 10th is their update. Elf is on the high. I feel like I've been seeing makeup names move around here today. Again, Elf is up by 4.4. Ulta, not as much. Spotify still in the green. Lit is a roll below. Spy coming down. I don't have VWAP turned off. On. There you go. I feel like that would have been VWAP. Let's see the level. Oh, I didn't open up my other TD. No. Fintech up, especially NU. Coin on the red. And then SPY going a little lower here now. Again, getting back to open. Bonds look great. Where's the dollar? And then Boeing I ain't do nothing, man. Does Boeing, does Boeing have a SS, uh, SSR? I feel like there's a short sale restriction given how bad it is. And then that's maybe why we're getting some of the pin. Dollar still negative on the day, which is decent.
كمان يلا حبيبي Alright, 40, damn, we're only at 47.06, so remember last week, even uh, Friday, we didn't even close above 4,700, but this battle for 4,700 has been holding up, it's like the battle for Miami, no, we didn't get any updates on that, Boeing plays are starting to die now, so again, they're giving it, still holding a lot of gain if you had them prior, but in general now, this little move, just a couple of dollars up here, one dollar up, uh, that's going to start uh, killing some of those contracts. So let's see. Mm -hmm. High ticker killing it. Nvidia, I think Nvidia and the Nasdaq, those are the things. Nasdaq's almost up one percent. This is a big day on the Nasdaq, considering you know Friday was a green day, but uh, again you were barely up on that. So I think Nasdaq is definitely coming out of the gate strong today. Which is kind of a good sign for the most part. All right, man. Let's see. The higher Boeing goes up, this will. Be, I, I just hope it kills these puts, and then we get the double dip. Bank of America, yeah, they're getting killed. J.P. Morgan, Nvidia is at five oh nine. I don't know. I don't know if you guys see this right now, but it's starting to resume its little uh, pickup here. That's a new all time high. It's it's been what four times five times it's came up to 500 and then sold off, so they need a breakout still, and or it is breaking out right now. KHC uh, Kraft Heinz I have I think they went up a lot last time I was looking to get them I think Buffett said something or they had like something strategic reorganization and then they shot up a ton, uh, but I like them but I do I would take them on the more value end but they got a good portfolio and everybody and their mother. Knows about Kraft Heinz, so they're kind of chilling here. But I think I think this was back in like 2020, or maybe it was even the lows at 32. They're not bad, but they have moved around their dividend a couple of times, in terms of like raising it and lowering it, uh, more so on the negative side. Is it wise to invest now? Uh, for the long term, I think if you go after cheap names, again, cheap, high quality names, which is uh, quite the balance to strike. But those are what I'm down with. ABB buys Canadian real tech. Let Boeing populate a few more candles by 1130. It'll be ready to go. Quite possibly. Again, I hope it just does what Walgreens. Remember, Walgreens had a monster run, and then that killed those premiums. Those premiums were up a couple hundred percent, and then, you know, middle of the day, they dropped down to two cents. The only problem was that they never came back down. So that'd be the only issue. Spy and bonds are still running. Gold is up a little bit here. Let's see. ES is still trying to go up here, too. Again, spy near the high. I think that bond play is kind of big if it holds up. Yeah, IEF and TLT both moving the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, NVIDIA is probably... In, I don't know if it's because of CES and getting ready there or because some of the chips were just, like, beaten up last week, but they're doing very good. Again, five or 4% uh, uh, here above 500. Again, this is their new all-time high. Let's see, PayPal, they're holding up good, 0.82 square even 1.1 so a lot of again a lot of tech names are holding up great it's already been over 15 minutes let's see what we got here the new chips created to be china sellable but there was a negative report on that they were saying that companies don't want to buy them so they're saying the report this morning or over the weekend was that these chinese companies don't want to buy the NVIDIA chips because they've been downgraded.
So S and P, you got 247 names red, 255 in the green. Dow Jones, 16 names red, 13 in the green. Intel is the leader on the Dow. And then uh, Nasdaq, 126 red, 73 in the green. Why did MPW go up today? I don't know. Again, I mean, it's not going to just, until we get an update, you know, you had the first reaction on Friday. So, again, I would I would wait for earnings at that point. Otherwise, they're, again, some people want a short-term relief. I, I don't really care about it too much. Uh, but I would just say just getting into the earnings, you have, like, what, a couple of weeks? Let's see. Yeah, or no, you got a month almost, a little bit more. So it's probably just going to move all over the place until then. Or it'll go down again if you hear negative updates on Steward. JPM breaking 170. JPM just got flushed today, man. Considering how good the banks were last week, all of them woke up uh, a lot more a lot more groggy today. But again, futures are still holding up. Spy near the high. Again, NASDAQ the leader. Again, NASDAQ 100. A majority of names are up. Everything else, Dow, Spy, 50-50. TLT and bonds are at 4709. Oh, yeah. I remember Friday. We remember we had that little fake melt-up on Friday. We remember the first half of the Friday, our first two hours of the day, we were looking good. They're looking at CVD and TKO for the year. TKO, again, they've been interesting since they uh, – didn't they do the merger with WWE? And then CVD, I don't know what CVD is. CVD, like a DVD? Mm-mm. See downgraded your credit credit limit over the weekend. Are you running like big balances on there, or maybe City is just that's it? They because they've been moving out of a lot of industries too, though. I don't know how their credit units are, but again, I think City has axed like three different trading mechanisms that they that they've done in the past. The Saudis succumb to green. I mean, oil, dude, they lowered, they just had to lower the price. They said, so it just, it was a bad demand, uh, demand look. Boeing's coming back down, but the contract still killed. So that little move up and down and slowing down the pace, it's already burning a lot of that premium for now. PG again, Apple, Amazon, all doing good. Tesla's coming up here. Again, Tesla's in the green, a little green shoot here at the high. Spy still going. Probably three to one names on the high ticker versus the low ticker right now. Coinbase selling off right here. So they're already down one point. Not too bad, but they're just flashing on the low ticker. Walgreens still bouncing kind of. Arm on the high. Again, Intel, that's one of the leaders there. Intel's almost at 50 bucks. My goodness. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Procter Gamble. I still like Procter Gamble. That's one I'm keeping on there on the list. Marvel breaking out. Oh, didn't Marvel give that update too? Maybe that's why NVIDIA is. Ever since that Marvel guidance update, they've been doing pretty good. So Boeing's coming up. The contracts are trying to move up. Let's see. SPR. There are, they already hit a new low uh, ahead of Boeing. City's on the low. ALK. Uh, who's the other one? UAL. Again, UAL had the most of those planes. You guys realize that the Boeing jet that had that happen was, like, brand new. So that's why, like, some people are like, why is this such a big reaction? It's because that was a brand new jet. So, like, imagine you spend all this money on this jet, and you wait, and then it comes in the mail, you know, and then you take it on a flight, and then it just, and, it, and then the fuselage gets clapped. Mm -hmm. This was, I mean, I'm sure it's taken a couple of flights, but it was, uh, it was like a brand new, this was a new delivered jet. No, they installed the door, but again, I mean, just, I mean, Boeing and quality and production, that's kind of been the issue. 
Uh, but then, you know, also, too, they're trying to ramp up production. So that's where it comes. Some people are kind of blaming it on because they're saying, you know, like Boeing, SPR, they want, you know, they want to sell a lot of jets. They want to make these. They're still so behind from the last time their planes fell out the sky. So they're trying to, uh, you know, get back to that production level. And it just did not did not work. And, you know, people are worried that they're kind of uh, doing it. It grounded all 737 Max Max 8s or Max 9s. Again, I, I thought, dude, they're just going to change the name again. Uh, <laughs> but remember, I always make jokes. I always tell y'all, man, I get sketched out when I fly Boeings nowadays. But, like, you can't avoid them. But thankfully, the FAA grounded them. Because <laughs> that, it's no, Airbus is actually up. Airbus doesn't have this issue. I mean, they're, they're a different company. So their manufacturing process, and again, I mean, Airbus is, uh, I don't know, I think usually Airbus is only like crash, like if there's like a pilot error, they're, they're a little harder to fly, but other than that, uh, I don't think Airbus has ever had the same issues as Boeing of like, you know, parts or how this plane was designed that led them to falling out the sky or parts flying off. Mm. The Japanese plane was an Airbus, yeah. But again, it's like usually it's it's pilot error on the on the on behalf of the Airbuses. So again, I don't know of like too many like Airbuses just falling or having, you know, bad issues with their parts. Fine Lobo. I like Lobo a lot. I like any of the biotechs this year. Biotechs above healthcare and then healthcare too. That one's gonna be an interesting one. Coin again on the low. AMD. AMD's up 3.2. It's doing just what NVIDIA is doing. Again, Intel, Marvel. I do think ever since Marvel, that's how it is. Oracle on the high. Jake from State Farm, baby. <laughs> Happy second Monday. How you living, baby? How was the weekend? Oh, and then we have steak from Jake Farm. Okay, steak from Jake from State. Oh, steak from Jake. That's kind of getting confused. Mm -mm. Wife definitely doesn't want window seat anymore. Man. Imagine if I was like on that plane, bro, because you know me, man. I don't even like flying. That would have been the last of it. Have you? Did y'all see the video of it? I don't know if y'all saw on the video or if you saw the video, but like, there is something hella creepy about it, and like, it just goes to show, like, you don't like go watch the video, bro. Everybody was just so like quiet. There was so much like tension, silence in the video. It was insane. Like, I never really would have expected that, like, if a plane flew off of a, of a, or a door flew off a plane mid-flight, you know? I never thought I'd see Americans just sitting there quietly following instructions with their hands folded and not one, not nobody was even looking around or anything. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, bro. And I've seen so many movies. I thought it would like I was expecting Tom Cruise to show up or something. Nothing, man. There was no like. It just it was crazy. Mm -hmm. IWM uh, IWM is waking up now. So again, Nasdaq's almost one percent. This might be our first real green day. Again, technically Friday was a green day, but you bear you were you you barely moved. But now we're actually getting some moves here. Again, Nasdaq. Again, you could probably thank Nvidia, Apple, and the rest of the fun bunch. Again, Dow is the only thing in the red right now. Even Apple's starting to break out. Again, Microsoft's already up a little bit. AMD, Marvel, Intel, Nvidia. That's where all the action is. Boeing just staying pinned from the opening down eight, down nine. We've been through too much to freak out. Nah, man, you put me on that plane, bro. 
I would have been praying. I would have been asking any of y'all if you want to give your life to the Lord while we still have time. I wouldn't be, you know, I'm gonna be crazy. And then I'd inhale the oxygen though. I'd be like, I ain't have caffeine in a while. You all be like, I'm getting crazy, bro. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, bro. Alaskans are hard. I think it came out of, uh, I think it came out of uh, uh, Oregon was the flight. Was it going to Oregon? I thought it was leaving from Oregon. I didn't know. I didn't think it was going to Alaska. I think it's just Alaskan Airlines. <clears throat> yeah, I was leaving Portland. All right, man. New high and bonds going up. It was Oregon to Cali. 4714 again. Uh, last time I told you this, I jinxed it. But 4726 to 4729. If we could get above there, you're going to have a little bit more upside. I think people will get pretty excited off of that. If not, then you might have a little bit of an issue. And then the goal play came up here about a quarter. So we're up on that one a little bit. Oh, uh, where's uh what's it called? ANSS. Don't forget we have that one still. That one's coming up a little bit. I think I thought the chip news this morning was bad. I don't know. I, I kind of want to blame everything on either CES or the Marvel chip news on Friday, Thursday last week. USCB employment trends index. Uh, 11315 versus 11305. So that came in in line. Again, we have a little bit of data today. We're, we're going to hear Fed Bostick. He's on the calendar. And then you should be getting uh, like uh, New York Fed one year expectations. Yeah, 11 a.m. consumer, 11 a.m. consumer inflation expectations. And used car prices. That already came out. You have an invention. Where do I go? What do I do? Uh, you want to get it patented, but sometimes the patent may not always be the best case, you know, in a weird way. Starting, if it, especially if it's proprietary, you know, kind of starting the company and trying to get it sold and have a prototype would be your best bet. And then get it patented. But again, the minute you patent it, it does become public domain to a degree. Uh, but if you do know a good uh, patent lawyer, that could help a lot. I made a play on GC, the micro GC, MGC. Again, gold got clapped. Gold was right near the level I wanted. I bought it at 228 or 2028. I wanted it at 2020. That was like the low end of the double dip range. So I grabbed a micro uh, to start up. NVIDIA live stream on CS, CES now via IGN. That's up right now. Again, that could be it then. I feel like it's early because we still on Vegas time. They wake up this early in Vegas. Oh, AMD has one going on right now, too. Or it says it's a premiere. Oh, no, it starts in an hour. Mm -mm. So they got an hour. I was going to say, it's pretty early for Vegas, man. Even on the conferences, they never slept. Starbucks, I like. Uh, I would like it at a lower price, but I like the name. I think the name is quality. Actually, it's came down a little bit. Actually, wait, it's getting back to the lower level of of uh, October. I would have liked, uh, again, last year, those 70s and 80s, but it's a decent price right now. I think you're right there in the middle, and at least it's... Uh, you know, not up on the year. You're at least getting, literally, you're breaky. Uh, you're slightly up. Let me pull out the one year. Yeah, you're like slightly lower there, almost 8%. Not too bad. What's up with Monster? I have no idea. I think the crypto names, again, remember Friday, they got the update that they're moving forward. But if anything, it looks like we're coming into the whole sell the news. And, I mean, if Bitcoin is not down 6%, there's a one easy answer of why MSTR is down. Does anybody take a stab at it? Why would MSTR be down six 
yeah, Coinbase is down and some of the other ones, but how come they're not, da you know, again, I don't think crypto is down like that. Crypto is probably only down what? Crypto might even be up. But think about it. MSTR, not selling shares. MSTR is, uh, it's always been known as like the ghetto ETF, right? You know, people were just buying MSTR as a way to buy Bitcoin. So now if you are if you are going to get the ETF, why would you hold a company that has the ability to get, you know, diluted and, and moved around a little bit differently? So I would say that, yeah, it's some of the trading demand will get will will lower if they get that approval. Netflix starting to pop off again. They got earnings next week. Gold still holding up. Apple. <laughs> yeah, Apple's on the high. Thank you, Tesla. Carvana, PBOC to use reserve requirement among tools to boost credit. Some baby China stimulus move. PBOC to guide banks to accelerate OTC bond market development. PBOC to use reserve requirement. Yeah, legalizing, you don't need the dealer. That's essentially a good way to describe M uh, MSOS, uh, to describe MSTR. Boeing, I think Boeing has a short sale restriction. You guys could double check, but usually you drop that much. I think there's a SSR. So that means it has to tick up a couple of times before you could sell short. Uh, just be, Again, it's down 9%, but they are holding up great. Again, last time I tried to short Boeing, I mean, they were very painfully stubborn in, in the fact of going down. Mm -mm -mm. Macy's on the high. Arms going, another chip maker. Again, Intel, they were leading too. Spy's near the high, though. Again, Apple, Amazon, even PayPal. These are all at the high. Even Netflix, you're getting a lot of good movement out of big tech. You got now have 1% on the NASDAQ. Small caps are playing along. Dow has not moved at all. That's the funniest part. Dow has been like down 0 0.4, 0 0.5 literally all morning. NVIDIA, new 52-week high, new all-time high, 512. It's not stopping. It is not stopping. I grabbed a MGC this morning. So it hit, it hit around the level I wanted. I, again, it was like $8 off. So instead of taking that risk on a big contract, I should have bought it. I would have killed it on a big contract. Uh, but we got some good gains on it for now. I'm up like 128 bucks from the morning. Two micro gold contracts. But I'm not going to like hold it, hold it. I'll probably flip it uh, again, just like if it pops and drops. But I grabbed micro because I did think it could come down a little bit more. And again, we were talking about the bond plays. Those are going to be quite interesting. Remember, bonds are slightly higher than where we closed the short yesterday. Remember, or Friday, you had that movement there. So we'll see. Again, I do think inflation expectations will be there. Time to short Tesla. I haven't played Tesla in a while. I don't know if you guys realize that, uh, but I haven't moved on Tesla in a minute. I feel like... Again, it's kind of like in an awkward stage like Airbnb where they're like up from that like death blow, but they haven't really been doing much. So, again, they already had delivery numbers, too, but I don't know. I, I don't think uh, I think I'm just staying away from it. The used car numbers, I think they already came out. Let me see. Since I traded it a couple of times since child support. That one, we traded it a few times, but, like, really into, like, the middle of uh, last year, I just kind of, you know, there's so much drama and back and forth. And then, like I said, it's up a lot, but it's also still down. I was like, nah. I think there's easier trades out there, but I don't have any, like, short or long idea. Used car prices drop 7% year over year and then 0.5% month over month. But I think they were expecting more. Where'd it go? Mm -mm. 
Small opinion on NRG, Southern California Edison. EIX owns 50% Apollo Verde in the East Valley in Phoenix. I don't like energy plays for the long term or like utilities, but again, utilities kind of have their own function depending on what the economy does. Like in a weird way, if you think we're going to have a stagflationary economy uh, moving forward, kind of a mix of hard landing and soft landing, they could be good, but I'm not really uh, the biggest fan of putting them in there in the long term. The, I think they announced bond sales already happened. I think I, I got, like I said on the watch list, I don't know if it was this week or next week, but this morning I read some numbers. I do think we already got like 35 billion of like two year notes lined up another like 20 or 30 of the log end, but that is going to be another factor here. I think this week or next week on the bonds, but I don't have the date specifically, but I think the numbers already came out and then the video hold in. Where's Bobo? The puts already down. So, again, only grab one of those. That play smart. It's good, though, because, again, stock hasn't moved, and then the options are down almost 50% from the opening. Boom. Bonds, another high. Again, bonds have a long way to go from last Friday. I didn't close the put. No, no, no. I'm still holding that. I bought one for $80. Uh, now it's back down to 50 bucks. But like I said, I want that as my place marker to get an idea. Because now, like, if you look at the prices in general, I thought the price would have held up a little bit more. But the stock hasn't moved since the opening candle. And then all they're doing is flushing the premium. So we're going to use that one as a place marker and then go from there. But I only started with one. PBOC is trying to further or improve the opening of FX and final markets to improve offshore yuan liquidity supply mechanism. Mm. JPM puts printing. Our plays are still literally you're down on both puts and calls now by like 20, 30 bucks each. Crocs had good guidance. And then NVIDIA is still going up again. They're about to hit a new high. Yeah, Crocs is up 18. Damn, they were only up 7 in the morning. That's crazy. Comcast on the high. Uh, UAL trying to go up. Alaskan Airlines. They're all they're just holding their morning plays. Who's the other? I think DoorDash had an upgrade this morning. But again, Crocs gave guidance. Again, Lulu had guidance this morning that was good, but it was kind of expected more or less. Yeah, Roku on the high. High ticker is going off right now. Again, Nasdaq still right below 1%. Bonds are really running, and then Russell, they got to wake up after being down earlier. And then gold, too. The gold almost up half a percent on that. Not so bad. And then force, we haven't got above this level. We'll see how we react at 47.17, 47.18. And like I said, that same high level from the other day would be good. UBS raises JP Morgan price target to 196 from 184. UBS raises price target on IBM 120 from 110. Big green on Pfizer. We do have, it's like a, it's weird. This week is like both big news and little news at the same time. Like the calendar is pretty dry, but then you're gonna have your uh, you're gonna have your CPI on Thursday, and then some people are kind of placing a a little bit of importance on the PPI on Friday. So we might have a little bit of both, but besides that, it's not gonna be much. NVIDIA again. I just saw Amazon on the high as well, too. NVIDIA 513, 514 pretty much right now. You think picking up Boeing right now for the long term a good idea? I don't know about right now. Uh, eventually, once it kind of 
we get an idea of what's going on here. But, you know, I mean, they're playing, you know, one of their big planes, you know, coming back to growth. It just got grounded by the FAA. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So as far as trying to, like, buy the dip on that, I would wait a little bit because, uh, again, some if there's another issue, if it leads to production delays or whatever, uh, it may not, not be, you know, it could be a long time before we see that bottom or it could kind of just chill where it's at for now for a long time and then until we get the next update. Boeing sold off because they grounded the planes. So if you are an airline right now and you are flying a Boeing 737 MAX 9 or MAX 8, whatever the fuck they call it now, the Pinto, uh, <laughs> they they grounded it. They, they're not letting that plane go up in the air. They don't know what happened. So that's the thing. It's just like usually when planes, you know, that doesn't happen on planes. Uh, so the, the, out of an abundance of caution, you know, they, they don't want that plane in the sky until they know what is happening. Well, yeah, they renamed the the Pinto the Fiesta pretty much. But, like, for real, it just it's just a name. Dude, I'm telling I hate Boeings. Like, I, I, I get mad when I have to fly a Boeing. And I've always made this joke, but it's not really a joke. I did say the Ford Pinto, yes. Or the Boeing Pinto, whichever you want to call it. You don't think it's weird that they just rebranded the same plane that literally killed over 500 people? And then that they that they laughed about with with the do you ever see the documents and then they try to blame foreign pilots on it. And then it was all just a, a very fraudulent manufacturing thing that led to the massive loss of life. No, we forgot it. You know, I don't I don't know. I think I think uncle said it. It's very shady, bro. That's that's why it's a very crazy story. If you're not familiar with it, uh, with the first downfall of Boeing. But, you know, they literally. uh you know, they're they're letting that, that plane, it just, they rebranded it, took a couple years, fixed what was wrong, changed the name, but kept it similar. Uh, but then it's like, it's still just, you know, now that that happened on, on last weekend, you know, everybody's like, hold on, let's see what happened. Yeah, Alaska pulled theirs first, but then the FAA said, nah, don't let that plane in the sky until they know what happened. They need a reason. You can't just... So that's why Boeing's negative for now. Even Alaska Airlines went down. Because, again, that means they're taking 60 planes out of their rotation. Yeah, Boeing is, like, the only, like, U.S. manufacturer of, like, domestic planes. Boeing popping now, though. At least coming up. You want to cancel your flight? As long as you're not, you're not, you shouldn't be flying in that same plane. So you're good. Again, those planes are not allowed to leave the sky in America. So maybe for, I don't know about overseas, uh, if you're flying into America, but even then they may not even let a plane come in if it's a 737 MAX. Is it eight or nine? I don't know. But though those planes cannot take off in the United States right now. Hmm. It's max nine, so you might be good on the max eight. And they're like, which one? Is they're like, I don't know which Boeing it is. Eight, nine, seven. Who knows? They're not letting it off the ground worldwide. Well, there you go. It's a freak accident. Those planes shouldn't be grounded. I disagree. I mean, it's not like Boeing. Boeing is equivalent to Hunter Biden. You know, if if you if Hunter had another relapse, I wouldn't be like, nah, it's just it's a freak accident. No, 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 no. It's like there's a history b behind these planes, and it's just like you you don't let a plane in the sky with people on board if you don't know why that happened. Uh, you know, you can't just say it's a freak accident. You need to know what it was. Mm -hmm. Boeing wasn't involved in its business. Not suitable for children. I watched the South Park. <laughs> Red fin. 
Uh, they're holding up good today. Again, Tesla started to flip back down. So SPY still holding up. NASDAQ at one. I mean, Russell is caught up to the SPY. It was lagging heavy earlier. So that's not so bad for now. I mean, the yen's, again, Yen's on a holiday. I didn't think the Yen was going to go up here today. Crocs is killing it. Crocs was only up 7% in the morning. I think we missed that. Again, they came out with good guidance, and then they're running there. How do I feel about the real estate market in the 24? I think it's going to be stable. Again, uh, realistically, I think it'll be stable. A slight gain holds some of the same prices. Depends on the region. Uh, but I do think as if jobs come down or job job uh, unemployment comes up, then I think real estate will, will be a little bit more rockier. But pretty much I'm linking real estate performance to the jobs market uh, above all else. And then again, the rates, even then, even if, if jobs are bad and then rates go down, I don't know if that'll help too much. But other than that, I think it should be sta more stable than not. I'm not expecting uh, like outsized gains in real estate. I'm not expecting it to go insane and you get another run up where everybody's houses are, you know, 10%, 20% higher in a year. XOM on the low. Energy getting mollywop still. It's still 4.5 down. And it was down 4.7 earlier. MPC on the low, or on the high, excuse me. B Fly, they were up in the morning. Lift looking for lift. Bonds are holding near the high, but they stopped going up. Where's the dollar? Dollars down. I don't know if this is because of the yen here, but that should help us uh, get a little bit more support. Again, we're like in the middle. I think is the market matched up? No, no, no. We're higher for where the dollar's at. So again, remember last time with that whole dollar thing on Friday and the ISM, we're trading a lot better right here. So we'll see if that holds up. But dollar is still somewhat supportive on the day. And then again, let's see at this level and then 4729, 4726. Those are the levels you want to see. Mm. Will you be live streaming the debates or any part of it uh, for the election? Probably not. I'm I'm not doing an election. The, literally, the election stream. I had a lot of fun doing it last time, but uh, that's it, it. It was used to brainwash people, and they got really really mad last time. And I just I'm not I'm not with it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I encourage you all to vote this year. I'm gonna vote this year, uh, and that's it. But I'm not I'm not doing any no no election stuff this year. Mm -mm, no, no more 24 hour stream. I mean, people are just again. I mean, everybody. I feel like everybody's kind of already made up their mind in a weird way. Mm -mm. Too polarizing to be positive, kind of to a degree. Their intimidation tactics are working. No, I just think uh, it's just not, it's just literally like even comments like that. That's the whole point. Uh, Republicans are polarizing Democrats. I don't like the extremes of both. And like I said, though, I mean, if you're going to give me the same candidates, I mean, uh, you should, I already told you who I'd vote for, uh, <laughs> you know, like that's it. But I don't, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's peaceful. And again, the, the media and how everything is. So I, I just plan on voting, uh, you know, and like, that's it. I'm going to vote this time around. Mm. Ralph Native 2024. Moody says Morgan Auto. 
proposed three hundred million upsize offering of JP Morgan. Yeah, I've never voted in my life. They taught me that in political science. They said your vote doesn't matter. But again, I do think things have changed with the, what's it called? The social media. And how you say it, the media social. You know, a lot, again, influencers and things being influenced. So I encourage you all to vote. And again, I mean, but it's just, I, I enjoy my peace. I'm going to vote and then laugh. But then this time I'll be responsible because this whole time I get to blame everybody else. I'm like, I didn't vote. You voted. Y'all voted for all of this stuff. Y'all voted for Trump. Y'all voted for Biden. So that's on you guys. <laughs> Myrna's on the high. Remember, they got clapped there. Pfizer is back to green. By Boeing up. It's just chilling. They killed the contracts, though. But, again, they're still holding that morning gain. Into the covered call ETFs. I didn't. I wanted to get Jeppy, but I never. I mean, I just started grabbing individuals. That's the only covered call ETF that I've considered. But uh, I wanted. I mean, we should have bought it when it was lower. Other than that, I found other ways to, to put the money to work. about independent so you could complain either way yeah man, just get ready man get ready what's this boeing at 3 a.m pacific time shared max 9 inspection criteria with airlines giving instructions for how to in inspect fleet Twelve million in volume by hour number one. It's kind of the same as last week. Kind of crazy. We're chilling. EWJ again. Japan's doing good. Bonds are taking off though. Spy might be getting up to that level now. Is Nvidia still killing it? They're right off of the highs. And then again, Pfizer woke up. Have your discussion about the candidates. Your vote is your business. I just, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, we'll have normal talks as they come up, but I'm not planning on doing anything crazy. I mean, again, I'm, it's it's really up to the media uh, <laughs> and other people and how they behave, but I'm just, it's not peaceful. I don't like it. Uh, I don't want to get involved in it. So I'm going to make my vote. And again, I'm, I'm very disappointed with how things have been ran. So I do plan on voting for the first time in my life. But other than that, I mean... Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not really uh I don't I don't think we're going to make this a uh, a talking ground uh for for the election. You know, let's make some money off of it. I'm fucking down with that. Uh <laughs> but other you know bonds, I think bond we're going to you know we're going to bring it up as one of the factors financially, but I don't really care about like yeah, again, even then at the end of the day, like that being said, uh despite my disappointment, uh I don't care who wins. Uh, why? Because, uh, you know, I'm, I, I could, my, like I told you four years ago, my soul may get affected and I'll be sad on one thing, but you know, the idea is you can make money no matter who the president is. Uh, that's just, that's what, again, look at your long term. We made money under Trump. We made, uh, money under Biden. Uh, you know, the long term will be forever and just, and don't ever forget that. Cause that tells you a little bit about everything, no matter what these politicians, they got stocks, everybody making money, no matter what. Which era did you make more money under? 
I've made more money under democratic eras in my whole life. Consider, I mean, again, every, I like democratic for uh, real estate and a lot of things. And this shouldn't be new to any of you. <laughs> but again, both sides, you make money uh, if, if you know what you're doing. And again, if you just get a long term too, your long term does not give a shit uh, who the president is. You're a Republican. That's cool. I love it all. My mom votes. Yeah, my mom always votes. KRE got clapped. So again, I think after earnings, it might come back up. I'm waiting for the double dip, but it's like slightly below. If I'm going to double dip, I want a little bit more on it. And then again, too, even in the environment we've been in, the double dip, again, the whole market just chilled out. Uber on the high, SPY breaking out another high, 47.18 now. So this is level number one. Let's see where it goes. Again, 4721 high of Friday, and then 4726 to 4729. Those are the two spots you need to break, and then I think you'll get a little bit more excited. Yeah, double dip. They're cheaper now, slightly. So you could get them in there cheaper, but then like literally you'll have to like Friday, maybe after Friday with the with the bank earnings. But then again, XLF will move more than KRE uh, by the end of this week. Is this one of those Green Mondays or is Red January? Oh, oh I forgot about Green Monday. You remember a Green Monday trend? I like it. MPW. Uh, I gave an analysis on it on last night's watch list. So second link will answer what happened with MPW uh, and my take on it and my view. If you're interested in it. Yeah, gold's killing. I wish we bought a big one now. I'm such an asshole because I'm like, oh, I, I want to be safe with it. And then right when it goes up, I'm like, I wish I had more. But no, we're doing good on that. The yeah, Half a percent. So you would have made like a thousand bucks on a big one, but now we made like two oh six on the small ones, which isn't bad, which isn't bad at all. I thought they were gonna move a little slower, so I'll take it. But gold, literally, right from that that pop up there, it's it's been going straight up again. Same thing with the bonds though too. So I'm waiting on the bonds. I kind of want to short them if they get above yesterday's Friday's high. But so then spies going, so we'll see if we get that that melt up or not. Yeah, Tesla was doing good and then chilled out. But again, even like NVIDIA calmed down, but they're still pinned at the high. Let's see, XLV, ANSS. That one's coming back up too. Remember, that's part of the buyout one. Uh, who else? I got Pfizer up here. Let's check Bobo. Boeing, Boeing, back, back to Cali, Cali. Zim, I don't know. Zim, I think, is related to all the shipping stuff, but... This thing's very volatile and it's already up. It's up over 100% or under, just under 100%. It was there the other day. So you got to be careful with it. A down Monday, down Friday. I feel like kind of in, was that like October was the last one? Even then, I forgot about the whole Monday, everything goes up. That's crazy. I don't know, Carvana, I saw them move, but I don't know if they have news. CME on the low. Again, bonds are really starting to rip now. Yeah, Carvana, I don't think there was anything in the morning. It's not showing me the percentage. Yeah, TLT is doing good. Apple at the high again. Spy hitting right above the level and then a little bit of a red. But 4720, you're like one point off of Friday's high. Remember, this is where we flushed right away, came back up, and then it led to the, the bigger flush. Who do you think has the best chance at a Republican nominee? 
Oh, I don't know. We'll talk about it when we get there. We'll talk again. Uh, the real question is, is how are we going to position ourselves to make money on it? And sadly, until we know how the policy is going to shift with the Fed, that's going to be, you know, we're going to have a lot of juggling to do. That will be the uh, the interesting part. But then again, uh, uh, too, I want to see what the campaigns they all run at. So, again, whoever's the nominee, we'll even see what Biden does to kind of promote things coming into it. And then once you know the nominee, let's see what sort of stuff they advocate for, because eventually the market will start. Uh, will will start reacting. Biden won't accept Austin's resignation if offered political. NKT, did they get, were they part of the buyouts? There was like two biotech offer buyouts there. Mm. Who's Austin? Is it Lloyd Austin he's talking about? J and J bought a ma'am. There was like two today. Let me see. I have it on my list. Pfizer European Commissioner approves Talzena in combination with Extandi for results with metatastic castration resistant prostate cancer. That sounds intense. Boeing starting to rip up here. Boeing back to two thirty. I don't know if Pfizer's gonna move off of that. Something about the EU. Macy's still going up and then ARM. Chip makers are doing a lot. So it was Harp. To, uh, they're getting acquired by Merck. And then AXNX, uh, BSX acquires uh, for $71 in cash. Those are the two ones. AXNX and then Harp. And then A-Man Johnson Johnson to acquire Amberix. Was that today? Yeah, they're up 98%. Maybe that was... Did I miss that one on the list? Oh, yeah, it was right under it. Hey, ma'am. James, that's... So, again, three different buyouts there. Three different biotech buyouts, which is crazy. Lloyd Austin went AWOL something regarding his health. Uh, someone in chat says he was on a ICU. I, I didn't hear about that. NVIDIA, there was bad news in the morning. Again, I feel like anytime I've said NVIDIA going up, even a couple weeks ago, I think think it was the same scenario. I think there was another day of like bad news. And like remember, it was like one of the China chip bands and extending it with the ASML stuff. And then, boom, it, it shot up. But again, there was negative reports on NVIDIA, but they rocketed up today. And then you got CES, I think, in the next what? They should have a speech going on. They have NVIDIA and AMD at CES. Like AMD, they have something going on. Oh, no, a AMD's already ended. What was the bad news? I thought it was good news. The news, I thought the news was that I read this morning was that they are not, uh, that China doesn't want those chips. So that like NVIDIA is like making a lower powered chip to follow the guidelines and they're saying that these Chinese companies don't want them. Yeah, they said their Chinese chips are ready to roll out, but 
the other report was like Baba and Tencent didn't want them. So again, I think people looked at the positive side of it, but again, just like that ASML stuff a couple of weeks ago. Euro close is going to be, should be what, an hour? Just under that? BC, NASDAQ up at 1.08. Russell is starting to rock it, though. NKTX, a couple of chads called that one out earlier. That's a 52-week high. And Carta up 54%. Wow. Did they have any news? That was actually kind of crazy. We might get another Euro close sell-off. We'll see. I mean, this time the equities are higher up. NASDAQ's doing a lot stronger than any of the other days. The bonds are just getting back up to Friday's levels, but they're not like too crazy. And then the dollar is kind of supporting. So we'll see. But I mean, this, this day looks a little bit better, but it's definitely, I would still put it in the possibility cards because it, it could happen. You know, that's what we've been watching every single time. MSOS back above eight. I hope so. Almost there, 791. Bayer is zero health play. They've been struggling recently, right? Let me check. Yeah, but I mean, it's a big name. I mean, they're a name that's held for a while, but I forgot. Yeah, they had some sort of bad news the other day. This is like deep value healthcare. Assuming they don't have any like liability or other like health related issues like that. It could be one, but it's definitely one of those, you know, deeper value plays. They have the name, though. I forgot what the bad news was. They had bad news recently. Was NKTX just guidance, or they found registration of securities? And again, that Pfizer, I'm getting the European Commission to approve something. I keep seeing that news, but the stock's not really moving. Netflix on the high. Netflix 479 again they have earnings next week so you got to get through this week Boeing 230 231 so there you go it's still what 740 it's still very early let's see Coin, $3 pop, BTCX, huge pop. I think a lot of crypto plays moving. Again, Netflix at the high. Spy working its way back up. Yeah, coins back up to 154. It's starting to wake up a little bit. Earnings, it could be, but then again, like uh, as far as like some of those option plays and two standard deviation, you see like we went early on JP Morgan, but the way things have moved in this like down, 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 slow move up, sell off at Euro close, that killed premiums, but... We are higher than Friday right now. So, again, 4726. That's your next level I'd be looking out for. Yeah, Coinbase just woke up there with a green shoot. Philip Morris on the high. A Gensler tweet. What do you say? Gary Gensler. Gary, 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 Gary Gensler. Uh, oh yeah I think they might he's doing it again so Gary Gensler is posting a thread to keep in mind before investing in crypto assets but do you guys not know like what happens so like I told you this a couple of weeks ago last every time he puts out one of these warnings they like approve something <laughs> so that's why like in a weird that could be why you're getting the pop even though he's warning against it but it's just like every single time he's made one of these threads warning about something uh they usually like approve something in the next following days so that that does make sense with everything yeah dallas fed Lori logan was very bearish uh over the weekend uh but then again she did say maybe we slow down qe and the whole QT effect, but for the most part, she was pretty negative. Uh, but markets, kind of, again, markets and bonds brushed it off. Uh, we do have uh, your boy Bostic though today. 
that will be it. The reverse Kramer and Gensler. Well, just like Gensler, I think, I don't know, maybe in his mind by, you know, putting out a warning before they approve something, he's trying to balance it all out. NKTX is still running. That that one's up like 50%. It's like a $4 to $9 stock as of late. That one's going crazy. Mr. Boombostic. IWM, if that hold, this is a big level for it. It kind of just woke up out of nowhere, bro. IWM was not like this in the morning. So, again, if you hold back up above here, that's where things got a little crazy. So, that's good for now. And then gold, bro. Man, gold killed it. Back up to 2040 almost. Uh, uh Yeah, IWM's catching up to which is weird. I didn't see that coming. I thought everyone's gonna calm down, but I do still like the uh still a big fan of the uh small caps, uh at least for the first quarter or coming into this all. Oh, uh, where's Qualcomm? And then Boeing, I'm still eyeing a couple of those contracts. I got another contract in mind. I want it to hit a certain price. But again, it's still very early. It's only been like an hour. Shopify on the high. AAO. Qual Dude, all the chip makers. Qualcomm a little less. Intel still up three. They're at the high. AMD up four. They're going up. Is NVIDIA about to break out? AMD is about to break out through the high right now, though. Stress la. It is cold. I think it was 38 degrees in the morning in San Diego. I had my, I'm like still cold, but my room got hot. I had my heater on full blast. Buying puts at Euro Close to test the theory. Good luck, my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait, man. Don't hit the price. Don't grab him. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine if it does make the bounce or if we miss out on any move, but. Just keeping an eye. Because, again, lately in this market, it's been good. I, You know, I wanted to play gold so many times. I'm glad I waited to, like, a lower 20, 2020 handle. But, you know, we missed out on a couple intraday. But then everything just ends up a weird way. Remember SWN? That was the buyout play from Friday. Dollar, big red. You're going to rip then. 27. Now we're just, like, right back to the lows. If it, like, flushes, you want to flush. If you get any sort of dollar move looking like that, you're going to run. But again, the dollar is supporting Delta's on the high. Again, they have earnings on Friday. We just hit another high not too long ago. Uh, dollar IWM, another high. That one's still going. Where is RTY? 0.87 on the futures there. Yeah, gold's back to 2040. I'm kind of shocked. So gold has already recovered 1% almost. It was down like 1.5 at the low low. What do you think the silver price is out of ratio? I haven't looked at it too much. I know people do say, you know, when that ratio gets wide enough, you make a move. But if anything, I mean, silver is part of more like industrial commodities. But I do think, I, you know, I, I look at gold related just to interest rates and future policy. But other than that, I, I haven't really paid too much attention to silver. I bought gold and then I bought one Boeing put for $80, which is murdered right now. But we use that as a place marker. But I bought gold at 2028 20, this morning. Mm. Would you ever add Oatly? I do. I do know the company, but I don't know if I'd go crazy with it. So, again, it is a, a IPO, but I, I'm very familiar with them. And then, again, as an IPO, it probably had a crazier valuation when it came public. But, you know, if you wanted to, if it fits with your balance and you're not going to go too crazy, that's not one I would, I would make an anchor. But I do know them. 
Yeah, maybe they are the new Beyond Meat. I feel like they're doing better than Beyond Meat, though. Like Oatly, they're, you're not selling fake meat. You're just selling, you know, almond milk uh, or, again, uh, oat milk. I, I do like oat milk, though. Again, I like I like a oat milk with a, with a chai tea. That hits. That was one of my caffeine drinks. Mm-hmm. I don't, it's not, I think it's oat milk. I don't think it's like fake anything, is it? I think they may have a fake one, but I don't think it's like a, I don't think it's a chemical, uh, like, substitute. Oatly slaps, I didn't even know they were public. Yeah, they IPO'd, what, a year or two ago? Was it 2020? TKO. I think TKO, TKO is a, it's an interesting one. I don't know about UFC, but remember when they merged with WWE and we looked into WWE, WWE. I think WWE is a very interesting company. I don't, I, again, fun. They have no debt. They have like just how they're broken up with everything and like the media that they sell. It's interesting, but I do think he, I, 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 I like WWE more than I like UFC. So as long as UFC doesn't get in the way of WWE, I think they could they could find a nice balance. But I don't know about longing it, more or less. But then again, I have known about WWE for ten years, even you. And I do think UFC will probably be around, especially if like society degrades further. I f I fully think we're gonna get into Coliseum fights sponsored by UFC and DraftKings. So I want to I I don't know. I could see it happening. I definitely think they'll be around. A dollar still a little lower again. Spy just hit another high. When there's news like this on Boeing, curious your thoughts on playing put side versus the drop on deeper in the money calls. I think Boeing news like this, it's going to kill both sides. But that's also an opportunity. That means both sides are going to get an opportunity to win. So it'll be red for a little bit and flush, and then it'll have stupid pops. That'll make the calls go up. But I think this is all until we get developments. It might move very, very slow, and you'll get a lot of back and forth. Again, even the times that they did get clobbered, was that, what, 2018, 2019? You know, you're going to get a lot of dancing around more or less. So in a weird way, I think it just makes sure, you know, you can play either way. Make sure you take your profits. Don't fall too much in love with it and just go from there. ON. It's an IPO. I know about ON. They're really good, but I don't. My girlfriend loves them, but I don't know enough about them to assume that, you know, they'll have the same level of success. And then again, depending on what their valuation was when they IPO'd. Walgreens. Is it right back up there? Yeah, Walgreens. Ha oh my gosh. Walgreens recouped the whole drop. So again, if Boeing does that. There's no double dip on the puts, but I was hoping, you know, I hope Boeing does something like this, goes up and then comes down, have another flush, and then it'll bounce again and then play that little game. They had very good earnings, ON. They've been killing it. They've been, I think, one of the fastest growing, like, shoe brands. I see them everywhere. And then Russell Futures just hit 1986. They're at 1985 now. Hey, net strong AMD upgraded. Tail Ray. No way Oatly doesn't become a massive company. I'd have to look at their earnings and see. You know, again, they're still, I mean, in a weird way, it's like kind of Beyond Meat had similar things in the beginning. I do think they're way better than, than Beyond Meat, but. I have to take a look again. They're even at a dollar now. I don't know what they IPO'd at. Yeah, oof. So again, you'd, you'd have to check the fundamentals. But I know the company. I mean, I think a lot of people do.
Average down on Baba picked up another five. Nice. I gotta wait for my deposit for the next one. So by then, either Baba will still be low or Pfizer still down or comes down. So they'll go from there. CVS flushing? Yo, CVS on the low. Big candles red. CVS. 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 They're getting clobbered there. Uh, oh, wait. I think they have a conference call. So they're probably coming out with guidance right now. Mm, yeah, conference call. CVS 1030 Eastern. So it's 20 minutes ago it started. They're probably coming out with bad guidance. Again, CVS down 1.1 off of two candles. Is Walgreens getting clapped off of that or no? Yeah, Walgreens even coming down too. So CVS sees Medicare enrollment. That was uh, 8.59, no. Again, they had stuff in the morning. They had somebody stepping down for family reasons, name, interim, CFO, and a couple of other things. But again, they're probably something related to guidance. I don't know. We might be able to listen to it. Nice call. I got you. That's, that's 2.6 now. So I put out a stream alert. I don't have a play on it. But, again, the, we don't know what the news is. So they have to come out with the guy. Those contracts just shot up 200 300%, though. Even the ones really, really far out the money. Yeah, you can't really snake it. All of the contracts already gapped up. I don't think it's snakeable at all. Again, from $5 lower... I'm looking at the next week's, though. I'm not looking at the weeklies. I'd say you got to be careful with that. They all popped up 200% so far. Unless it makes, like, another dip down, but even then, it's still kind of tight. CNBC saying they're expecting several ETFs to get approved on Wednesday. Israeli strike kills elite Hezbollah commander, Associated Press. Uh, Humana and UNH are coming down now too. So again, this could be related. This could be related to something with insurance. UNH, Humana, they're part of it now. They're getting some lows off of that. It's Roro. Oh, this could be at the JP Morgan Health Co Conference. of the nature and the demographics of our population relative to some of our peers. What we see is an impact that's this very similar CVS. to what This is CMS JP Morgan Health Conference. Universe, maybe even slightly less. Right now, you get to hear um, that. As you think then about some of our, you know, Oak Street in particular right. is the place where folks focus um, because it's the provider enablement models that potentially have a much bigger headwind. And Oak Street is, um, does have a headwind. Right. Um, I think as you think about 
the range of outcomes that some of our peers have talked about, I think we're towards the lower end of that range, you know, moved in over three years. And so as you think about what, why did it take us so long to choose Oak Street? It was because we looked at a lot of different models and we concluded that Oak Street had the best model out there. It had the best people, it had the best process, it had the best technology. And this is where we see the separation and the differentiation of that model. So starting back in August, we had already implemented some of the changes to be able to understand how is the risk model shifting? How do we need to change that and capture that data inside the technology? Um, and how do we need to think about the encounters to be able to understand what the relative impacts are? Um, and so as we think about where, you know, where we're gonna be on Oak Street, you know, our goal is to get it down to about a 2% headwind okay. um, for 2024. Um, and there's a lot of work that the teams have to do to get there, um, but at this stage we feel like, you know, they're well on track. You know, one other thing that really stands out um, is STARS. Um, you know, when you told us a year ago, Karen, that you would get your stars back for 2025, I think that most people in this room believe, did not believe that that was gonna be the case. Uh, they forget that I'm all about execution. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it, it was a big feat, but can you, can you talk about, you know, how you were able to do that in such a short period of time and, and why we should have confidence that, that you'll maintain stars on, on a go forward basis? Yeah, you know, I, I'm incredibly proud of uh, how the entire company came together to really deliver um, for uh, the STARS performance. We did a number of things. You know, we brought the entire company with a goal to say, how do we get this back? And, you know, we missed on cap. So we really looked at how can we improve uh, the service. We had every touch point um, in the company focused on improving service. You know, we looked at our care management teams. We looked at how we could improve medication um, adherence. And as you saw, we really delivered on HEDIS measures, I mean, across the board. And it was, you know, we, and what we did was we really built sustainable processes to make sure that we can continue to have that performance on an ongoing basis uh, for STARS. Now remember, we only missed by a little bit. We had good processes. We just made them even better. Right. and we put an entire um, company focused on it. And I'm, like I said, incredibly proud of what the team was able to do. Um, when we think about your, your pharmacy and consumer business, um, cost vantage, it, it was really, I think, something that surprised a lot of people at, at your analyst day when we talked about it. And I appreciate your comments that this is just not about transferring costs from the PBM to the pharmacy or profit from the PBM to the pharmacy, et cetera. Um, when you made that announcement, you, you wanted to talk about stability when we think about the, the pharmacy reimbursement model. And I think for many of you that have followed the, the pharmacy reimbursement model for a long time, you see that it has done nothing but go down over time, right? I mean, clearly you had a pocket of, of a couple of good years due to COVID. Uh, but outside oh, of that, baby, it's been very it's difficult. Here. Can you give us some I, I don't want, I can't hit the horn right now. We listen in on this. But Bradley Frizzle in the peach, baby. Really trended oh, over time. Oh, my man. Time. God bless you, Bradley. Um, and, and how you Good morning. Happy 2024, baby. PBMs. He's back for the second PBMs, Monday. So understand it from I'm probably sides. way louder. I'm so, sorry. I, think, you know, I was listening to this one, too. God bless you, baby. Good morning. Good morning. Every single year. And I'm going to turn and, this up a and little bit. what we typically would have done, and we answered the, you know, when I came into the role, it's like we answered the same, what are you going to do about it? And what we said was going to improve our costs. You could probably <laughs> quote it, right? Um, increase scripts and reduce, um, you know, reduce overall operating costs. Well, we got to a point where we said, you, can, you know, it, you can't do that anymore. And so we feel like we're very close to the bottom and we have to bring new innovation to the marketplace. And, and that's really um, was the conversation. How do we stabilize um, pharmacy? Because this model that we're in today is unsustainable. It's just a billion dollars every single year. So we introduced cost advantage, which is really, um, if you think about what consumers want, consumers want transparency. They really want to understand at the pharmacy counter uh, what their costs are. And you know, we decided that we would um, have a, a model where we have the pharmacy acquisition cost plus a, um, plus a markup, plus uh, a fee, and, and that will simplify the entire process and stabilize our, our pharmacy. Now, we've had conversations um, with PBMs already, and um, people are interested in learning more. Obviously, um, you know, we've introduced the product in Caremark, so we're moving, uh, moving that forward. Customers are very focused on this, too. 
Um, and obviously, the, the regulators are very focused on how do you have more transparency right. in pharmacy. And, and our thought was, if it's not us, then who? And you know, we're the leader in this industry, and we had to make a change, and we have to stabilize. Because pharmacies are here to stay. They are in their local communities where people need to access care in, you know, for you know, their prescriptions. And, but we have to have a sustainable model going forward, and, and that's really why we did it. When I think about that sustainable model, you know, part of this is services. And, and if I think about it, you say every year it's a billion dollars that reimbursement is coming down. You would hope in some way that benefits the consumer. Maybe yes, maybe no. Many times probably coming back to the corporate entity that, that's paying for this. Um, but when I think about the service component to this, and, and I think a lot of you know that 80% of costs in the US today are for chronic conditions, and that if you can keep a patient adherent on the drug, it can lower those costs. That kind of leads me to think, when I think about this new model, yes, we'll have transparency, but won't value-based care within pharmacy, won't you know programs that you can develop or you currently have today become increasingly more important? And as I think about that shift and change, do you think of the pharmacy as taking more risk over time for things like adherence or outcomes or anything else when we think about you know these these new pharmacy models emerging? Yeah, I, th I think you know we we already do a lot of value-based care, and, if, and I'll let Tom talk about kind of the financial pieces of this, but. You know, um, our plan customers are already paying the pharmacy for those value-based care. As a company, we're number one in supporting uh, medication yeah. adherence. And so we're already um, in that value-based care mode, and we're getting paid for it. This is just another model to sort of stabilize um, that pharmacy reimbursement piece. So I think that both of them can operate in, in sort of the world in which we operate in. Yeah, I, I, maybe two quick things. The, the first thing that I, I hear very often uh, feedback from investors is they say, oh, with this new model, prices are going to go up. Right. Right. It, that's just not correct. Right. As you look at and you think about that reimbursement pressure, that billion dollars a year, we've offset on average more than half of that every year with improvements in cost of goods. Right. And our teams are out there every day looking to drive those costs of acquisition down. And in this new model, we will pass those costs on to the customers as they happen. Right. And so as you think about the long term, you know, uh, on that, you've got a, a tremendous number of drugs that start to go generic in 26 and in 27, mm -hmm. um, much more so than you see over the 24, 25 period. Um, and so the improvements in our acquisition costs will get passed along to the customers much closer to real time than they ever are today. Um, and so that, that I think is a benefit because costs will continue to go down. They maybe in the short term just won't go down by quite as much as they, the trajectory that we've seen over the course of the last couple of years. And it, it's an important distinction. Um, I also think it's important if, if you think about uh, on the PBM side, right? So you're talking about the consumer benefiting from this. but. Many people today are in a high deductible health plan. Um, and many rebates, as we know, go back to the plan sponsor. I think that you know there, there's this misconception that, that the PBM keeps those rebates. But it's really, so if a plan sponsor is making a decision that they want to maintain the rebates, how, do, how does that work at the pharmacy counter? Is this just their cost is going to be better because the acquisition price is better, um, and therefore any decision around rebate, et cetera, is going to be a completely separate decision um, as to, to how it benefits the, the member? Really, the pricing model that we're talking about for, on the, the pharmacy yeah. you know, cost vantage product it's is just about pharmacy. the pricing with the PBM, yeah. not necessarily the pricing at the counter, yeah. although the pricing at the counter for cash pay will be available in the second quarter for a consumer to take advantage of if they want to go outside their benefit. Um, you know, I know we don't have a lot of time left, but Karen, I, I really would love your perspective on this FTC report on, that is supposed to come out in 2024. Around I, I think the PBM they said industry. something about guidance. I think You're many of you know that I have followed the PBM industry for over 20 years, and well, I recall when the FTC came out a number randomly. of years ago with a very positive report saying that PBM saved money and and they so again, um, this is you the know JP drive Morgan people to mail conference. that also sales awesome. money, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Lena Khan came out last year and said that they withdrew all support of the PBM industry and that she was having her own report done for 2024. So what should we expect in, in that report for 2024? Yeah, I, you know, obviously we've been working very closely. Um, what I would say is 
You know, we, we consistently Nike's, have demonstrated savings with the PBM, right? Time and Google's time again, on the high, too. Again, we're still holding up. Bonds near the high as well. My expectation Google breaking is out. Dollar went a little lower there, so that could maybe justify the high. But if anything, uh, the Russell. Uh, because, you know, we, we consistently should have moving. demonstrated uh, improvement in pharmacy costs for our clients, and that's what we, you know, committed to do. Um, we only have one minute left. Um, I guess just two quick things. One would be capital deployment for Tom. Um, and any changes to your allocations for, for capital deployment as, as we think about 2024? No, this could um, be capital something. balance is the key, right? And so um, we raised the dividend um, you know, it, at the December investor day. Um, as you saw in the 8K, we, uh, we promised that we'd execute three and a half to four billion of repurchases this year. Um, we executed an ASR that started yep. in January, a significant three billion. Um, and so uh, we continue to invest in our core and to deploy capital for shareholders. Uh, in the last 30 seconds, Karen, um, what, what do you hope people will appreciate next year that they don't appreciate now? I think it's the strong, sustainable growth um, from our you know, businesses, including our healthcare delivery, you know, continued powerful cash flow generation and balanced capital deployment. Great. I want to thank everyone uh, for joining us this thank morning. You. Thanks, thank Karen you. and Tom. <laughs>
guidance and growth in their plan moving forward. Crocs. You use nicotine, smoke vapes, and chew for the last 10 years. Vaping for the last seven. I just destroyed it two days. No nicotine. I quit. I feel free. Let's go, baby. I think you're the second Chad who's told me that recently. So good work, man. Keep it up. Get you some, like, sunflower seeds, something to do, you know, and you'll, you'll be good, man. You'll be good. This is that zone from last Friday. I think if we go a little bit higher. I mean, we've been here a couple of times. It's not like we're – but every time we've been above the – ever since dropping below, every single one of these moves above this level have been short-lived. Now, the good news, you got 15 minutes. You got 15 minutes until Euro close. And remember, every other day so far this week, Euro close is where everything would flip. You quit smoking after you spent two months in jail. Yeah, that'll do it. I don't unless but no, don't they have cigarettes in jail? Wait, why'd you go to jail? Did they did you have a long term? Were they like, no long term, you under arrest? I don't think that happens. I think people encourage no long term. Above all else. You're banking on the Euro closed dump. We'll see. Yeah, I got a lot of questions. Sorry, right, you don't have to answer if I'm too invasive. Mm -hmm. They didn't allow them in the jail I was in, but they got snuck in. So another chat answered the question for me. Wait till the closer end of the week. That could be a good idea. I mean, assuming we don't get, like, one of the st stupid run-ups for cushion, but like we were saying, you know, even though CPI is big this week, uh, there is going to be a lot of, uh, you know, there's still going to be a lot of dryness except for CPI and PPI. But then that's all Thursday, Friday. Brother gave you 5000 asked him to invest. Any long-term suggestions? Little by little, though. I mean, uh, hopefully when you're doing that for your brother, hopefully he knows, uh, again, it'll take some time. But uh, I would be, you know, we talked Starbucks is kind of lower. That one's kind of in the middle ground. But we've talked about a lot of different plays where my the my criteria, I'm looking for plays that are not up a lot from last year. That's like the, the major thing that we want out of any of them. But yeah, small cap is still holding. I mean, honestly, small caps are expensive because again, I'm still up on my Russell plays. But you know, that is something in the in the short to midterm uh, that I'll be looking at. And small by small caps, I don't mean go buy shit stocks. I just mean literally the Russell 2000. Have you heard that Starbucks could be considered the largest banks because of its deposits? Yeah. So when people buy, this is like, this was like even from like 2018, 2019, Starbucks, like anytime people like reload their cards on their Starbucks account, that money just sits there. So like they, you know, Starbucks holds billions of dollars of money that isn't even spent yet on their products. It's just people who have these Starbucks accounts and all that. Oh, CYTK. Yeah, they've been going. They were down today, but if they're at the conference again, they've moved a lot recently. That could be an interesting one. Mm. I see we do the opposite of Euro close from last week. That will be new. We'll find out very shortly. Again, only 12 more minutes. You hit a new high again, higher than last Friday. You didn't ha you don't have you haven't had as many pullbacks as uh today as you have the other days but like i've been saying you know this level has been kind of stubborn but if we can't hold above it like i was telling you even from friday you know there's a there's some good upside nvidia brings generative ai to millions with tensor core gpus llm tools for rtx pcs and workstations so we're getting a nvidia update new graphics chip for personal 
Uh, new graphics chip for AI for personal computers. New graphics chips for AI personal. Oh, is it live now? Yeah, here it is. Increase the frame buffer to 16 gigabytes and the memory bus to 256 bits. It's the perfect GPU to max out your high refresh 1440p panels and they, even game at 4K. Is AI? Creators will love it for video editing and rendering large 3D scenes. This is AI it's talking. It's 1.6x faster than a 3070 Ti. There's no way this is a real human talking. two and a half times talking. faster with DLSS 3. It will be available on January 24 for $7.99. We're also introducing the RTX 4070 There's no way Super. you're a human. We've added 20% more cores, making it faster than the RTX 3090. There's no at a way. a fraction of the power. There's and with no DLSS 3, way. it's one and a half times faster. I'm, my mind is blown right now. This is a real human. Starting January 17th. RTX Bro, is this the is fastest a human. growing laptop platform, having grown five times in just the last four years. Over 50 million devices are enjoyed by gamers and creators across the globe. Today, we are announcing a new wave of RTX laptops. This is their official channel, every too. Major There's no OEM, way. From 14-inch, as slim as 16 millimeters, He's an AI? to the most powerful 18-inch. Yeah, bro. There is a laptop for this every gamer and creator. This is and weird. thanks to powerful RT and Tensor Cores, Every RTX Tiger laptop Woods thanks is Nike's AI ready night, says for the, be the best next gaming chapter. and AI experiences. Is he leaving Nike? With an installed base of 100 million GPUs and 500 RTX games and apps, GeForce RTX is the world's largest platform for gamers, creators, and now generative AI. Why are you playing music like we're running a marathon? For AI enthusiasts and developers, we are accelerating large language Why models do I feel for so RTX victorious? PCs and workstations. I'm sitting at my computer. And combined with my AI GPUs types everything. in the cloud, hybrid AI will take experiences further, even bringing life to game characters. I guess I'm kind of a big deal now. To power these experiences, we announced our new Super GeForce Desktop GPUs, delivering more performance and Gen AI power to gamers and creators. We also announced a new wave of AI-ready RTX laptops from every major OEM, delivering the ultimate in mobile performance. A new era of PC computing is here, and it will transform everything we do. NVIDIA and our partners are excited for what comes next. And now we'll hear from Deepu Tala about a new era for robotics. No, oh, this is weird. I don't know, man. Thanks, Jeff. Caterpillar? I would like to share how the infusion of generative AI into robotics is speeding up You have no idea how good it is to, bring to hear your voice, from Devala. Proof of concept to real world deployment. That dude was fucking with me. For the past me. few years, autonomous robots powered by artificial intelligence are being increasingly utilized this for been... improving efficiency, decreasing costs. Nah, you have no idea. That software. other dude was fucking with me, bro. Logistics, warehouses, that was weird. and manufacturing. I didn't know if it was a human or not. Cases that had the biggest need. He's not AI. Today, we can see hundreds of thousands of deployed robots with each well, of them getting smarter. I prefer Indian AI voice than Fucking AI fake AI Jeff office. Bezos AI voice. Large scale fulfillment centers. This and does not creep me out as much. There are millions of square feet in area. Continue he to sell more, more natural. smart robots. The next wave of industries for AI powered smart robots include agriculture, construction, healthcare, and retail. In the last 12 months, generative AI has revolutionized text and natural language processing. The introduction of Chat GPT has been noted as the iPhone moment of AI. Very soon, we are at the tipping point of that same technology coming to computer vision and robotics. Generative AI models achieve higher accuracy while generalizing rather well, and applications are built using natural language prompts or text. Given these attributes, generative AI is well suited for robotics. Now, Let's see how NVIDIA is bringing the massive potential Novartis, of generative AI to robots. At JP Morgan. Our platform for building AI-powered robots is called NVIDIA Isaac. To deploy AI, there are two computers necessary. The AI factory is where the simulation and training of the AI model happens. It is essentially the creation of the AI model. 
This process can go on throughout the operating life of the robot. The AI model can be continuously improved so that it gets better and better, more accurate, more performant, and more generalizable. Some applications might demand the AI model to be fine-tuned round the clock, 365 days a year. For example, if you're operating a fleet of autonomous mobile robots, or AMRs, Those are that are marching towards the goal of full autonomy. Bro, isn't that the vacuum? On the other end of the spectrum, the AI Roomba? model only needs to be updated well, I got Roomba's picking up shit now. And as a result, retraining happens hand. periodically. For example, a robotic vacuum cleaner that needs to adapt to your home floor plan. The AI factory leverages NVIDIA's data center compute infrastructure, NVIDIA AI, and NVIDIA Omniverse platforms. Now, let's switch to the second computer, which is the runtime of the robot. The computer can be an on-premise server, for example, performing defect inspection for a high-speed semiconductor manufacturing line. Or, the computer can be an autonomous machine processor, such as an NVIDIA Jetson, powering an AMR or industrial arm with multiple sensors, such as four to eight cameras, multiple 2D LiDARs, 3D LiDAR, and IMU. Over the past year, we have seen how generative AI-powered chatbots and co-pilots can improve our productivity. Applying generative AI to robotics will be transformative to accelerating the development and deployment of smarter robots. If you think back to our two-computer model, Gib, an AMD let's see how running. generative AI, when combined with NVIDIA Omniverse running in the AI factory, enhances simulation. We are seeing that LLMs can eliminate bottlenecks and turn typical users into technical artists. Whether it's creating an individual robotic work cell or a full-scale manufacturing facility, simulation teams make a significant investment to build the right 3D digital twin to test and train their virtual robots. Leveraging the ability to reason and generate code with an LLM like ChatGPT, the design team I can't tell if this dude's an AI. He's not blinking, text prompt but they cut it minutes. out before a natural Under time hood, he would blink. All of the available assets can be utilized and placed in the scene in meaningful ways. Robots often I'm operate in right dynamic now, environments. So even after the scene is created, new 3D assets will need to be generated. Starting with NVIDIA's Picasso, a text yeah, to 3D asset generative AI model Look, he New blink, realistic and then they assets cut it off. can be generated from a text prompt and placed in the scene. When testing or training a robot, diversity in environments blink, is essential to ensure the robot can see, generalize to the real world. Starting with text prompts, generative AI can add rain, water, rust, That's and cool. more to existing environments and create thousands of physically accurate scenarios. Tasks that typically take a technical artist days can be completed in minutes. There you go. It I doesn't saw, end he blinked. there. He blinked. Generative AI can nah, act real. as your co-pilot when it comes to writing scripts. Simply enter the prompt and generate the necessary code to run robot simulations or generate synthetic data that is auto-labeled, saving enormous amounts of expense and time. Yeah, he's real. All of this capability is available or coming soon with NVIDIA Omniverse and Isaac Sim. Make sure you leverage it if you're not already doing so. That first guy. We though. showed you how generative AI is supercharging robot simulation and synthetic data generation in the AI factory. Now let's see how generative AI Boeing, can turbocharge the runtime capability. Boeing will hold short factory stand down at Renton plant on Monday. Boeing commercial airplane president. Boeing has sent Max 9 inspection instructions to airlines. Boeing is working closely with 737 Max 9 customers and providing customer and technical assistance. Boeing commercial airplanes president. Accuracy than multiple purpose-built CNN-based computer vision models. Let's see how some of our partners are driving the generative AI revolution for their robotic operations. Hey, this is The Sims. We just made it look like a factory. I don't know why this music, this, all this, this music is oddly inspirational. Is that real? Oh, that's so creepy. I don't like how it moves. It moves like a 
a human and a, and a deer at the same time. I don't like this music. Their Welcome music to Boston choices. Dynamics. I am Spot, and I oh. will be your guide for today. Fuck hey, that, Spot. Spot like I tranquilize you. <laughs> ah, Mr. Matt, my employment as a tour guide provides great satisfaction. Fuck now, that. Now, heal the rock pile. Heal. Stay at that. Heal. That's a Roomba. I'm not impressed. That's a runaway gardening machine. That's a box. That just that reminded me of the rapture. If I ever saw that, I'd trip out. If I saw that thing mowing lawns and just saw the safety vest, I'd be like, the Lord is a rock. Oh, my. Nah, bro. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy CES 2024. Thank you. Is that it? They going, you just ending it like that? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's fine. I, I had a lot to take. I don't know if I could process anymore. The first guy messed with me, bro. There's no... Bro, Accelerating th large language models for RTX... This PCs is a real person, apparently. And combined with... The I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Anyways, well, there it is. Again, uh, didn't go too crazy. Again, they announced a new personal supercomputer. The ra You saw that rapture scene, though, bro. This little gardener thing with the safety vest and no gardener in it. I would have been like, nah, man. I'll be looking around for Kirk Cameron or something. Y'all yeah, don't know who that is unless you know. You gotta you gotta have a little bit of religious background to understand that joke. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, that was that was weird. <laughs> O keeps pushing high. I think uh, Reitz did pretty decent despite, uh, I guess, KRE came back up. Everything's good for now. And then now, Chad, perfect timing. They ended right at 1130. So here's your O close. And again, Bowen starting to drop a little bit. Uh, again, they gave that announcement there. The president it is 1130. Some of you were talking about making plays around there. So we'll see. But for now, let's see if we get that Euro close dump. Bonds are up. A lot of things came up, man. The Russell's doing great. NASDAQ's the leader. Spy's even up half a percent. Dow recovered half of its losses, but it's still down a quarter. Again, AMD's still going up. ALK. -OK. Yeah, ALK's -OK recovered from like down 4.5, 4 I think. 5% in the morning. Mm -mm. Yeah, Kirk was on growing pains, then he gave his life to the Lord. Yeah, so some of you know him there. There you go. That's good. Kirk Cameron. There was another Kirk Cameron movie. It was like a Jesus movie. We were going to watch it, me and my mom. But then, like, it just didn't look good. And then we watched. My mom has never seen God's Not Dead, so I showed her that movie. But she, she like, liked it, but then she didn't like it. Like, my mom, like, halfway, she'd be like, that's not realistic. <laughs> and I was like, what, mom? It's a movie. She'd be like, it's not realistic. I don't like it when they act like that. I'm like, okay, okay, fair enough, mom. Fair enough. <laughs> the huge bank in China that took Evergrande debt and failed. Yeah, Zingzhua. Zingzhua. They got clapped. Uh, there's like and three others or two others. There's three total, but they were the big one. There, Zingua is the is the biggest uh, shadow bank, is what they call it. Mm -hmm. You use those spot robots at work to enter facilities that are too loud for humans. Our one testing facility runs at a decibel level of a shotgun just continuously so it gets used to monitor equipment. No way. Well, thank you for that NASA update. That sounds awesome. Would that be crazy? What do you, how does it sound like a continuous shotgun? That's so loud. Mm. They're not real banks. They're just acting like banks, but they're not technically. Like a shadow, like shadow banks exist in the United States. I guess technically, like I kind of operate one to a degree. It's where you just get credit lines from a big bank, but then you're small enough where you're not regulated. 
like a like a normal financial institution. So that's why, like, like realistically, like, I, it's funny because all of the people who like, uh, you know, talk about like real estate and why it needs to like crash. Uh, I'm surprised more people in the United States don't bring up. I'm surprised they don't bring up uh, shadow banks because there's a lot of like entities, financial institutions. They're a financial institution, but they are funded by the big banks. So you get a credit line from JP Morgan for $50 million to fund mortgages. You're, you know, again, the money's coming from JP Morgan, but you're just essentially, you're operating and you could give loans and, and do whatever you want to a certain guideline, but you're not necessarily regulated in the same way a bank would. There's a lot of real estate loans that are done like that. So eventually, you know, the real estate loans get bought up by a hedge fund or other people end up buying the note or a big bank will end up buying it as you package it all up. But that's about it. It's not like, but it's, you know, most loans are actually, or most home loans, I think a good majority get originated in the United States from shadow banks. Mm -mm. Tiger Woods says he's leaving Nike. That's what they were saying. Nike's going up on that. They're like, yeah. <laughs> I only recognize the shadow realm of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, the cockpit recorder or black box from Friday night was erased. It's that Boeing, Boeing automatically, new Boeing feature. When it detects a problem, it instantly just deletes all the evidence. That's it. Shout out AI, bro. They got they got a Boeing criminal AI. He's like, delete it, delete it, delete it, delete it, delete it. O-N-O-N? Mm -hmm. -O -N? Oh, O-N-O-N. -O -N. On, I thought you were saying on over and over again. But... Speaking of over and over again, we need to do something. It's called push-ups. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Euro clothes. The market hasn't dumped yet. You know that. That's crazy. Yeah, plausible deniability function. <laughs> nah, for real, though. It's not a joke. It's probably... I wouldn't be surprised. They spent more money on, on getting rid of evidence than actually fixing the planes. Yes, thank you, Boeing. Anyways, but ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Euro close. We have not dumped yet, which is surprising for the last five days here. But we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on mobile. Press hot chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate course. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have been here for two and a half hours. We got four and a half hours left to go. Sitting is the new smoking. I need you to get beside your desk and do 10 push-ups. Can't do 10, you do 5. Can't do 5, you do 4. Can't do 4, you do 2. Can't do 2, you do 1. Can't do 1. Get on your knees to a push-up, plank the worm, anything. But get the body moving. Then optometrist recommendations. Stare at object 10, 20, 30 feet away. Go blink, 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 Relax those pretty little eyeballs, baby. Then chest to the sun, flex the core, tuck the hips in, legs in front of you. Get some good posture. And let me remind you to start off 2024, I need you to drop your shoulders. Some some of y'all are, are scrunching up your shoulders so bad. It's like, I don't even know what to, I wanted to make a Boeing joke, but I think I've been doing too many of those. But seriously, man, you got trauma traps, Okay. If you have a postmodern therapist, they will tell you that you're holding all of your tension. All of your trauma is held in your shoulders. That's why you scrunching them up like that. You know what I'm saying? So drop the shoulders, man. Relax a little bit. Go. Just drop them, bro. It's good. It's good, bro. It feels good for you, man. Okay? And then relax the jog. Breathe really deep. Go. Breathe out with your tongue out. Do the dragon breath. Go. Oh, uh, there it is. There it is. Relax the trauma chaps, baby. You're doing good. Oh. Oh, man. Feel good, don't it? 
There you go. I get these stretches in. Euro closes. Euro closes at 11.30. It's already closed. We'll, like, finalize in, like, 15, 30 minutes. But for the most part, Euro closes already in the books. Usually we'd be dumping by now. Again, all of 2024. It has been a, a Euro close sell-off. Oh, you guys have to give me a little bit of a spag. i got to get back here. Do one more stretch. Echo! Like the video! Good, man. Baby, yeah, I still hit my echo. It's great. Jumping jacks, jumping jacks are pretty tiring, but we've done jumping jacks before. You got to do what you need to do. Mm -mm -mm. Ba da ba ba ba. ONON denying Tiger Woods partnership. Wait. Oh, ONON, that's the uh the shoe. What has more upside uh in 2024, the 30 year treasury or the yen? I'm diversifying into both. Hmm, that one's tough. I think the TLT would be more likely to go up, but and that's the thing is because the the yen will be a little bit more difficult. But if the more difficult thing happens, I think that would go up more. But again, I think the yen is going to be harder to time. Whereas again, as long as everything goes according to plan, I mean, TLT should make a rise there if they do in fact cut rates. But how the yen reacts, I mean, again, that one a little less safer in the sense of, you know, yeah, it's going to go up. So, but then again, I, I do think it would, uh, it would go up more. The yen would, if it did get a little crazy. Mm. Owen, yeah. Oh, I think Owen's just computers and chips. Baba's running up here. I don't know if they're still down 2%. Baba, not down 0.83. Honestly, China plays kind of came back up here. Not too bad. Yeah, even by by do recover the two and a half loss. But China's getting no love. And then bonds are still ripping up here. And, bro, it's been 10 minutes. We haven't dumped yet. How you feeling? Walgreens, I couldn't find uh, anything there we're still holding it but again they dropped a little bit or i think cvs they came up a little bit they're at the health conference i think nvs is speaking right now too but other than that walgreens i'm surprised walgreens came back to earnings where they cut the dividend that's the the wild part i'd say of all of it the day of standing on the leg you want to try it it's hard i need to i need to do it's good for my balance i might i might try i'm gonna try like a leg balance here let's see yeah, bro, I have really bad balance. Yeah, yen, I don't know why the yen wasn't supposed to go up today. Again, I'm so I've really thought the dollar would have been stronger. There's a holiday in Japan. I didn't think the demand would be that high, but hey, I'll tell you, I'm on one leg right now. But it's hard. I'm only like 15 seconds in, and it hurts. Novartis buys San Reno. What's San Reno? UWMC on the high. That is San Reno publicly traded. What's Biden? I don't know if he is right now. Yeah, Intel is literally up 100% since cutting the dividend. So sometimes they go MPW and die, but other times they could go Intel and run up. Yeah, bro, my balance is... I can't do it for a minute, bro. I've already hit the ground like five times. Okay, that's one leg almost. Three, two, one. All right, switch legs. I'm doing I'm doing one leg. You 
my right leg has way better balance, surprisingly. If I need a guy to be a guinea pig for hair implants, I could be that guy. I know some hair doctors can be shady. I'm not even worried about, like, finding a good doctor for it. I just don't want my head cut open. My right hip is stronger. And no. I, I, we should do that. We should do the leg balances. It's hard, though. It's hard. What are you doing, the hokey pokey? No, you stand on one leg for a minute to work on your balance. Especially if you have, like, bad hips, weak glutes, and other things. It's actually really good for you. I just stopped doing it. It's hard, man. It's hard. cardio i've been dude i've been so slacking on the gym i haven't been back to the gym since my vacation and the holidays i've just been eating i've been getting fat i've been doing nothing bro that's it i've been doing so many other things i'm i'm scared to go back to the gym i don't want to deal with all the the people in there getting in there and then i'm like and then i get sick every time i go to the gym but i think i'm gonna go today i'm gonna try NXE? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Jim was wild. You've been eating McDonald's too on stream. I think I've done that regardless. <laughs> Definitely. I think even last end of 2022, we had a nice era of McDonald's on stream. Last time I got Starbucks. A month overseas broke the habit. Well, it's good, though. I, I wanted some rest. I just vacation. I vacationed. I took a vacation. I relaxed. I chilled, bro. I enjoyed my time. That's it. We chilling. But now I'm like, I'm starting to feel groggy. They're just not working out. Yeah, Pfizer's going up again. I don't know if did NVS stop speaking. Because, again, I, the Pfizer is the one I was waiting for today. Oh, skiing was a workout. Yeah, that wasn't vacation at all. That wasn't vacation at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden in Dallas today? I did not hear about that. I don't really keep up with Biden's schedule too much. If it comes on during market hours, we'll take a listen. But other than that, I'd be I'd be more concerned with Yellen's schedule again. The bond refunding and all that—that that will be the key. Mm -hmm. This price action—I mean, so far we've just been melting up. We woke up a little bit chilled out, but it wasn't too bad. We've definitely had worse to start off the year, but like all we've been doing is kind of moving up. And now you are Euro close hasn't even gotten our way. So we'll take it for now. I'll fly and give you an intermediate snowboard lesson for free. I owe you praise the long term. Once I'm going to get one of those giant stuffed animals that you attach to your back. And it like covers your whole body. That's it. If I could protect my tailbone and I have no fear of falling and getting clapped. Then that's it. That's good. That one. Then I could do it. Mm-hmm. Are we at the, are we at the, I don't think we're at the 26 yet, are we? Oh, 4724, it's 4726, 4729, and then before you know it, you could kind of open up this range a little bit more, but it's kind of the longest we've stayed above here, except for maybe last Wednesday, but it's been like, what, 30 minutes now above the 4717, that usually hasn't lasted the last couple of days.
the technique isn't hard. No, I know I know how to like snowboard a little bit, but that's it. Once I start falling, I'm like, fuck this. I say I need protection. I need knee pads. I need a I need a football helmet. You know, I said you try skateboarding. I'm, why do I want? I don't want to fall on pavement. Y'all don't understand what is going on. It's not the action. It's the it's the falling. I say I ain't trying to nah. No, no, no. I need I'm gonna wear football gear next time. You need to learn how to fall. Man, this is why some of y'all just I don't know if we vibe in the same way. I don't want to learn how to fall. That's it. I can't I, I wish I you I thought I was just don't I just need protection. What is wrong? Y'all don't I don't get it, man. Y'all just telling me everything except I have the solution. There is a solution. Why do y'all not like this solution? I'm aware of I saw them. They sell these. They market this. That's it. It's a giant stuffed animal. You wear it. You that it's beautiful. You fall back. You don't feel a thing. Mm -mm. It's great. That's it. That's all you need. Mm hmm. Federal Aviation approves Boeing 737 MAX 9 criteria. The inspection criteria. So Boeing's still going up. It's recovered half of the loss. I'm still waiting. One of the plays I want is like right at the price. And then gold's even coming down now. Are those considered the gloves of the gym world? They might be. They might be. Don't bring up skiing. You'll give them flashbacks. On another note, do you have any thoughts on the market sentiment with rate cuts coming in all at, and all this year? What do you mean? Yeah, that last phrase kind of threw me off. Coming in all this year? Like, do you, like, I think we will get rate cuts as long as inflation doesn't come back up. But I do think uh, everyone's a little bit more aggressive about them. Or, again, if we do get more aggressive rate cuts, I do think that would be as a result of the economy uh, deteriorating rapidly. I like China, yeah. Uh, I think China. I think China's struggling, though. That's the irony with my China plays is that I think China is doing really bad. But my general logic is they're either going to have another bad year and we do good, or if we start cutting rates, then eventually I do think they'll start picking up. Or by the time you know we start doing bad, if the the way I look at China is kind of like a hedge. If America starts doing really bad, I do think they're going to start to to do very good. We're going to have an election 18-hour stream. Oh, you weren't here in the I thought you were here in the morning. No, we're not doing any of the election shit this year. I don't want to deal with it. People are too soft. They get too sensitive. You know, they get mad. They're like, Josh, I don't want a long term because Josh gave me a platform to talk about the election. So I don't, I don't want to deal with it. That's it. I'm voting. I'm voting this year, but I don't. I just, it's too, too negative. I don't want to deal with anybody. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna live my life. You know, not serious though. Like that's what happened. I've already dealt with it. And then again, like you know, there's so many things going on. But all I care about was. Uh, all I care about is how we're gonna position ourselves and make money off of it, and call it a day. Mm hmm. Are you a liberal? Depends who you ask. If you go on Twitter, they'll say I'm a Jesus freak. You ask my mom, she'll say I'm a liberal. So just always, that's the craziness of context. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they feel me, bro. Mm -hmm. ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh. Yeah, man. I think the long term, again, the election will be an important part of this cycle. But above all else, we need to know what Powell is going to do and what's going to happen on on that end of the cycle. I think that is going to 
have the utmost importance. I'm in a pouch. I'm back. First deposit in two years today. Oh, wow. That's really good, man. Let's get it. Let's get the law tar, baby. Let's get it. I'm excited, man. The long term. So, again, that's what I'm saying. Long term. No matter what happens, I mean, that's the beauty. Your long term should prepare you and protect you no matter what. Am I expecting three one fourth rate drops in 24? Yes and no. I don't like it. Just it depends on how everything plays out. So even after last year, I mean, again, even the, the fact that we were even watching for a year and then I started to get ahead of myself in my predictions. But I just it's going to be dependent on laggy ass data. So I'm not even really trying to predict it. I think if the economy craters, we're going to get rate cuts more than we expect. And then if the economy heats back up again, there's still a chance uh, for inflation, stagflation, hard landing things to come back up. But it's so, yeah, data dependent and bully bonds. No, for real, though. So that's why I'm like, it's I, I could see it happening, but I'm not really like I'm not married to any idea. And then at the end of the day, I do still think there's a hard landing on the cards. But at the same time, even if if there's not a hard landing that happens, then I, I think we're going to see. A magnificently bullish environment uh, until something negative happens. Why do they put human remains on the rocket to the moon? I didn't hear about that. Uh, <laughs> probably to see how it decays. I don't know. How it reacts in space. Mm-mm. Cal Williams I think that was the I think that's going to be the best interview of 2024 even though it just happened yeah I loved it I love that cat interview. I feel like people have been acting different since the Cat Williams interview it's 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 taken over society you got people acting a little differently it was great it was a good listen it was a good listen man I, I, I actually really enjoyed it it was quite inspirational too man you know it was good to see you know that's somebody who stuck to their guns with a lot of things and and I respect that a lot, man. Like like he was saying, just with a lot of things, man, and how people act. That I, I mean, you see it in so many industries too. So I was like, man, that's crazy. Mm hmm. I loved it. It was like funny. It was like inspirational, motivational. It was eye opening. You know, there was so much, so much, bro. It was great. But then I, I don't know. There, the one I only had one criticism. It starts off by fucking advertising liquor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like that's the that's the only thing. And like, even then though, there was a scene where, even like, he started talking about some stuff, and like, Shannon got a little weird, and like, he even realized it, like, what Shannon was defending. But other than that, it was like, it was good. Like, yeah, like this the whole podcast, like Shannon Sharp's thing, is like advertising cognac, or or it's like whiskey or something. Yeah, but it was just all, like, about, like, you know, it's alcohol. Yeah, it is. Like, that's the beginning of it. And they're, like, talking in the be Like, it starts. It's like a sponsorship in the beginning. That's the only thing. But either way, uh, everything else, the content, though, uh, was actually very, very good. Uh, he didn't sound too uh 
He didn't sound too crazy. I liked it, man. Mm. I agree with what he said on Kanye. Yeah, he said he's like, why are you calling it like what you expect from him? It was crazy. Bostic in two minutes. Oh, get ready. He's a voter. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me see. No, Bostic's always dovish. Rafael Bostic. I don't know if we're going to remember lately. We haven't even got any of these fools live. Sadly. Speeches. Speeches, 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 speeches. AMD, Intel. I'm seeing. I'm trying to find the Bostic thing. You're going to get those shortly. We'll get young Bostic on the mic. Sarepta sees Q4 RNA PMO revenue at $234 million. Oh, didn't they get bought out? BCRX. Apple's flying. There's the spy, too. So, again, I think everything's starting to go right now. Boeing, they're coming up. I mean, you're getting, like, updates on the inspection and all that. Other than that, Boeing's dead. Because of that plane that ripped apart or the door fell off. Just kind of weird to say out loud that a door fell off a plane mid flight. 4727, Chattadonia, you're above level number one. You got one more level to go. That's it. So 720, not 4729. That'll be the next one. But like we were talking about, even from Friday. This level gets a little exciting up here. Let's see. Today's the 8th of January. Cues are going. A moderated conversation. Live stream, no. Audience Q&A, yes. Media Q&A, yes. Yeah, Saudi President Barstick Marks will, will happen approximately at 12.30. So you still got to wait 30 more minutes. The event is starting now. Remarks begin uh, in 30 minutes after that, but then uh, he's not. there's not going to be a live stream. So you're going to have to wait like every other one. They've been very quiet on the Fed speakers. They've been having the Fed speakers, but... You're not getting to watch them live anymore. Maybe because all the environmental protests. Wanna <laughs> we see if Boston <laughs> AMD. Uh, what was it? And then gold came down. That chilled out. Uh Russell's hitting a new high now. Russell's up one point one. So Russell on the futures. Russell's catching up to the Nasdaq again. Two more points here. You'll be at a level. The other previous high. We haven't been here in a minute. I guess, like I told you, last time we dropped from here, this was the last one. So 4729. And then again, maybe you'll get into the lows here. 4732. Then the next level is 4747. And then you fill the gap at 4775. They censor the Fed after closing the door. No, nah, for real, though. Like, we haven't had as many, like, except for, like, the FOMC, but I feel like all of these, uh, like, Fed speeches, we haven't really, think about it. You've heard, you've had, like, four speakers to start off the year, and I don't think you've seen any of them live. So, again, they're making, com you know, they're at these little events that you have to pay $10,000 for or 200 bucks for a ticket, but they're not a... Uh, you're not getting to watch a, a live stream of them. Let 
let's see. Where is the Boeing near to the high? Odell? Oh, yeah, I want to see Intel. And then Arab BNB. Everything's doing great. Again, NASDAQ 1 3. So, again, NASDAQ was killing it from the uh, morning. Yeah, RXRX. I'm, I'm kind of mad I sold that one. We had a good price on that, but that one went crazy. Yeah, QDEL on the low. Oh, they're getting kind of murdered. Are they healthcare related? They're down 2.2 in one candle. QDEL. And then right now, dude, NASDAQ 100. Hold on, I'll update that. Let's see, Dow Jones, 13 red, 17 green. That's flip. Yeah, NASDAQ 100. There's literally 16 names that are red. The other 85, 84 are in the green. And then uh, it's a vitro diagnostic. So they're probably at JP Morgan Health Conference. It's probably why, again, if you watch any of these healthcare companies react, that's probably what's going on. And then SPY, 167 red, 334 green. Again, Boeing's weighing down the SPY and the Dow, if anything. And then SPY's right at the level, my friends. 4729, you actually hit it. So you hit it earlier. We'll see how long that holds up for. RKT, not bad. Uh, again, but it has ran up a lot. So like them and UW, I like UWMC a little bit more than them because they actually pay a dividend, but both of those are actually up. You on Twitch now? Yeah, we've had Twitch as a backup for a minute now, bro. Where you been at, man? How you, you get a long term? Missed you. What's going on? Fly, baby, fly. Domino's and Yum on the low. A couple of food names. Interesting. Food names aren't doing too hot. Again, Spy, if we get above this level, it could get a little bit melty and jumpy. I miss you. I miss you too, man. I hope you've been good. Well, shit got tough. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. I, I usually stick around for the philos, and I hope you get the long term. Phil, philo and long term, man. It's a good recipe. It's going 47.40. So uh, we'll see. 47.32 will be like the air breaks. Other than that, I think 47.47. LSRX dropped 10 now, down only 2. What time? Fila today? What time is it right now? 9? Oh, maybe at like 10. French Prime Minister Born resigns. Yeah, I'm seeing that too. Why did I think there was a different French Prime Minister? Four seven two nine once again, so we're above it. So the last two days, any of these little highs now, you're trading above it. So again, we're getting back into here. I guess you haven't filled this gap. Forty seven forty three. This is a baby gap that has not been filled yet. So we'll see how that one goes. And then again, Russell's doing great. Everything is. I'm thinking Macron. Boeing 747. No, they rebranded it. So we'll be at 4743, I think. If it is 747, it might fall from the levels. <laughs> okay, okay. So many Boeing jokes. I'm surprised. Russell's doing great. It topped out even a couple minutes ago on the futures right below 2000. But remember, last time we fell, everybody thought that Russell was going to die. That's it. It had that epic run that we got in on, and then right when it gave up some of that Fed thing, it went poop. What do you think about VTI and Vexus? It says 70-30 split for the long term. You're just dumping everything into those. Are they ETFs? So are you talking Vanguard VXI or VTI? Uh... And then VXUS, total international. I like the international one if, because it's probably not up as much. But, again, the other ones might be up. It'll, it, it'll make your life easier. But I am more uh, – I'm just – again, I like my 10-year strategy picking plays. I would grab ETFs if they're low. I would, I'd get behind the international one more so 
than the total return if it's if it's already up near highs. I mean, again, it'll make your life easier. You could put all your money in there, not have to think about it. It goes down, goes up, whatever. But I just I don't like the premium. Again, like I said, you know, I I do think we are living. You know, no matter what happens, you have a very unique opportunity uh, to you know if the market rips and rallies or even if it comes down, you know, these plays that are, you know, high quality and not really up the same way. It's not like everything is at a 52-week high. So I like that. That's what my boyfriend does. He wants to see your thoughts. He wants to set and forget it. That was my recommendation. Yeah, I like the international one, but like I've said, it, it will make your life easy. You know, that's it. But then again, you know, one of them you're buying at that literal all-time highs. So VTI is, is not like it's it's trading at a discount. You won't have to think about it, but, it, it you know, you could. it's already been up, what, over 10 15% in the last three months, two months. So, but the international one, I could get behind that because international plays are still kind of low. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to stream Bostic. There is no live stream available. Uh, Baba. It's coming back up, though. That was a big drop there early in the morning, so that's good to see. Redfin's still going. Not even paper fed. I, don't th I think you have to be there at the event. So unless you go in person, it may be paper fed, but you still got to get there. But there's no like live streaming available. Yeah, he doesn't want to pick and choose yet. I could do it for him, but I thought that would be the easiest. I mean, you could pick some of the high quality growth names, but again, besides the risk of buying at all time highs, it's not a bad strategy. I mean, if you're actually just going to sit and park money there for a long time, it will it will work out, you know, above all else. And again, it's easier and then you don't miss out on anything. But then, you know, if you're just buying at the high end of a bull rally, that's just the only issue. This week, I'm going to be we made a play on gold. I'll be watching that. If oil keeps dumping, we may get another flip on there. Uh, but gold, oil, and then uh, healthcare plays. I think Pfizer and that uh, that uh, healthcare conference that's going to be big. And then even the China plays, and then watching the data to make moves on either uh, the ES or the Russell, or hopefully keep riding them out. Door falls off at thirty thousand feet. All airlines rally. Well, there's only a couple who got affected. Like, I'm surprised United is up because they have some of the most amount of planes there. And then Alaska, they're they're actually up right now. But they were down 5%. But again, this is like, this is exactly what we talked about on the watch list. You may get that kill premium, uh, kill premium pattern and then let it go from there and then give it a couple of days and then we see what really happens. AAL up 6%. I think they had the least amount of Boeing planes. But yeah, they are all killing it. <laughs> I mean, thankfully nobody got killed, but they, maybe that's why they're up. I don't know. But I think it's going to be a, a couple of week affairs. How did you learn about options and killing premium? Well, I've always known options from the time I started getting into stocks. Like it took a couple of years to learn what they were. And then I, you know, thankfully I learned them under the backdrop of equities. You know, I never really, you know, I was shocked the first time I saw options traded without owning the underlying security. That blew my mind. And then over the years, you know, 
you've just seen how, how, how things play out. You know, I've got to learn about how different events and again, how many times you guys have seen it a lot too. bad news stock will open up uh, awful and then run up for no reason. And then a week or two later, it'll go to back down, you know, just kind of the, the nature of how price moves. So it's one thing about the options and getting the premium killed, but it's also how, you know, price discovery borderline happens. And then I say price discovery in quotations, given the computerized market and, you know, quantitative easing we deal with. Yeah, airlines' biggest input cost, oil, is down 5% right now. That's a great point. That's probably factoring into it. And then Russell, five points down from the high. Spy holding up a little bit better, but still behind the Russell. Dow's starting to climb, though. And then uh, NASDAQ, 1.3, man. This is like a real solid green day. Everything except the Dow, but the Dow didn't do that bad the other days. But my goodness, welcome to January. Where is it? Oh, and a couple minutes ago, there's a Boeing headline. We hit 4729, the other high. FAA says Boeing MAX 9 aircraft will remain grounded until operations complete. Enhanced inspections, which include both left and right cabin door, exit plugs, and door components and fasteners. Thinking of a NVIDIA put with April to 500 seasonally, Feb and March are weak. What are your thoughts? Um, maybe wait till around earnings. Uh, that would be the only thing. So, again, you could buy that plane now, and you may be correct, but if you buy it today and the stock goes up and then another 20 50 bucks and then comes down, that option play will still probably get wrecked. So just you got to make sure you get in the money. That's the only way. But even if you get in the money, you are still purchasing at a premium. Uh, but maybe think around earnings or closer to that event, and then you'll you'll be good to go. What are the odds of no one sitting in the aisle? Don't they always ask someone to sit there to go over safety rules? Um, but if the plane wasn't fully packed, like I was on some planes this week and the or last week, two weeks ago, like the planes were some planes were like not empty, but there was like open spots and they were like moving people around. But I'm just the video itself was crazy. I never, I didn't think everyone would be that calm, let alone. Like, I thought when there's a hole in a plane in the sky, like, every Tom Cruise movie taught me that the whole plane is supposed to uh, rip open. But, yeah, it wasn't an emergency exit either. It was just like a fuselage that looked like a, it was designed to look like a door. Yeah, I thought this suction was going to get rid of everybody. Uh-huh. I'm scaring you. You're fine, bro. You're going to be fine. It never will happen back-to-back. -back. Even with Boeing, the back-to-back -back is like three months, six months. There's no way, bro. You're going to be good. Yeah, I really thought the windows were going to rip open. I'm surprised, man. I heard the cameraman never dies, so I'm going to just film. He's going to vlog this whole trip. You're good, dog. You're good. I want to worry. But not a recommendation. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to sue me if anything happens. But so not a recommendation. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think volatility this year doesn't come around until fall? I think pre pretty smooth until election. Ah, uh, no. I, I think we could get volatility in two weeks. Again, even we'll see with the CPI, but earnings. I would not downplay earnings. Again, a lot of people, even though we're kind of melting up here today, a lot of people were talking about earnings estimates. So right now, this is the first quarter that we are expecting earnings growth 
since like middle of 2022. And then if you go look at the last three quarters of what was priced in like a year ago this quarter when we rallied in January and then into March until SVB, earnings growth was expected to be a decline of 9%. This time around, we're expecting uh, 4% earnings growth. So the bar for earnings right now is very high. If they beat you, you're going to be able to rally more. But then at the same time, some good reports may not have that much juice because even if they do good, like even Lululemon today, that's a great example. You guys know Lululemon came out with guidance and they're still negative. It was guidance that was above expectations. They were down more and then they came back up with this little melt up of everything. But that is kind of part of the issue there. How does Boeing affect airline ticket prices? I could see folks not booking flights, but then I also see less flights available, which should mean higher prices. I think that's you. I think you got the situation exactly correct. You know, again, I think you're going to get lower amount of flights available because planes that aren't going to be there. But then maybe some people will not there. But then at the at the end of the day, people need to fly. Like that's it. I mean, you know how you already see people doing a lot of different you know people could get scared here something bad but like if you need to do it you're you're gonna do it yeah there's no alternative so like if you need to travel somewhere like like what are you gonna do the vix is still green at 1338 you said walk that's a good idea the wheel strategy every now and then, but it's not really, you know, wheel strategy. If you're going to do it, just make sure you're like really ready to hold it. But like, be careful. I've seen a lot of people just want to buy a hundred shares or something to do the wheel. And you got to be careful because again, if you'll get premium, but if the stock drops bigger than the premium, you could be holding that play for a while. Seventeen thirty-eight. FAA says Boeing will remain grounded. Okay. I'm muting. No, I was making a play. I made two more Boeing plays. So I did one closer to the money and then one further out. Bostic 1230. So again, the event already started. Uh, but then you're going to have to uh, 
do the like you're gonna have to wait till the speech comes out otherwise we're not gonna uh, get anything but when next week it might I mean well I'm, that's why I'm grabbing options I say I'm not exposing myself to any upside but like upside risk I know exactly how much I'll lose now so I spent a hundred bucks on two different plays I went out of the money on January 19th and then a closer further than the first one I bought and then another one I'll go over them on the watch list but I spent about two hundred dollars total a hundred a pop and got a little bit there but it just if anything develops but I even said on the watch list these will be worthless uh, if nothing develops again you do need you need another development for something to happen I think yields could run to the second run to five percent no you would need uh it would have to get really bad to get us back up to five you would have to be uh like uh you would have to get like really bad inflation and like economic data it would take months to develop into that but i i doubt it you keep getting scammed on options uh well you got to be careful i mean honestly the best way to not get scammed on options is to lower the amount of uh trades wall street executive with ties to biden say elon musk security clearance will get a review by department of defense after drug use allegations if charges pan out musk will likely receive probation on dod security Fox Business first reported in 2018 that his security clearance was under review following his pot smoking on Joe Rogan podcast. Thank God I listened to you regarding prop firms. Boy, were you right. I felt bad, bro. I don't know. We had that whole talk and someone like someone sent me like a thank you email about stuff. But then they like they showed me like their journey with prop trading and like and I don't I don't think they realized it was a scam because they were like, you know, they said they saved up their money and they spent it all. They had they said you have to pay money for the challenge. So I don't know, man, but I'm, I'm, I hope you were safe above all else. Yeah, Elon. Well, Elon keep talking about the. You keep talking about the border. FAA aircraft to stay grounded until enhanced inspections done. you pay the money no 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 even that just to like be considered they like i told you they try to make it seem like you're you've reached certain goals and will let you in you're a good trader they have like challenges where just to get like a a ticket in before you could even trade like you have to do like a paper trading challenge and they charge you like 200 to 500 dollars just to do that and then if you fail you have to pay another 200 to 500 to start over <laughs> it's like it's not so even that, like again they they have a fee up top that they take from you it's so yeah just be careful I know a lot of people making good money from prop firms can't agree. You don't have to agree. Like I said, I just at that point, I think you should get involved with a, a hedge fund and real trading at that level. But I mean, I've I've been on Wall Street too long to to see that most of them are are pretty shady. I'm not. I mean, we could agree to disagree. You know, again, I've I've heard everything I've talked about, whether it's prop funds, broker this. FTX that or whatever you know there's so many different things but y'all do you man y'all y'all vote who you for you who you want to you listen to who you want to you know it's no it's your money it's your life it's your time like you know what I'm saying above all else uh it's just 
you know, you got to do your thing. I, I hope all of you have a long term above all else, and that's it. Any good plays? Gold was probably the best play of the day today. I'm waiting on some of these medical plays, though. I think those are going to be fires. What's CTBB? This thing's a liquid as hell, but it's dying. 11% of one candle. The speech, it gets released in 30 seconds. We'll probably get headlines coming across now. His pre-written statement, uh, maybe, but then again, it's, it's not live. So we won't be able to hear Bostic, but Bostic should be coming on in a little bit. How do you go about being a trader at Wall Street? Go intern for somebody. Like, that's that's the best way to get your foot in the door or start working with a bank. And you'll, you'll find your way into it. But, like, interning, working with the big banks, or, I mean, if you know any hedge funds, or go get a list of hedge funds and reach out to them. Uh, again, or, I mean, you can make your own hedge fund, too. That's a little bit more difficult. But then again, I mean, you'd be surprised, uh, you know, reaching out to people if you have skill, you have talent. Uh, you'll be uh, you'll be good to go. It's not it's not as hard as you think, uh, but again, you'll get a, a a job. It's like a job. It's not like uh, you know what I'm saying. It's 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 much more different than you know trading for yourself, uh, more or less. And it is highly competitive. Yes, that's why I I do think most things that try to you know make it seem like a highly competitive industry. Oh, we're just going to give you the golden ticket. You know, you got to be wary of it. No, it's well, CPI is weird this time around. I said it on the watch list yesterday. They're expecting a lower headline or a higher headline and a lower core. Mm. No, bowling plays were puts. What will that do for it? D it depends on the result. So again, it's just it's the same thing of whatever. What do they call it? Reverse Goldilocks. Uh, but it's just like too hot will be very bad, obviously. But then I don't know. Too low might be be good. I think job market is a little bit more sensitive. But I think a low inflation would actually have a a very good reaction. I think in actually in a way, if you get a low, if core drops and headline drops, I think market will. That may give us our first green week or something. Yeah, I think I think low would be good. Honestly, I think low inflation. If you get a surprise to the low, there's no such thing as too low of inflation. I don't think people will uh, freak out on it. interested in cancer vaccine development i think verizon otherwise any of these cancer plays they're getting bought up by the bigger conglomerates lumen debt deal deadline extended from last year And then Spy's still holding up. We chilling, bro. I thought the volume would return, but we kind of seem, at least today, though, it's uh, you haven't had the sell-off. But volume's pretty low, man. We're at hour number three right now. Let's get some push-ups in. Hour number three, volume at 28 million. So just, just under 10 million an hour. My goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on mobile. 
Press high chat, X out the chat, hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the Nightly Watches and main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate course. Follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. But we've been here for three and a half hours. You got three and a half hours left to go. Sitting is the new smoking. I need you to get beside your desk and do 10 push ups. Can't do 10, you do 5. Can't do 5, you do 4. Can't do 4, you do 2. Can't do 2, you do 1. Can't do 1, get in your knees, do a push up, plank, the worm, anything. But get the body moving. Then optometrist recommendations. Third object 10, 20, 30 feet away. Go blink, 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 Confidence, or I'll, I'll give you some Kathy Woods as I finish out my set. Doing enough. And then relax the well, uh, dog. Well, there have been some Breathe activist really investors involved. Uh, Breathe out so with your tongue out. Do the dragon be, breath. Uh, uh, the outcome of that. Um, you got we Kathy. have believed that Kathy, Kathy, uh, Kathy, the Kathy, sum Kathy, of the parts uh, is worth more than the whole. It's a. Uh, I think I checked this morning. It's uh, selling at two and a half times sales, uh, roughly fifteen times uh, EBITDA. Uh, so and we do believe that it should be one of the prime beneficiaries of uh, the uh, artificial intelligence breakthroughs that we're seeing because it has so much proprietary data. Uh, and so we'll be watching carefully to make sure that they uh, follow through on a lot of the AI promises that they they made last year. Kathy, thanks very much. We are going to have much more on the expected That's approval it. of a spot Bitcoin ETF coming up on ETF Edge That's as we it. launch our seventh season. Joining Kathy, Kathy's going to be with us. Jan Van Eck, who also has an application for a spot Bitcoin ETF in. Doug Jonas will be joining as well. He's the head of exchange traded products here at the New York Stock Exchange. He'll update us on where the developments have been going. And Ophelia Snyder is the founder of 21 Shares. She's a partner with ARK in launching the spot Bitcoin ETF and other products as well. We'll hear from her. All that's coming up on ETF Edge at 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time. That's etfedge.cnbc.com. Scott, back uh, to you. All right, Bob, appreciate that. Kathy, thanks as well. It's good to have all you right. on our program today. Let's get to Bertha Coombs now with our headlines. Hi, Bertha. Bertha. Hi, Scott. Trump attorneys have filed a motion in Georgia to dismiss Fulton County charges against the former. Okay, headlines. Headlines, spy going up. I'm trying to balance on one leg. See how long this lasts. That's it, man. Relax the shoulders. Bop, up, bop, bop, bop. Kroger, they're decent. I think I don't know what their premiums are. I don't know how all the grocers have been, but they're decent, especially if you know them and use them. Oof. And Q310 off the bottom of the day. Insane. <sighs> Bro, balancing on one leg is so hard. Like my leg gets like worked after a minute and I can't even like hold the balance for the whole minute. My shit's messed up. Maybe this is why snowboarding was such a bitch. Let's go, Boeing. CRM on the high, Google again. They're making a move. Let's go, market. Sits. I like because you could just like stand up at your desk and do the balance. I need to do these more. It's good. It's a good reminder today. On GPI? What's GPI? Yeah, Tiger parts ways with Nikes. There's one. Con ON ON went down. 
because they said they denied that they're sponsoring him. A Boeing's pumped up from the morning, but still down 7 8% overall. It was down like 9 or 10 at one point. Fed Bostic says inflation has come down more than expected. Here's her first Bostic comment. Again, you know Bostic likes to... He's going to be bullish. So we'll see. That's his first comment for now. There is going to be a Q&A, so you might even get crazier uh, comments from him. No right cuts. Spies hitting a high. So Bostic comments coming into the high. Alaska Air Jet involved in accident was fitted with Wi-Fi dome. Are they blaming the Wi-Fi? Alaska 737-9 spent 10 days in maintenance prior to accident. Involved air jet involved in accident was fitted with Wi-Fi dome. What is that? Are they going to try to blame it on something else? Oh, yeah, watch go go off that. Fed Bostic rising unemployment has been far less than what would typically be the case given the reduction in inflation. Uh, go go was already dropping before that, so again they're back to point eight negative. They're gonna blame. They're gonna blame SpaceX. Yeah, Nasdaq's at one four five. That's a new high. Spy new high. If anything, I think the Russell is the only one that hasn't hit a new high yet. Even the Dow coming up here on the day, I believe. Mm -mm. The yen. The yen's loving it again. So are the bonds too, though. That's the thing. Yen, again, and yen shouldn't have been up. We're going to see when it comes back tomorrow because there is a holiday in Japan. But even then, the bonds, 1%. We should take a look at the move index. ETF for Russell is IWM. Uh, which one was it? Move. Get out the way. I'm surprised. Move index is down right now? No shit. Still a bug in. Remember, 120 on there is still pretty high. That's the crazy part, but it's still what's at the same volatility as the beginning of last year. No shit. Netflix running up. IBB is on the high as well, too, now. So getting a couple of movers. Uh. Move index is like the VIX for the bonds. We have a video on it. If you search the trading fraternity, bond volatility, or move index, it should show up. MNMD on the high. Netflix again. I think Netflix has been killing it all day. 1-4. Every single tech play. NASDAQ's almost about to do 1-5. Intel. Sox is on the high. So again, AMD, NVIDIA, NVIDIA's edges, they topped out a little earlier, but still holding. AMD keeps climbing. So does Intel, now Microsoft. So again, more big tech here, 1.4 on the NASDAQ. It's about to be 1.5%. Bostix, we have a couple of comments. He said, Fed can let restrictive policy continue to work to slow inflation. Expect the process will remain orderly. Fed Bostic is in a very strong, Fed is in a very strong position right now. FDA insulates uh, insulate recalls Omnipod Android app on software error. Biden live PODD is Biden in Dallas. I need to go pee, so I'll play Biden for a little bit. Yeah, what do you mean? I got to go pee too. Meet me in the situation room. Oh, Biden speaking at a church in South Carolina. You know, uh, just say one thing about what Jim has been talking about that uh, confuses me about our Republican friends sometimes, the MAGA Republicans. No, I mean, I'm being sincere. Every one of the things that Jim mentioned saves the American taxpayer billions of dollars. You realize if you have a prescription drug from any major drug company in America, 
I can take you to Toronto, Canada, London, Rome, any major capital in the world, and buy the same exact drug for sometimes half the price that you get here. Look, folks, when the federal government, through Medicare, doesn't have to pay out as much money, it means taxpayers pay less money because you fund the federal government. You fund Medicare. Go down every one of these things. It always confuse me. They talk about being rational. It's just about excess profit. But at any rate, I don't want to get off on that. I'll get carried away. <laughs> I don't quite get these guys. Thank you, Jim, for your friendship and, above all, for your, uh, your fellowship. And Bishop Green, thank you for those kind words. I mean that sincerely. And thank you, Reverend Manning, uh, for, uh, for uh, you know, uh, the shepherd of this house to uh, allow me to stand in this podium once again. And all the faithful of Mother Emanuel and distinguished guests, I was talking downstairs. I, uh, I've spent more time in uh, the uh, Bethel AME Church in Wilmington, Delaware, than I have uh, than most people I know, black or white, have spent in that church. Because that's where I started. So, no, I'm serious. I started a civil rights movement. I used to go to 7.30 Mass, then I'd go to 10 o'clock 10 o'clock service with the Reverend who was then running the church is now the bishop. She's a bishop, and I'm told your bishop had been there before in South Africa. So that's where he is right now. The point is that I've been blessed to worship here before as well. You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it's at moments of joy and uh, great joy, and moments of great pain, and moments of unbearable loss. On June 17, 2015, the beautiful souls, five survivors and five survivors, invited a stranger into this church to pray with them. The word of God was pierced by bullets and hate of rage, propelled by not just gunpowder, but by a poison, poison that has for too long haunted this nation. And what is that poison? White supremacy. Oh, it is. It's a poison. Throughout our history, has ripped this nation apart. This has no place in America, not today, tomorrow, or ever. From that day, this nation saw this congregation, this community, demonstrate one of the greatest acts of strength I have ever seen. I mean this sincerely from the bottom of the act of forgiveness, the act of grace. It was as President Obama sang from here, Amazing Grace. You changed hearts. You did something that may not have happened but for your courage. You brought down the Confederate flag in South Carolina. You brought it down. No, you did. And you helped the nation heal. You showed what America can overcome, what we can be when we want to be something. I'm deeply humbled to speak from this same pulpit, my friend, and he was a friend, Reverend Pinckney, spoke from. We all miss him, none more than his family in this congregation. But just as all the families of the Emanuel Nine miss the pieces of their soul that they lost that day, we also have been together at moments of unbearable loss for my family. Two days after the service of Reverend, Reverend Pinckney, my son and I, my surviving son and I, came back. My family worshiped with you here Sunday service to show our solidarity. But my family also needed to be healed. We didn't even realize how badly. Just 22 days before, we had buried my son, Bo, a veteran exposed and died because of those burn pits in Iraq for a year. We were, we, we were, we were in more pain than we knew. We came here to offer comfort. We received comfort from you. No, I'm serious. As I listened in the pews, spent time with the families, visited Reverend Pinckney's office, visited the memorial for the victims outside, I grew stronger. My son, my family grew stronger. We prayed together. We grieved together. 
we found hope together, for real, for real. And then it reminds me that through our pain, each of us, each of us must find purpose. For me, that purpose is to live a life worthy of my son, Bo, and I mean it sincerely. For you, that purpose is for the lives worthy of loved ones lost to make them proud. So many of you were there for us during that loss, including my dear friend Jim and Emily Coffey. Miss Emily, I miss. People of deep faith. Jim, a great public servant, the best friend you could ever have. Jim, I'm thinking of Emily today, and we talked about it downstairs a little bit. I know you do every single solitary day. She was special. And that bond you shared was something to behold. As many of you know, Jim is a teacher and a student of history. He knows the power of history. He knows the power of truth and the power of lies. He knows what happens when people are allowed to whitewash history, erase history, bury history. He knows what the Bible teaches. We shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free. But the truth, the truth is under assault in America. As a consequence, so is our freedom, our democracy, our very country, because without the truth, there's no light. Without light, there's no path from this darkness. That's all right. That's all. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. What are they saying? What are they saying? Cease fire now. I'm so fucking confused. I feel you, Biden. This is the only time I'm not going to make fun of him. Because, like, I feel my face looks exactly the same right now. Oh, four more years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, folks. I think they said cease fire now and then four more years. It. I understand their passion, and I've been quietly working. I've been quietly working with the Israeli government to get them to reduce and significantly get out of Gaza. I'm using all that I can to do. But I understand the passion. Look, folks, after the civil. Thank you. Okay, there's another Fed Bostic comment. At this point, shorter term. All right, thank you, Biden. We'll come back to it. Uh, at this point, shorter term measures of inflation, such as over there, over three and six months are more importantly, they are pointing in a positive direction. Bostic, many economic levels uh, measures are back at levels seen in the years immediately before the pandemic. Duolingo cuts 10% of contractors, and then uh, Bostic goods inflation back to pre-pandemic level services. Inflation is moving more slowly and not expecting big drops. Nothing on Tesla. No. Bostic, again, we've been running since Bostic. Again, I think everything he's saying is borderline uh, there. And then President Biden says working with Israel to cut attacks in Gaza understands passion of protesters wanting ceasefire. Yeah, there's a headline. Of what you just watched. Stop fossil finance. I didn't, dude. I couldn't understand. I think we need. Uh, the volume was low, so I couldn't really hear it all. Mm -mm -mm. Saudi Crown Prince in meeting with Blinken stresses need for working to restore stability and peace process to achieve permanent and fair peace.
Fed Bostic at this moment not comfortable declaring victory. Fed needs to remain diligent and short run attentive. And you're hitting a new high. Again, I think all of, again, Bostic is generally talking bullish. 47.32 now. This is that air break level I was telling you guys about earlier. These were like those lows. Kind of bounced off of it last Tuesday. But if we get above here, again, 47.43 to 47.47, those will be your next levels. If it holds, Russell back above one, NASDAQ 1.5, SPY three quarters, and Dow is about to go green. This might be our first green, bro. Yeah, Jim Cramer and Walgreens, I think he's going to have the CEO on tonight. Or I think they're going to have their little talk there. All I want is wear a piece in clean water. It's a good song, bro. It's a good song. What I pray about. <laughs> Boeing to the long side. I grab puts on it just because I think it'll be long and drawn out. But then again, I mean, I haven't checked the call premiums. They're still down from the other day if there's like a real run. But lately, I mean, a lot of these dumps... If it goes full Walgreens, I mean, you could get you could shake that off pretty quick. Again, the airlines already went green after being negative. Netflix to 500, thank me later. I got earnings next week. I wanted that 500 play. I guess it came down to 460, not bad. But we will see ascend on the high. Labu again, biotechs are work, working up earlier. Why are we running? I mean, we've been down 4 days in a row. Uh, that could be part of it. I don't know. The news, though, this morning, there was a lot to digest from Lori Logan to the NVIDIA stuff, but people took that positively. All of the tech names that were beaten down, they came up, and now you even got a little bit of a lift on small caps. So hard to say exactly why. Maybe it's just Monday. I mean, we're not too unfamiliar with random Mondays going up. You may have seen that. And then, yeah, you did have CES and then the healthcare conference. Those both adding to it. And people are back. So even though the volume's not that high, you are getting more participation is what you could assume coming back from the holidays. So Viva C. But maybe we'll see by tomorrow. We didn't do the Euro close sell-off. I think that was pretty big news. You have a thesis. Powell resigns if it's Trump and Biden around August. I don't think so. I think Powell wants another term. <clears throat> Powell is a is a man of the people. I think Powell likes his job, especially now that he's so close to so close to engineering the soft landing. I I firmly believe Powell is trying to go for a third term. I don't I don't that's why even just how things are playing out recently, I think Powell wants to he wants to be in the game. Fed Bostic top line jobs number has been pretty strong, but the recent strength has been focused in a relatively small part of the economy. Fed Bostic concentrated job growth means slowing is occurring. Question is if job growth overall hits a cliff. That's what everybody's been saying on the Fed. Novartis in advance talks to buy Cytokinetics. CYTK. Again, so they're, oh, wow, they're popping up on it. So again, they were down like 6% earlier. I, dude, we sold that one early, but they're running up on that. Again, people kind of already knew that, but I don't know the, as far as the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, the price. No, this was coming in early, too. CYTK. It's already ran up a lot. You could check the option chain. Let's see. Uh, all the, uh, damn, somebody just bought 12,000 of those? Oh, wow. Or that was in the morning. But yeah, very, very hard to snake that chain on there. You got to be very careful. I think all of the all of the options have gone up even further out the money. Somebody got those 120s on the weekly for 30 cents. That already hit. Again, you don't even know the buyout price, too. Let me see if we could get that info. Again, it's right here on the wire as well. Could be finalized as soon as this week. Another biotech buyout. Welcome to 2024. It's sore because of successful heart data. Yeah, deal could be re. I'm not seeing anything on price. Shares. We had 25 shares, so I closed out at like 90% uh, a couple of days ago, right before the end of the year when we were gone. But it's went up another, what, 
twenty percent off of that. Uh, NVS. I think NVS said they bought somebody. They just announced something this morning. Bro, there's been literally three other biotech uh, buyouts here. But, yeah, that's crazy, man. You even got another five bucks off of the top tick if you went for that. Yeah, the spreads. Shares might be better. You're just taking the downside risk. But then again, it all just depends on price. But usually these biotech premiums are huge. That's why this one's kind of running a little bit. But you still got to be careful. Again, y'all saw the ANSS from last week. But... For the most part, that thing's been more more good news than not. J and J executive says feel confident company will be able to deliver on twenty three guidance. JPM Healthcare. NVS is going lower on that though, so NVS to the downside. They may chill out and bounce eventually, but then again, I mean, you guys usually the buyer goes down unless it's Abivi. XBI pop. Where's IBB? I feel like that could be running with everything too. Yeah, IBB is going up. They're not at a new high yet. NVS to the downside. CYTK. It's still going 10%. We caught that when it was up 2% after being down. That thing was down 6 or 7% in the morning. Mm -hmm. That one's going there. 10.8, 11. So I think... Options were a harder play, but if you got shares on there, I think you definitely got a little bit of extra on the back end. Ah, oh, fossil finance. Let me see. Eleven point four on cytokinesis, cytokinetics. I don't know why I call it kinesis. Fed boss take repeat C2 quarter point rate hucks appropriate by the end of the year. There we go. That was a good move though. Dude, that thing again, they were down a ton in the morning. That's the crazy part. So that's a very, very big move on the day. Let's see. And we, nobody has any idea on price. So, again, biotech premiums are usually a lot higher. I'm looking at uh, EYPT because, again, that's the one I told you for a biotech buyout. But, like, dude, every it's I think M&A on these biotechs are going insane. Yeah, I don't know if I won't force it. Very interesting, though. We should start. If they had good drug approvals and they're a biotech, I mean, that's that's literally the story with CYTK. Again, another high, 12.6. Bro, that's 10%, even if you top-ticked it. Oh, my goodness. Cytokinesis. Kinetic, cytokinetics. I think kinesis is a good one, though. Cheaper financing around the corner, time for them to buy. And, I mean, a lot of people got cash. That's the thing. But, again, I mean, you've literally, end of last year till now, you've been watching a buy one new buyout on biotech land a week. That's the crazy part. Again, even three of them, four of them today. Cytokinesis now 13.3. That one's still going up there. So, again, another new high on that. Again, it's blue skies for this thing. This thing could go anywhere. So, like, literally, again, they already had that crazy pop, but they are on fire. We had a position at $40, so I sold out at, like, 87 
or something like that, but I have to double check. But we had it for a while. We held this play for like nine months, sold out after the giant pop, but now it just it went up another 20%. So if you're still in those shares, you should have a little bit. Otherwise, if you you had a chance to top tick that, again, even if you were here, you got anywhere from 10 to $5 a share uh, just by the time, uh, again, it hit it right on the wire. So this was like right in front of you if you guys are watching. Uh, and this came in pretty early. They're getting bought by NVS. Yeah, now they're up 14.5. your birthday that's why we popping happy birthday baby happy birthday another year for the long term bro cytokinesis 108 bro that's it. it's not stop that was even difficult to even try to hit the options but shares i think were the play on that one fed bostic policy still needs to be restrictive at end of the year but progress on inflation Will lower war uh, will warrant lower rates. OpenAI says we regard the New York Times lawsuit to be without merit. Let's see. Riot Bitcoin plays are starting to run up here. PayPal, a couple of financials as well. See if XLF could get out of there. And then is NVS still going low? NVS is still going lower on the purchase, which is interesting. Yeah. Mara, Bitcoin names are ripping. Bitcoin, 46,000. So that one's going crazy. Again, we're going to hear January 10th, but for now, you haven't really seen the sell the news effect. And then bonds are still high. Where's the dollar? Dollar came up a little bit. And again, this is... Uh, like your final air break level, we should, if we move any higher from here again, this could open up like 10 more points to the upside. NASDAQ up. Russell's up 1.2 now. Let's go back to that. Yeah, Russell hit a high now, 1992. So again, if Russell gets above 2,000, I think people will get excited on that. That takes you right back to the post-Fed levels, but definitely, I mean, Russell's already up 50 points from the low of two days ago. I think there is consumer credit today. Uh, consumer inflation expect. Actually, wait, did that just come out now? No, no, no. That was like an hour ago. That came in at three versus three point three. No, co consumer credit is at three p.m. An hour before close. So its forecast is eleven billion. Consensus is at nine billion. Previous was at five point one. But again, bullet uh, Bostic is talking pretty bullish right now. So again, he's saying he's warning about the jobs falling off a cliff, but pretty much saying that rates are, you know, rates will be restrictive because inflation is going to fall a lot. Oil bounce from the lows. Where is oil? Oil's still down 4.6 though. So if you want to play oil, I'd wait till like 2 p.m. or like three or literally power hour once oil settles and stops trading. If that's what you want to get into, but I might wait a little bit. You may start one of those four day down streaks. Yeah, PayPal's up 2%. Not doing too bad. Again, spy at the high. If we get above here, that could be good uh, for if you want more upside and you have a, a lot of points above here if it holds Netflix on the high too. Yeah, oil's down because Saudi, they're selling oil at a discount. Uh, they lower the selling price to other countries because demand is not high. Lily says sweet spot for M&A is early bite-sized deals. That's all we keep hearing, bro. So I'm glad we still got the IBBs. That's holding up pretty good now with all of those. Alaska Air canceled 140 flights for Monday as of 8.30 a.m. I hope you're doing good, man. I hope you're doing good, too, man. We're chilling. I'm excited for this year. We've gotten a lot out the way, too. There's a lot. I don't know. m and is getting me kind of excited. NVIDIA, Amgen to build AI models trained to analyze one of the world's largest human data sets 
on NVIDIA's DJX SuperPod, a full stack data center platform. And Bostic outlook now is not for inflation to rebound, but Fed still needs to pay attention. Oh, we got rated. What up, soccer? DA, baby. How you living, man? Oh, God bless you. I don't, we've only been raided a couple of times, bro. What do you stream? What you got, man? We've seen you in the chat, bro. You a chat. You said you want, you, you got the long term too. I pulled up a chat facts on you, baby. Mm -mm. I was telling my stream about trade inventory, how great it's been over the past few years, growing my dividend portfolio. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Horna. I appreciate it. I hope all these new guys get a long term, bro. If you got a dividend pro portfolio to show them, show them what's up. Show them what's up, baby. Hey, Amen. <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome. Welcome and get a long term. Y'all just missed out on some of that news real quick, too. That would, that would be like, that's not a long term, but I'd like to try. Hey, Amen. Two rate cuts by end of the year is bullish. I think any rate cuts is bullish because, again, you know, we haven't even had a rate cut, and what did people start doing? We we didn't even have a rate cut, and people started, you know, forecasting what's going to happen when when the rates go lower. So any sort of rate rate uh, rate cut would be good. We stream FFXI. Wait, Final Fantasy? I know what Final Fantasy is, bro. I remember Final Fantasy. If that's the FFXI that we're talking about, but yeah, bro, I remember Final Fantasy was like the was like the coolest game. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Growing up, <laughs> growing up, bro, I, the only reason why I, I, I even learned about Final Fantasy, there was this cute girl that would play Final Fantasy. And I tried to like, you know, she went to my school and I was like, oh, but I never, I never played it. But I like, I, I started looking into it. I started reading the IGN on it. Yeah. You know, I remember this was on like Dreamcast and PlayStation. Mm hmm. I was like, yo, what's up? What's up? Final Fantasy. Mm hmm. Yeah, I had to read IGN. You know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I had to get the synopsis. Mm -mm. Final Fantasy Riz. A cute girl playing Final Fantasy. That's marriage material. I was in, like, middle school, I think. Or, like, get it, just getting out of elementary school. But, yeah, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know where she's at now. Thank you for all you do. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. And way to get the long term and even be able to show people the long term, man. Way to be a beacon. Mara's on the high. Again, crypto is just ripping. I'm contemplating, speculating on some of these biotech buyouts, but I don't know. Mm -mm. Viridian on the high. I think that's another biotech too, no? I think it's a San Diego one. Yeah, Viridian's up five. We might need to go through the biotech list or go through go through and see anybody who got it. Yeah, cytokinesis, cytokinetics. Why do I call it kinesis? Uh, but they're on the high. That could do another leg right there. Again, yeah, that was called out at 1%, 2%. That's insane. This guy's insane, man. It's very, very insane. And then gold came back down. We're only up 100. We were up like 300 on that earlier. But our Russell is coming back for us. Very, very good, man. We should make a biotech watch list. We might need to. That could be uh, one of the better plays here. Oh, hold on. I keep, I'm not trying to sit down. I got to keep my standing desk up. I see after balancing for one minute or for one or for a minute, man, I'm like, maybe I should just stand for like an hour, two hours before sitting down, you know, help out my balancing legs. I'm going to balance real quick. We got, we got 15 minutes. No bio. Yeah. Bios are dangerous though. That's the thing. We got wrecked on a couple there. I do think Outlook will come back, though. I don't know. I'm kind of hopeful for that one. But I feel you. No low liquidity. Those could be, be very... Again, cytokinesis, we were down on it until it hit, and then it just shoot, shot up. Which bios? I like EYPT, because that was one recently that did good. It looks like a biotech candidate. Other than that... I haven't really been looking at any too lately. If anything, there's only one thing I like. It's Pfizer. 
I really think Pfizer is going to come out with something good. It's been too long since they have, but I'm really just hoping Pfizer gets into GLP-1. They keep like having a drug and then they fall back on it and then they have the oral version and then this and that. But I am just hoping I think Pfizer could give us a uh, best of both worlds. I hope, but maybe I'm maybe I'm reaching. McRib is still dead. I think I sold out of that one when we took the loss. But I think Outlook was one I got smashed on. But, like, they have their thing by end of 24. That's the only downside. So this one's later, but I do think these biotech companies for the first couple of months, even before the election, I think they're going to try to make as many purchases as they can, the big guys. But then it's just like the theme right now for biotechs is that you're you're having a drug approval and then right when you pass that hurdle one of the big dogs is coming in and buying you up bitcoin reached 46,000 highest level since 2022 april 2022 again another update on uh, novartis buying cytokinetics there's three buyouts today four now five i think there's a ton even in the morning SPR is on the high. SPR is kind of breaking out here. Hold up. Is there any updates on that? Fed boss takes as he's comfortable with current rate level. <coughs> yeah, airline plays are kind of moving up. Where's Bobo? Bitcoin, is it uh, two days for the decision on the thing? And then again, Literally, ever since that Gary uh, Gary Gensler thing. So literally, Gary Gensler tweets out uh, a warning on crypto, usually crypto rockets. Or that means he's about to announce some sort of regula positive regulatory action. Every time he's done that, that's what, that's what happens. Mm-mm. According to CNBC, there are expectations that a Bitcoin ETF will receive approval on Wednesday. And if granting trading could commence as early as this Thursday or Friday. Biden admin to release independent contractor labor rule. Ch check Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash. Any movement on there? Not many movement now. Spy's still holding up. Again, bonds are chilling out. Snapchat's on the high. Arp. Even Roblo starting to go up. Palantir too. Legend, another. Oh, did they get approval recently? I, I feel like that name sounds very familiar. No, watch the the ones that got approval recently. Or excuse me. Yeah, FDA, Padufa, any sort of positive data or approval. Those are the ones. Like the companies that Abivi bought out, they both just got through approvals. Only one of them was still in phase three. Again, any of the names that we've seen get purchased recently, they were all just they all had positive FDA news, and then they got swooped up. Uber, Snapchat, Palantir, Uber. Path on the high. Or an independent contractor, where you get an update on that when possible. When it comes out, man, I got you. I didn't even know they were doing anything. Seventy-eight counterparties take six hundred ninety-one at Fed reverse repo operation. I don't know. Dollar is coming up, which isn't good. But then again, it's down today. And you've already, again, last time we were here, last time the dollar was at this level, market was a lot lower. Volkswagen brings chat GPT into compact cars. What the f What does that even mean? Hey, I'm Josh AI. Now I'm in your car. All you got to do is say, hey, Josh, where do I go? All you got to do is say, hey, Josh, can you navigate me to this restaurant? I'll take you there. I'll even give you some backseat driving tips. Hey, you're going a little fast. Maybe you should slow down. Hey, why are you getting road rage? It's okay. You'll get to your destination in time. Nothing to worry about. 
How do you get to church? Sorry, I'm not allowed to talk about church. I'm an AI. But if you're interested in anything else, let me know. I don't want to get involved in politics or religions. Thanks. According to your blood sugar levels, we can't go to Chick-fil-A. Sorry, it's not good for your health. He'll thank me later. There is a subway down the street. I don't know if that's still healthy, but yeah. If you'd like anything else, I could navigate you to the nearest grocery store. I could even show you the prices of lettuce. Lettuce has been on a 50% increase lately. You may want to opt for something different. Romaine. Or you could have a protein bar. Safe, effective. Have you heard of Soylent? Since you didn't upgrade to our premium service, this message is brought to you by Soylent. If you have any other recommendations, let me know. You need more soy. It's good for you. Have you tried Beyond Meat? Same great taste, but less meat. I missed you too. Good to see you. If you need me to navigate anywhere, just let me know. I did not watch the new Chappelle special. No, I need to. I watched the Cat Williams interview. That was my, but I, I didn't have time to. I watched, uh, I watched the movie Migration. I got to go watch Migration. You know, I got nieces and nephews. Even my girlfriend wanted to see it. So we watched Migration. Oh, bro. I, I love that movie. I thought it could have been a little bit deeper. I felt like it was missing a couple of, po of plot twists. But I was pleasantly surprised there wasn't like, I'm not going to lie, I was expecting at least one lesbian bird, and I didn't see that. So it was, they, 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 they did not even involve politics, no gender stuff. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. It was the first kids movie I've seen in a while. Where No, I'm being serious, though. This is my honest, like, I was like, okay. That there wasn't like anything like overly sexual. I was like, I was genuinely like, I was genuinely surprised, bro. I was genuinely surprised. Because I was like, okay, Disney, Pixar movie. But it was good. It was like a Finding Nemo for birds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was good. It was good, man. I like the Jamaican bird. That was the homie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a bad Jamaican accent, but I liked it. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Don't watch Saltburn. I did watch it. I my my girlfriend. She was like, everyone's talking about it, and then it was just so weird. I kept watching it though. I I, I why it was very very weird though. That one made me like a little bit a little. I was like a little concerned, but like yeah, but I liked the like thriller aspect of it. But like I knew I I predicted everything as we were watching it. I would just tell my girl, I was like, he gonna do this. He gonna do this. Mhm. Mm it was a good movie for like a story. Uh, yeah, I had no idea what I was getting. I thought it was going to be a movie about, like, partying and, like, other... But, yeah, no, that one was hella sus. But other than that, it was uh, it was crazy. Yeah, The Grave, yeah, dude, that shit was weird, bro. That was weird. That's a sign of ADHD. I could predict any movie. If it's not a good movie, I could predict all of it. My girlfriend was getting mad because she's like, how did you know that? And I'm like, look at the dude. You already know what's going to happen. You mean it's simple mm. binge watch cat all weekend yeah that was a good one man that was a good one mm -hmm. red fin run everything's running right now again even small caps 
I'm surprised the like Russell was negative on the day with the Dow, and now he's hanging on right behind the Nasdaq. So, so we got a lot of things going up. I do. I want to write a movie one day. I have a couple of movie plots. I've I've I have written down, but like I really do. I want to make a movie or a TV show. That'd be a lot of fun. I do like anime. Yeah. Certain one, I dude, I love One Piece. I like the live action. That's the one I saw. But anime, you obviously know One Punch Man, bro. Yeah, Redfin almost ten percent. Check Zillow too. And then again, though, the dollar. That's the only thing kind of we got to watch out for if the dollar creeps up. U.S. Defense Secretary Austin has not offered his resignation and has no plans to resign. Sheen has appointed a top U.S. government. Uh, what? Sheen has appointed a chief of U.S. government relations as reported by the information. Live action is when they just make it like a like a like a movie, but it's not like animated, but it's the same story of the anime, but it's just like real, like just like one piece, like Netflix, where they use the like the guy from that other movie, that one kid. One Piece live action is garbage. Nah, you're just like an anime boomer. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're like the guy who, like, grew up driving a stick shift. So now you're like, yeah, you know, driving a stick shift, you're a pussy. What? It's like call, every car, there's only one type of car that's that's not a stick shift. Any, every car is automated now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel you, though. But, like, that's definitely. Because, like, I liked it. I, I, I tried to, like, the anime... I, it made me want to watch the anime, but the live act, it was good. I, I, I actually, it was slow at first, but it was good. It was good. Mm. Okay, anime boomer. Yep, anime boomer, it exists. But you guys know, like, anime is getting, like... It reminds me of the South Park episode. They just try to market to the younger generation. But, like, bro, have you noticed how many, like, anime movies they're trying to come out with? I've never seen so many commercials for animes except for, like, this last, like, year, couple of months as of late. AAR did not perform work on or near mid-cabin exit door plug. AIR. It's the new Marvel. Low key kind of is. AIR is popping off of that. So again, AIR, they just came out with that headline, AAR Corporation. Cousin watched One Piece anime when we were teenagers. He's coming home after 25 years, and it's still not over. Yeah, it's it's crazy. That's someone said it. They I wrote it down. They gave me the. There's something that like skips all of the episodes, so you just get the story. Oil's popping. Still down 4.5 though. A lot of movement, but a lot of melt up. But then again, a lot of names just. <laughs> Boeing drop. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, Boeing, Boeing, back, back to Oregon, Oregon. Oh, MSOS. I forgot about that. Did hit eight for a little bit. I think they just getting rid of our our prem. Blinking live. Well, I'll go to it, but first we must we must rein in this Monday with something something good. Mm -mm -mm. 
back back to Bali Bali mm. you might be back just in time depends what you were looking for depends what you are looking for again Bowen those plays are up now so again the one out of the money it's just up by one cent, but the ones closer to the money went up, and then still down on the first place marker of the day. So we'll see. I don't know. Again, I think that AIR stuff made it move around. We will see. But now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time. It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second Monday of the year. I hope I do not disappoint too many of you with Philo. Yeah, get your snacks, get whatever you need to, man. And honestly, this one's going to be interesting. You know, so like I've always been telling you here as of lately, until I see it decline, uh, y'all have been very hyped about Philo. And I, I'm very honored, bro. You know that? I even, I even had another special prayer this weekend, bro. I was just very thankful uh, to be surrounded by who I'm surrounded by and be around the people that I'm around and, you know, being able to, to have certain ideas and know I'm not the only one, man. It goes a very long way, but above all else, too, man, I'm very excited with what some of y'all are going to do with it. You know what I'm saying? The way some of y'all working on yourself, having goals, shaking off, dusting off anything. You know, we all deal with so many different things. But the way I see some of y'all focus in, man, y'all lock in, bro. And I love it. I love it. That's what I'm telling. That's what I'm talking about, baby. So lock in. But today, this one's kind of deep, bro. I don't know. I, that's what I'm saying. This one's going to be kind of weird. Because some of you, I don't know, maybe you're a part of the group that just raided us. You're definitely going to be shocked if you don't know what to expect uh, with Philo. Uh, but then again, some of the topics, man, when I, I know, I just, I, I don't know, man, like, I know the light. Uh, you know, I know some, there's certain things that when a light gets shined, you ever been woken up in the morning and somebody just open up the lights and you in a deep sleep, you're like, Argh. you know, I just, I know some things bother people. And I do know this one has the potential to bother. So I'm giving you the trigger warning, but above all else, like, screw that. I want you to listen. I really, really hope this helps, man. And I really hope this gives you something to think about. Because above all else, man, I want you to understand your power and your potential. Oh, I don't know if y'all feel me on this. So, Chad, you know what we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about two things. The word that I know is going to disturb people is the word called spirit. And I ain't talking about the airlines. See, even if I say spirit airlines, some of y'all get disturbed. Come on. Y'all don't feel me, man. Y'all don't feel me, bro. Uh-huh. So come bear with me. Bear with me. Okay? It's free 99. You could you could get off this plane whenever you like, okay? I said, cost you nothing. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna make you listen to this. You know what I'm saying? You can hey, you got la 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 la. You could do it if you want to, but I say the word spirit, bro. Sometimes people get disturbed by it. I already know, but first I want to talk about what you pray about. You know, it's just funny. Somebody said that song earlier. I just want world peace and clean water. You know what I pray about, bro? What do you pray about? Actually, I don't, I'm not even going to, I'm just going to answer this right now. I'm going to just answer this right now for you, man. I'm going to tell you what not to pray about. Are you ready? Are you ready? Stop praying for things. That's it. No, no, no. Stop praying for things. I don't want any of y'all to pray for things. What? What'd you just say, Josh? You need to stop praying for things. And start praying for self-power. Yes, material things. Even intellectual things. You see, because we live in a very modern world. Unfortunately, unfortunately, right? We get the benefit off of it. But, you know, the way, the things we watch, the things we look at, 
the things that we're always in. And then you have to deal with, you know, imagine social media. You get to hear so many things from people. But and it, and literally, I'll just tell you this right now. You cannot judge your relationship with God and how your life is going through intellectual things or material things. Oh, I don't know if y'all feel me, Chad. That's why I'm saying you do not don't, stop praying for things and pray for self power because you cannot judge your relationship based on material or intellectual. Oh my goodness. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you may understand you may just cuz you understand God, you know things intellectually that has nothing to do with your your relationship with God or where your spirit is at. There's a lot of people that know Bible verses, but they do not know God. You know that some of the people who have given me the best, hey, why do you believe in this? They know, they, they could quote scripture better than I could. They know it. It doesn't change anything. Again, I've seen people who know every single verse, but they got no love in their heart. Just because you know something does not mean you know God. Again, just because you have things doesn't mean you have God. Just because you don't have things, it doesn't mean you lack God. I'm talking material, right? This is a problem, bro, for honestly, especially when you start out with trying to believe and better something. Some of y'all, this is the thing that has, has tripped up so many people. Why do bad people have things? How come I think I'm doing good? Oh, I pray and I don't have I don't have a new car. God could give you a car, bro. He could give you a house. He could do whatever. But that's the problem. That's not a relationship. You be determining. Some people have been so they have lost their spiritual desires or have doubted themselves and their destiny because of the flow of material things. Oh, man, I don't know if you feel me, Chad. I think it's pretty simple. I think it makes sense. It's very simple. You got something, you're like, wow, God loves me. Oh, wow. Things are good because I got something. Oh, wow, I made a good trade. Oh, man, my car broke down. Oh, now no. Oh, God hates me. What? <sighs> See, this is what I'm telling you, man. Everything is through the Spirit. That's what I want to talk about today. That's what I want you to pray about. Some of y'all, that's what I'm saying. Some of you may not like this. You may like it. I don't know. I don't know what you believe, bro, but I hope you know you have a spirit. There is something inside of you. That's what I'm saying, man. My prayers, they, they always be changing, but for real, I have a prayer, man, of like, yo, I hope my, my spirit could be awoken even more. I'm praying for my own spirit. I'm praying for your guys' spirit that this thing wakes up. Like, do you realize you have a power in you? And this is where I don't know what you believe, whether you believe me or not. You have a power in you that is bigger than your senses that allows you to know yourself in God bigger than anything. I don't know if you feel me on that. Let me put it this way. Have... You don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going to happen. But sometimes your spirit does. I know that may sound weird to some of y'all. Y'all may be thinking I'm going off the deep end going crazy. But seriously. Have you ever do did something. And then you didn't know. How like down the road. How glad you were going to be that that happened. That you did that. You know what I'm saying. Like, you're like, wow, like, I'm so, some of you, it was stumbling upon the stream. Some of you was stumbling upon finances, whatever career path you were in. Some of you, it was just saying no to the right thing at the right time. Thank God you said no. Like, have you, come on, like, have you ever prepared for a problem before the problem arose? Have you ever prepared for a blessing before it came? You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, like wow, you came into something, but thankfully the things you did right before kind of just made you a little bit more prepared to handle that? Oh, come on. 
That's what I'm talking about. That's not intellectual. You didn't know. You couldn't have known. And even if it led to something material, the material never existed when you were doing certain things. Again, some of y'all got woken up one day and had you. That's it. Something changed. My friend, that is a function of the spirit. This is why I'm telling y'all, you need to pray over that. Pray that the power of that gets gets awoken. That you could get more of that. Unleashing what is that what is already in you to give you more insight into yourself. Again, into God. That's those are the moments where you look back, you're like, man. Again, that's why when you ask me, when sometimes I'm like, man, I can't tell you the answer. There's a reason why it's finger to the sky. For real. I couldn't explain it to you. Oh man. Again, y'all gotta realize. Spirit cannot be comprehended materially or intellectually. Honestly, if anything, I was just telling you guys this the other day. If anything, your intellect and reasoning gets in the way of understanding your spirit. That's what, like, sometimes we have talked ourselves out of a revelation. Because what? Because God ain't work so fast. Or oh, life don't work that fast. And you wanted this, and now you have to deal with doubt. And now you got to deal with people doubting you. And you got to deal with all of this. You're like, maybe it wasn't meant for me. Or maybe I wasn't supposed to do this. Come on now. Literally, you cannot comprehend spirit materially or intellectually. Some of y'all, you ain't never met somebody. Again, you liked them and you didn't know why you liked them. You didn't like them and you didn't know why you didn't like them. Why certain things kept you in with certain friends groups and some didn't. Uh, honestly, have you ever heard this story? Have you ever heard in this? Have you ever heard about John uh, in the Bible? Have you ever heard of John meeting Jesus? Mm hmm. Have any of you ever heard that story? It's funny because um, it, there's there's kind of multiple. Does anybody know when John met Jesus? There's a lot of interesting parts to it. Yeah, somebody got it. See, the most ones that people know about, John is preaching out there, and then Jesus comes along, uh, right? And then what does he say? He says, are you the one we were looking for? That's the first time. Well, actually, technically not the first time. That's the one a lot of people think about. And he sees him. He's like, yo, are you the one we are we were looking for? Are you the one we were waiting for? Isn't that funny? This is John, the one who Jesus loved. And he's asking, a, he still has to verify it. And he's asking him a question. But I, I'm glad some of you just said something. Because there's another part in the Bible where it explains where John and, you know, John, his mom was pregnant with him. And then Jesus and Mary. And then when they came across each other, he leapt in the womb. I, I never understood that too much, honestly. I never really understood it. And now it kind of makes sense. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. When John was older, he had to ask a question he to intellectually to try to comprehend who he was dealing with. But in the womb there was a there was a jump. Oh, come on. There's no mind. He, he couldn't think. There's no material, there's no intellectual. And but and you're like, "Well, how do you know this and that?" Well, I hope you could take the metaphor from it regardless of what you believe. That's the spirit, my friend. So listen, I'm not here to tell you today. I'm not trying to give you a lecture on what your spirit is. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I'm not here to talk about it. I'm not here to tell you, oh, this is what the spirit is, and this is how you're going to do this and, and do that, and this is what you should do, and this is why you feel this. No, 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 no. But I do want to place an emphasis on the power of it 
and praying for it. And I hope a lot of y'all understand some things this year you're not going to understand intellectually. There's some things that are going to happen and you will be prepared or not. But you're not going to know it through intellectual or material. I don't know what you're going through and how you determine it. Of like, oh, wow, this means I'm doing good. This means I'm doing bad. But I, I hope there is a spirit involved. And that's what I'm saying to you, man. I, like, for real. I hope you understand its power. And I hope you are praying for it. I hope some of y'all are focusing more on your spirit above all else. I want God to give me something in my... Give me revelation in my spirit. Don't give me an item. Don't let me... I don't, I don't care if I know what's going to happen. If I don't know... If I know it intellectually and I don't know it in my spirit, I, I really don't want it. Because that's fucked with me sometimes. Excuse my language for some of y'all. I don't know if you feel me. Don't ask for things. Ask to get your spirit worked on. Give me revelation through this. I've been telling you how many times. It's not New Year's resolution. It's New Year's revelation. It's literally. I don't. And that's why I'm saying. I, I, I use the word spirit. I'm saying God a lot. And I know some people don't like it. But I'm telling you to pray for self power. That's what it is. You all have a self-power in you. And I'm literally trying to tell some people, and they're getting mad at me. But for real, I really hope that you can uh, understand whether you believe anything I'm saying, you think it's fairy tale, folklore, whatever you want to call it, that's fine. But you really want to sit here and deny the power that you have in, within you, that you possess. And that that isn't something you want to focus on. For this year, and there are so many, what's your resolution? And you got something in you and you do not want to focus on that. You telling me you're going to bed without thinking about where that, that, that lies, your self-power? Again, that's your self-control, your discipline. Think about all of that. That's part of it. So, I don't know, man. I really think y'all should pray for self-power. So that you can use what you have already been given. That's the beauty of all of it. You know why? Because it's already in you. I'm not telling you. You don't need to give me something. You all have a spirit. What, that's the thing. Some of y'all, your spirit, you ain't giving any attention. You give your phone attention. You give your eyes, your ears, all of your senses. You're drowning in sensual things. It's your senses. Some of y'all, y'all don't even care. I don't do that stuff. You, you, you read books. You're intellectual. I got to know things and I know and I know and I, I know this and this and, and all of the things going on. You know. You thinking about what's going on in the world and theories and facts. All the while, this thing that you already have inside of you, you are not giving it any attention. So, Chad, that's my prayer for this year for all of you. It's my prayer for myself. I pray God helps me tap into this self-power that I already have so that I'm not coming across things and having revelation and not accepting it because I already have something, but I'm not willing to accept it. Think about it. If that's how you treat your spirit, how are you going to treat the, that, that big revelation? If you already have a spirit and don't give it attention, how are you, when something comes your way that you should give it attention, how are you going to treat it? <sighs> so, Chatadonia, your philo today is a prayer. It is a prayer for self power, it is a prayer that your spirit there. And again, some of y'all, I hope I hope you hear it and it gets you jumping. Because I hope it starts getting you prepared for what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. The spirit do. I don't know. I think our lives have shown that at many times. But like I'm saying, man, today's philo is a prayer. And I hope y'all never forget it. And I hope you don't go through this year uh, giving everything attention but your spirit. And trying to tap into this self-power that you possess. So, I hope you enjoy it. I pray for your spirit as well. But take that one to the bank. 
That is your philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on that video. You're on mobile. Press hot chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. And now... Oh, did they already go? No, no press briefing? I think they already ended it. Oh, 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 oh. I thought that was going to be our post one, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll give it to him. Mm-hmm. Amen, amen. Thank you, my friend. Where is it? Boston Elizabeth Warren is live. You guys want Elizabeth Warren? No, that's cool. We don't we could do without it. We could do without it. Kramer better not say anything bullish about Bitcoin. Let's just see if it's sell the news. If it's not sell the news, and again, man, it's what, three months now, four months until the halving? It's, it's going to get quite interesting with the corn. We're going to find out. Bitcoin on its way. The AMD convention. I think you're going to hear more. Oh, BG Poker, bro. You were dropping some during the Philo, too. Good morning, baby. Oh, I forgot to say horn for the YouTube. My bad, guy. You guys didn't even get a horn. No, it was just for the Twitch. You know what I'm saying? As if they're holding it down. 
Kramer has been pumping coin. You miss Philo. Philo missed you, man. I said you're going to get a long term in Philo. That's a good recipe above all, man. You know, don't even trip. Don't even trip. Gas tank still on empty. Mm -mm -mm. He said the BTC TF will never happen. Kramer did. I'm trying to bat. Y'all do push ups? It's around push up time. We were feeling. But y'all should just stand on one leg. I'm doing I need this. I after after the snowboarding, it reminded me. It reminded me, man. I gotta get this. I gotta get this balance on. I don't know why Austin was in the ICU. I didn't even know until this morning. Chad Chad put me on game and then Biden was like, I'm not gonna let him resign. I won't accept your resignation. Fuck you, get back to work. Come on. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I went snowboarding. I got murdered though. Let's see. I got. I need to get the turtle thing. You clap my back. Yeah, man. I try to give y'all the warning. Yeah, bro. You gotta watch out. You gotta watch out. Mhm. Mm it's good though. Once I get that little turtle thing on there, I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna be great. Man, I need strong core, bro. I need that. Biomarin on the high. Again, biotech's doing very good. Five other biotech buyouts today. Where is CYTK? Cytokinetic still holding though, man. Not even if the top tick, you would have been great. Mm -mm. Three hundred percent on IWM. If you grabbed that that morning, I'm sure it would have been fire. We still got our Russell plays. They're doing good. The gold play was up a little bit more, but now not so much. Many snowboard injuries are on the collarbone, really? I thought the tailbone. But then again, there was one, bro. I didn't did I tell you my girlfriend took me down like a like a steep mountain. Like, and she's like, no, you could do it. And then there was like a restaurant. Like, and the only way to get to that restaurant, you had to, it was like one of those, like, chalets on the mountain. And the only, and I was like, I wanted the food, you know, I was hella motivated. And, bro, it was like this, like, it was different when I fell. Because, like, it wasn't a black diamond, but it was like, it was the one right before it. It was like, when it had, like, moguls and shit. And, like, those little, like, bumps. And I was like, bro, but, like, I fell. Oh, dude. I fell on one of them, and then straight up, bro, I just, that's it. It was like, it was so different because I straight, like, at other times I'd fall, I would just fall, and then I would stop, right? But this one, like, I fell, and, like, my arm was, like, behind me, and then, like, I just kept rolling, and my arm got stuck, bro, and I was like, oh, and but then, like, it was so steep, you just kept falling, you know what I'm saying? It was awful. It was awful, bro. No, and then my arm was just one level, man. It's crazy. Yeah, bro, it was bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. That one, I was like, man, this is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Get your snowboard in front of you. I don't know what I do. Y'all act like I could control it. <laughs> I think that's why it's called fallen, you know, and then I forgot physics in the mountain and how steep it was. Like, I wasn't thinking like you think, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could handle high pressure scenarios, but like usually involving a mountain, there's only so much I could think my way out of gravity. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, like it was just, nah, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Potential Ontario location for Honda's new EV plant. Honda is exploring various potential sites for its new EV plant, including one adjacent to an existing automobile factory in the province of Ontario. A decision is expected by the end of 24, with the facility becoming operational as early as 2028. I don't see much more gains. Well, we're kind of melting up above the level, but I kind of do agree 
that we do because the dollar came back to right up to open. So maybe we either sell off tomorrow or today. Or if the dollar comes down tomorrow, it'll justify what we already did there. Mm -mm. I did one trade on gold today. Uh, and then I did a trade on Boeing. So I bought Boeing puts. One of them's clobbered. And then the other two are like right at break even right now. And then I... Uh, I grabbed gold at the bottom today, and we were up a lot more on it, but still up now, but not as much. I think, Baba, we're waiting. Again, you're waiting for the Wall Street pump, or you're waiting for China to pump it, one or the other, but big fan of Baba. Mm -mm. Waiting for the year of the dragon. Novartis going. They were down off of the thing. Spy got another little pop up there. Apple's on the high. Again, Microsoft, a couple of other plays, even Unity. But high taker is absolutely gassing. Just like the video. Good, good, baby. Honda in the long term, I think they get slept on. I think they're a good, uh, good company too. What is it? Is it H? Honda Motor. It's H HMC, right? Yeah. But they've performed pretty, like, basic. But, I, you know, honestly, and the one thing I like about Honda is their financing arm. But I, I even think I kind of like Toyota better. I would rather go with Toyota. I put T-Mobile. But T-Mobile's even up there a little bit. I think Toyota got a good financing arm, too. And then, again, even just being Japanese, you could benefit off of some of that stuff there. ES hit a new high. Again, futures are going up. Bonds chilled out. And, again, dollar still kind of precarious. So we'll see how that plays out. Consumer sentiment is going to be good. Are we just pricing it in as well? I, I don't think consumer sentiment matters as much. So we'll find out. But I do think CPI and even CPI might be a dud. CPI will only be bad if it goes high. But if CPI goes lower, it'll be good. And then a lot of people are putting emphasis on the PPI this week. We have consumer credit coming out in an hour. Or is it right now? No, in one hour, you'll have consumer credit. Hey, Josh AI, what's the fastest way to 52-week highs from our current location? I don't really understand your question there. Uh, the speed limit 65 miles an hour. Be safe. Otherwise, I'll have to limit your car electronically. That's the law. Sorry. Uh, Tesla trying... The answer is long-term. NVIDIA again on the high. My goodness, 516. I ain't seen no wires. And then I heard boom from the AI amplifiers. AI stocks with the pimped out GLP. I ain't got no job. The market's high. Can't pay my rent because Joe Biden shit. <laughs> But that's okay, cause I'm all shy. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. This is always a good one, man. Always a good song on a remake. Aero Mexico sees Boeing 737 Max 9 rejoining fleet in coming days. Or See if that pops it up. You can't imagine caffeinated Josh. Bro, you were here on Friday, and everything I would do, you were like, caffeine, Josh. That's the why the caffeine. I'm like, I don't know. I'm a crackhead regardless, bro. Mm-hmm. Caffeine's nice, though. It was nice, though. That was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. It was a Friday. It woke me up a little bit, but it's good, man. That was bad, bro. I don't think it was that bad. Sound pop on volume. I think I still have some of those shares. Bitcoin rises to 47,000 for the first time since April 2022. Absolutely crazy. 
Bro, Bitcoin is insane. 47,395. They loving this ETF. So here it is, man. Here it is. Because all my money spent. So again, I think 48,000 breakout, and then you go to 50. And then at that point, everybody starts going crazy again. Fed Bostic, I see an initial rate cut in the third quarter. Well, he's a little behind. Oh, where are the Fed futures? They were a little bearish in the morning. Oil starting to pop up. Yeah, Z dude, ZQ got bullish. It was bearish in the morning. My goodness. These guys is crazy, man. You think Beetle will get clapped? It could, but if it doesn't, it's, that's it. It's the Bitcoin's going to go on a tear. So if it doesn't turn into sell the news and Wall Street ETFs don't control the price of Bitcoin and it runs up and then it could hold up for another month or two, then the Bitcoin having everything is going to be good. I was going to Trader Joe's and the driver behind me was speeding and almost crashed into me. I saw the smoke of him pressing the brakes so hard. What happened? Did he get, go by you or did you move out the way? God did say, hey, man, that's crazy. I had that happen like a month or two ago and like I just saw this dude coming in hot and I like moved out the way. Otherwise, he, he would have like gently tapped me though, but he was like, he looked like he was going insane. Wasn't BlackRock buying 10 million worth of Bitcoin? Man, I'm going to give you a more effed up story than BlackRock. Y'all remember when I told you just a couple months ago I had that motherfucker hit me up? And he was like, I want to buy a billion dollars of Bitcoin. <laughs> so we, I, didn't, I wasn't able to help him out with it. I, I gave him a couple referrals and then I was eventually like, ah, all right, we'll see what's up. I didn't. Oh, yeah. I think that was our signal. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that shit's doubled up since then. Literally, Bitcoin was still like twenty thousand when that when he when he asked me that. Uh huh. I did try to help him out. I gave him, and then uh, I I put him in touch with a couple of people, uh, but then he ended up going with somebody else. I don't even I didn't follow up. I don't know if he actually executed on it. I have his proof of funds in my email still. Where is he now? I could probably text him and see what's good. It's a crazy one. I might have him on for an interview because he's kind of nutty. Uh, but it's like, like he's a crazy story with everything. But no, that was, I don't know if you were here on stream, I, I was talking about it. And I even asked, I, I even, I had one chat uh, I referred it to. We try to help him out. A million? No, he wanted a billion with a B. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to lie If I need a billion Bitcoin I'm not looking for mutant ape holders oh, You got damn bro Throwing shade Okay, says the name one positive dude. Very positive. <laughs> but it did happen. It did. He did. He did come to me. He came to a lot of people, but we came close. Can't pay my rent. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But that's okay, because I'm on Bro, I'm trying so hard not to sit down right now. I got to do one more. Let's do a leg balance. We'll see. And then Spy's still working its way up, man. High ticker, legend, whoever called that one out earlier. One of those biotechs going on. It did sound, it sounded hella sketch. All of it was, it was all sketch even as I was working on it. Again, I had one good Chad who helped me out with it, but it was very, uh, it was a weird request. And then even the proof of funds, they were like legit. But then, I mean, they were, they came from Switzerland and I had people in Switzerland, like look at it and shit, but it was, it was just, it was getting there. And then he found someone. And then like, right when we were about to get him with a deal, he was like, I have someone else who could do it at this. And then I, I pulled the good old Middle Eastern tactic. I said, okay, go do it then. 
<laughs> like I said, you have somebody better price. Habibi, take it. I want you to succeed, Habibi. I don't no, I give you the price. I give you what we can do. I you know if you can't do this, uh, you want better. I mean you go to someone if they offer you better, Habibi. Very, very simple. <laughs> making these noises trying to balance yellen reports over a hundred thousand beneficial filings were submitted in the span of one week bostic labor market risks are much more balanced many sectors are not showing growth Your Egyptian voice has become a Chad staple. I say things like, what is this? Bro, my sis, my two of my sisters were like, when they came for dinner and we were all like doing the voice, like even my brother's wife will do the Middle Eastern voice that we do. And then like, my sisters were so confused. They're like, why do you guys do that? I say, what? Why you don't have like, well, this is how your dad talks. Why are you tripping out? My sisters were so confused. They're like, why you always do that? I'm like, what do you mean? It's very, like, even my girlfriend, too. Like, she likes it now, too. And, like, my man, come on. Baba, yeah, baba. I do do the Biden voice, yeah. Yeah, how you say? Exactly. Yes, futures 477. That's it, Chad. I think we're going to melt up to the 4747 now. There's like one more level here. Again, 4743, but that's it. Right when we break above here. Haven't done that in a minute. And then now, where are we? Anything a little bit above here gets juicy, but we'll see if it tops out. Welcome to Monday, man. That's it. Another green there. Maybe they, they delayed the, the Friday move till today. But there it is. How many kids would you want, ideally? Uh, as of now, the number stands at none. So we'll see. But we're, you know, we're working on it. My mom is giving me propaganda. All of the beautiful parents in here, y'all give me the propaganda too. But then I, the only reason I would have kids is because if I don't have kids, I'm fully playing into the plot of idiocracy, which, uh, which kind of scares me. But other than that, mm-hmm. It's your duty to humanity. You know, I, dude, I think my mom said that shit, too. I was like, Mom, that's it. This Baba is running. It came back up. Baba and Baidu, they were all red 2.5%. I don't know if JD. Uh, even JD was caught like 4 or 5 Yeah, man, Pelosi came back from the hiatus. Home run with NVIDIA. No kids is against your whole philo. Um, not really, but okay. You know, believe me though. I've said I've been doing philo for years, and I've I've had I've had philo can and will be used against you, in the in the court of Chad. But I don't think so. But okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Mm. 
doesn't the Bible say to multiply and have children? Yeah, but I, you guys know I'm pretty young, right? I could still, I could do this shit whenever. So don't worry. I just, I don't want kids now. As I said, the plan right now is zero, but we'll see. But either way, I'm, and I hope none of y'all ever get pressured to ever have kids. <laughs> That's what the last like six months of my life has been from like Chad to my mom. Hey, everybody, like, you got to do that. Literally, how you going to believe in Philo? You believe the Bible? It's like, all right, bro, just chill. Don't worry. You know what I'm saying? I got I got time. Don't worry. I'm, I don't have a vasectomy. You tell that to my mom? Yeah, I tell it to my mom, too. I Believe me, but it's, you know, you got to work on it. You got to work on it. That's, you know, nobody, they don't want, they, they, no, they don't want that answer. You know what I'm saying? They don't want that answer. Moms don't want the answer. Elon don't want the answer. The church people don't want the answer. Every nobody, I don't know. <clears throat> My mom tells me that almost every time I see her. You're thirty six, thirty seven. Everyone says I need to have another because your son. Will Man, you already got a kid, and they pressure in you. That's crazy. You don't want your back to be hurting. When you're chasing behind kids, I'll just teach that mother effer video games. I'll be like, yeah, back in my day, I was a pro. Halo 2. Come here. Let me show you. Come on. I'll show you how to box out in 2K. Your, your old man used to average, I average a triple-double. You know, look at his stats. Boom, right there. I'll show you how to ball out. That's it. And then we'll have AI and shit. We'll be good. If you don't want kids, then why get married? I'm not married yet, so that's it. I think I think the whole point that people fail to understand is I'm going to do what I want to do when I want to do it, and I don't want to do something right now uh, if I don't feel like I'm ready to do it. So I, I do think kids is a honor and it's a glory, but I would never want to you know, rush that or do anything that I don't, like if I don't feel prepared and right there, like that's it. Like there's no point. Like do you not see me like, uh, you know, uh, you don't see my face, but, you know, I, I don't think I live a lifestyle right now where I really, I, I don't think it'd be fair to a child, uh, to be honest, uh, again, and I, I'm grateful that I have a girlfriend who understands my lifestyle and what I do, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm a, I will do all of those things when I want to, uh, when I when I feel like I'm ready, but not because somebody wants me to, that's fucking insane. <laughs> The worst thing I did was waited, but you did it, so that's good. Yeah, bro, I ain't taking the baby to va exactly. Thank, because I be seeing them babies in Vegas, and I'm like, what the fuck happened here? How are y'all walking around with the stroller in a casino right now? I get it's a nice casino, and they trying to market Vegas to be family friendly. Like exactly, bro. I already, I'll go to Vegas and leave my girlfriend at home. Now you want me to go, I'm like, hey, we got married, here's a wedding, now I'm going to go hit up Vegas, and then you take care of that little fucker while I go, and I'll be back in 24 hours, don't worry. No, man. I'm like, take him with you. No, man. That's... Mm -hmm. All I'm saying, Jesus never had kids. Oh, damn. Well, then, you going to pull that one out? Honestly, I, I'm going to pull that out on my mom next time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Mm -mm. The no kid shaming is awful. Can't stand it. People did it when you and your wife had kids. I, I don't really care about it. I mean, I think it's like, as long as you accept my aunt, like, I'll just, I'll gladly tell you fuck no <laughs> every single time, but it doesn't really, like, bother me. I could only imagine if, like, but like I'm saying, the last, like, six months or so, Oh, I've been getting it nonstop, man. Oh, nonstop. Has my mom started bribing you yet? No, I don't. I don't think. She, I don't. I think she knows I can't really be bribed. The worst was just she just said she's like, okay, then if you're not going to marry your girlfriend and have kids, break up with her. That was her best. Like, that was her best approach. That was more. Again, my mom is an authoritarian parent. She leans more to that than bribing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
there are babies in the bar every day. That's not. You should call somebody. You should report that. What do you mean a baby in a bar? They they didn't card the baby. That's insane. That's a violation. I hope she isn't listening. I already told her this. You guys got to realize I am not revealing things on stream and I don't tell my girlfriend. <laughs> I tell her first. <laughs> Some of y'all really think I'm just going out here, just laying out my business and my secrets that I ain't even share with anybody. I'm like, hey, guys, I know this is a live stream with thousands of people listening. But, hey, I want to tell you something. <laughs> Come on. Ah. Where'd the chat go? Uh, there's a couple of earnings today, but like random ass companies. My parents have me at 31 and my brother at 40. And the whole family is very happy and healthy. And you work at NASA, bro. There you go. Amen. That's a fair point. My mama answers. I know a dude that did not intend on having kids stay with this girl that really wanted one. Eventually, after 10 years, they broke up and she kind of old. Hey, man, that's just that's the risk you take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my mom does stand on business. Your dad had you at 42. Nice. It's not bad. That's why even if I, I think if I have kids at like 40, I'll be 60 by the time they're 20. I still don't even qualify for a reverse mortgage. I'll be good. Maybe I don't know. Mm. Until your mom start respecting your adult decisions. I did. She didn't listen. No, it's cool. I appreciate my mom. I don't think she's telling me. I don't think she's telling me out of a negative place. Like some of y'all don't even know me. That's interesting. But I think my mom is, you know, I, I think she has a good heart and good intentions. So I always, even if I don't agree with my mother, I do, uh, I do always know she, she has a good interest in mind. Maybe she doesn't know everything or all things and certain things, but you know, I'm all, I'm, I never take it. I'm all, I, I always love it, man. I always love it. Would you consider getting a Zuckerberg prenup where I'm like, you have to give me 15 hours of 2K a month. Uh, you got to let me. I want five hours of alone time. Yeah, we, I kind of already have that in place without ever having it in place. I don't know. My girlfriend vibes, bro. Your kid number nine out of ten. Wow. That's dope. I'm five out of five. I'm almost 37 and want three more minimum. How many do you have now? I'm seven of 13. Yeah, my mom has like 13 or 12 sisters. It's crazy. I'm 42 with nine kids. Are you serious? You guys really got nine kids out here? <laughs> That's so... I know somebody in the chat. There's another chat who has like, I think, seven or eight kids. That's impressive though. For real, especially if you like trading too and holding it down. I'm 23 with three kids. I think there's another chat who got you beat. We have one. I forgot. There's another chat in here. He like 24 and I think he got four kids already. I feel like people have three or 10, nothing in between. <laughs> But then again, you could make a whole, like, Olympic team of anything, I think. That's a whole offensive line. Do you drink anything other than water at home, juice and soda? I do, but I feel like this is setting me up to be judged by people on the Internet. But I do like low-calorie, sugarless drinks. I like Izzy's. That's been until they got rid of them at Costco. I got so mad. 
they used to sell these little low calorie Izzy's, like sparkling type beat. Oh, bro, I used to love them. And I would get them at Costco, and then Costco got rid of them. Mm hmm. But yeah, they're still there. Did they just run out? I went the other day and I couldn't find them. You got some? No, don't tell me that. Celsius is good, but like Celsius, that's a lot of caffeine. Is at least sparkling juice. It's expense. It's good, though. I love them. No, those don't have caffeine. I might need to go to a different Costco. No, you. Re I, I settled for the sparkling ice waters. Where's your cred, bro? <laughs> Celsius has caffeine, not the Izzy's. Celsius is packed with caffeine. I think a Celsius has just as much caffeine as a Bang Energy. Celsius has a lot of caffeine. Oh, is the Pfizer JP Morgan thing about to start? Let me see if I can pull it up. Because that's the one I've been waiting for all day. Yeah, 200 milligram. Bro, that's a lot. I think Bangs were like 400. And then some of them had 200 or 300. Yeah, that's insane, though. That's a lot. Oh, I think Pfizer's at 6 p.m. Damn, so you might have to wake up to Pfizer. Oh, no, 3 p.m. Pacific time. But it says check back in four hours. That makes no sense. Oh, 3 p.m. Pacific. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no. It's 3 p.m. Pacific, not Eastern. Dago, baby. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. <coughs> How you living, baby? Thank you. Thank you. You guys got me that, that Starbucks the other day, too. Yeah, it's crazy. Red Bull didn't was only 80 milligrams. You know, I still got like three packs of Red Bull at my house. I got Red Bulls, I got Gurus, I have all these caffeine drinks when I just stopped it. Yeah, Pfizer's JP Morgan, it's the health conference, but it's after hours, unfortunately. Airbnb running, spy, another high. So get ready, Chad. I mean, we're going to make a run at the level. You're above every single little like air brake level or not. Just 47.47, you get a little higher, 47.53. If you get lucky, you're going to fill the gap. Around 4770. I don't know if we'll do that today, but we still got what an hour and a half. You actually got a lot of time left. So again, this might be the final level of the day. If not, then it'll get really good. And then again, a couple of things after hours. So Pfizer though, you can't play the conference till after the bell. So again, or again, it's it's pretty much gonna be coming into tomorrow. This looks bad. XLV. Again, I think as Pfizer's coming up and all those biotechs, but I just watched for the level. I'm looking at one play right now. I has an idea, Habibi. Mm 
Niner Nike 105. Nothing's happening again. We just today was your first real green day. Remember, we started off the year with absolute trash of just everything going down. So keep that in mind. All righty, I made a play. This one's interesting. On play? No, this one's going to surprise you. I like it, though. I think it's a great idea. I feel good about it. Because mm -mm -mm. all my money spent. Wait, did it fill me on all of them? Yeah. I bet Michigan. I did not bet on Michigan. No. Let's see. Does anybody can you you want to guess on the play? Can anybody guess on the play? I'll show you, but like I wouldn't play this straight up. The only reason why I made this play is because I own the stock. Mm. So not a recommendation. Do not trade. So what do you think I did? It's a very interesting maneuver, but I like it. I gave it away. I told you I own it. I grabbed Pfizer. So remember, I have 2,000 shares on the Flip account, right? So that's a lot of shares. And I'm up on it right now. I'm already up like around $1,000 of profit. So what I decided to do, I grabbed 30 of the $29 puts for January 19th. Why? Because they have that conference tonight. If they say anything bad, the stock will get clobbered after that run-up. So if I have more than my position, these will make sure I walk away with a little bit of money. But then if the conference is good and then it keeps ripping, we're going to love those shares. But then what's the next step? There's something else beyond just the conference. Anybody? Let's see. And again, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't play this if you don't already own the shares. Because otherwise, it doesn't make sense. There you go, Spade. Exactly. X dividend. The dividend's coming up in like the next. So I don't have enough time to cover for it, but I'm assuming by then it might get the pump. But the X dividend comes up, and then these contracts are half of the dividend. So even if these expire, the dividend, and then the stock runs up another 5% or something, the dividend is going to pay me 45 cents a contract. So I could have protected it a little bit better, but in general, the idea here is if there's a bad event, we'll make money, and then also, too, depending on if I'm going to hold it for a good amount of time there, I will be able to get covered off of the dividend. Ta-da. I'm off, man. Thank you. Have a good one, man. Happy birthday. Enjoy the rest of the day. But, yeah, that's the play idea. Ta-da. 47.50. No way. Yahweh, 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 oh yeah, amen, amen, 47.50, wow, so get ready, 47.54, but you're kind of ramping up here, bro, what is this, that's crazy, yeah, IWM's going crazy, I IWM's 1.6, so Russell came back pretty good for us there, I'm back negative on the ES short, unfortunately, remember, I had profits on that literally on Friday, but I'm still down to ride it out for a little bit, Mm. 
Apple spy, dude, 4750. This is what we, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen on Friday if we had some of that melt up mode. But now, I mean, there you go. They just, they waited one extra day. It's weird though. You didn't have the, like you didn't have that much on there. I thought you wanted to play the 500 break on the video. I wanted the 500 break on Netflix. That's the what we should have got it the other day at 460 though. I don't know. 480 I I might I might, might wait till earnings gets closer. Cuz again, after Netflix earnings things will start running, but that is one I'm going to be waiting on. Netflix 500 Wait. Thursday ES closed with negative 18 net short. Now it's at 43,000 long. That's huge. That's crazy. Again, that would have been nice if we took the profits on there. I did want to protect the Russell, though, because it was at that low level. But we'll see. Mm. Netflix, I mean, I, don't, I think they're going to do good. I mean, again, I'd actually, I'm going to keep an eye out for Disney, too. Because it's been a couple of quarters since they copied Netflix's strategy. So I hope their little strategy ends up uh, benefiting them a little more. We have not heard about the Saudi short. No, you guys remember that? Remember when the Saudi shorted the market and then it absolutely ripped faces off? I didn't even hear anything about that even when the market went down in October. Anybody buy JPM? We have the option plays, but honestly, shooting too early has clapped on what everything just flag. Yeah, one's down 20 and the other one's down 40, but so far the pricing is less. So JP Morgan is now kind of in pricing in a little less than before, just with how it's moved. I don't own any sector ETFs, no. And then what? Power hour in 23 minutes. Spy hit 47.50, though. Again, your last time we were above this level was one time at the beginning of the year. <laughs> so that's it. Last time you were at 47.50, I mean, you went as far as 47.55. Last time you were here was literally the first trading day of the year. Uh, and then now we'll see if it goes anywhere. That's good, though. You, you've wiped out the other three days in one day. Did you look at that? <laughs> Cytokinesis, that one came down a little bit. Tesla, 240. They're not bad. I do China names they came up too though everything just got a random bid now, maybe Wall Street is back we'll see the end of the day volume but this is kind of what we're volume still kind of low surprisingly but it seems like they're just buying across the board on very weird or no news at all mm -mm. Don't forget that bull loose on the train tracks. You know we died after that, though, right? <laughs> that was the only problem. Shorted an ES. 
a Euro close got clapped. Oh, you went for the Euro close play? <laughs> I mean, it. this was the first time it hasn't happened. That's why I know a lot of people were saying they were going to bank on that. But we actually went up since Euro close. If anything, that's where we kind of got woken up. But we'll see. We got a lot of data coming out. I'm just still holding that same. I'm down a thousand bucks on that ES now. The one I had short. I just been as long as I'm holding the Russell, that's it. Because I do my Russell plays will outpace the short, but I do want to make sure I get a, I, that. That was a little worrisome there because I held the Russell for a very long time. I was pushing it. Count me in on that group. Oh, how many people shorted at Euro close? <laughs> I think a lot of people did that. You got, did you go micro or big gold? Because that big, I, the big one, that was a thousand bucks at one point on the big one. You went long. I did. I went short, short, three, four, five, six, seven. I got puts. Not bad. Clapped on Bowen. Oh, yeah, those both came down now. I think Bowen, though, you just got to wake up to bad news or negative development. Pam on the high. Uh, you went big oh on the gold good shit i know i wanted the big one but i was like let's just just in case just in case the crackheads aren't there last fire i held and did nothing same man i just bought gold in the morning put like 300 bucks on the boeing plays overall those are all i'm down like what out of 300 invested, 70, 80 bucks, 90 bucks so far. Because I did the other ones a little later. I could still lose more if they come down, but we'll see. You sold your 4750s right before the pump. You probably got a little bit of it, though. If anything. I had some long-term on Pfizer and MO. MO had a good day today. Back to 41. I don't know where we're at on that. Do we dare go short? I mean, I would wait. Again, consumer credit. Oh, wait. Yeah, that comes out in 20 minutes. You might get a either no reaction or a stupid bull reaction, depending on what happens. But don't forget, we also have CPI this week. Maybe this is all just cushion when it's all said and done. Yeah, Redfin went up a lot. Snap did good. They had a B and B. Yeah, long term likes today. MO, yeah, MO is always going to move on the Divi. And then they're going to sell off right after, or it might be able to go. There's been a couple instances. Some names very rarely will go up after dividend, but it can happen. Uh, and there's Pfizer. Yeah, the Tiger news was earlier. Nike's been killing it, though, ever since dropping Tiger. 4750 now. You're going to go back up. The high is 4750.92. Like I'm saying, the back top of the top of the year so far, the highest trading you've been at in 2024 is 4755.54. So we're four points above that. If we get above there, we can fill the gap. And then before you know it, you're right back to where we started. A lot of things had a full recovery after. Even gold. That's why gold was down 1.5. Gold's still negative on the day, but my goodness. Gold was still like, even in general, that was red. That went green. I think oil was the only thing getting devastated. But remember, too, oil down. Oil down very good. Very, very good for soft lending. 
AFP reports that new Prime Minister of France is set to be announced Tuesday morning. About MO, it seems as if memory serves that it, that its price increase it moves into dividend pay. As I wonder if I do a drip. I think it's is it not X dividend? Dividend pay date could be because of the drip, but dividend payout not just because of the drip and then your broker scamming you. Yeah, X dividend was twelve twenty, so their pay date should be January twentieth. So honestly, it's, I think it's just moving with values. I thought they're I think Abivai is the one with the Abivai and Pfizer, they're the closest. Oh yeah. Abivai too. Abivai's dividends in a couple days. X dividend. Mm. Your parents are in San Diego right now. Tell them what's up. They want good dinner. Rec oh, dude, I found a great place. I can't tell y'all though. I can't tell y'all yet. I found a new restaurant in San Diego, and I've never been there. I don't know how, but it was one of the best. I was so happy, bro. I said a prayer in the bathroom. I went to the bathroom and I went pee and I was just like, man, it's so good to be home. And I was like, man, Lord, thank you, man. But I'll, I'll share it with you in a little bit. No, I can't. I can't tell y'all. Let me run it up like 10 times and then get sick of it. And then that, because I don't, I, I just, I don't want any weird encounters, bro. I don't want any weird encounters. Mm -hmm. No, it was fire, bro. It was fire. And then, bro, they were like, it was, it's super bougie. But they were so nice. I'm telling you. I was even wearing my Caterpillar sweater. And they were and they were so nice. They were so nice to me. I was like, wow, God bless. And then guess what? I brought the dog. This is like a five-star restaurant. And they let me bring my dog. And I literally, thank God he was very well behaved. I was literally sitting with a dog on my lap wearing a Caterpillar sweater. And, and then that, that's it. It was, the, it was the best food I've ever had in a long time. I was very impressed. That's so Cali shit. I know. Because I asked him. I was like, I called in before. I don't know how my girlfriend found this place. I don't know how. And then we were just like, are you guys dog friendly? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, all right, we don't we don't have to leave him. Like, you know, it's fine. I thought they were just going to put us outside. Right? And then, like, nah. They were like, oh, no, the outside's closed. But then they, like, let us inside. I was like, even with the dog? They're like, yeah, yeah, no problem. They got him, like, a dog bowl. They put ice in the bowl. I was like, what? Oh, man. No, nah, it was great. It was my dog. What do you want me to do? You want me to say my stepdog? Okay, I took my stepdog with me. That's it. I'm a stepfather for this for this dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hate when people bring dogs to restaurants. Okay, calm down. Are you going to not re-rack your weights because of me now? Uh-huh. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very hype on the location. No, oh, it's pretty cool. Plus one for them. No, I'll tell you guys. Let me go a couple more times, and then I'll get sick of it, and then I'll, I'll let you know. Mm -mm. I just stopped going to those places. I feel my mom, because uh, we, we, I even brought the dog to show my mom, and then any time the dog would, like, even, like, touch her leg, she would, like, jump up, bro. She would freak out. They allowed it because they thought it was probably Benny Blanco. Maybe. My girlfriend don't look like Selena Gomez, though. But maybe. I don't know. They were really not. I'm telling you, I've been I've been treated way more rude. And I had an animal and I looked like a scrub and they were just the nicest people. I was like, I fuck with y'all, man. And then the food was just actually good. It was very, very good. Andre the Average. <laughs> I love that. There it goes, man. I just, 4755 is all that matters. Now, again, every level I told you has gone through it now, but 4755. That's the high of the year, bro. So let's see if we get above that. Mm hmm. Low, but volume is low, though. That's the crazy part. NKTX on the high, meta. Long term's loving it, though. I was just looking at that. So we're doing good on that. Mm. Actually.
ten ten. Um, I was like, how do you find the options on Fidelity? I've never traded an option on Fidelity. I'm trying to see if for a potential rollover. Their chain is awful. Fidelity option chain is hideous. This is so weird to use. Thank God I'm figuring it out, but my goodness. Oh my gosh, what? Never mind, now they're saying I'm not. A, I thought I was already approved. Huh? Bro, it says I'm a. Uh, it says I could sell covered calls. Why is it saying that? It says I have approval, and then it says this account. Oh, wait, no, I need to select the account. Okay, I'm an idiot. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm new to this. I'm just making sure I could do it real quick. Hmm. MPW, we covered it on the uh, watch list. So you could go back to that if you would like uh, to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. I sold MPW. No, I did not. I'm going to time you out for 24 hours for lying about that. Thank you. Um, now let me get back to my long term. But second link, I give it a couple minutes there. What would it take for me to want to accumulate more if they sell some of their buildings or if they could get money back from steward? But mainly if they go and sell a couple of buildings, lower that portfolio, get a cool billy, you'll be good. LL, Lumber Liquidators? Yo, LL, Big Pop. Uh, 350, actually, that's 10% on there. Did it come back down? Oh, I'm tripping. I thought it was a Big Pop. No, it's saying 340. It should be at 350. Why isn't it loading? Check LL. I don't know if they have news. Yeah, there it is. 8% on one candle. I feel like they were talked about in buyouts, possibly. I don't have news on that one yet, though.
Oke. Oh, come on. All right. We did it, Joe. We did it. No, I'm here. I'm just, I'm not. I'm just like, I'm using fidelity. I just rolled over. I rolled over the uh, Uber. So you guys will be able to see it here. I closed out of the Uber covered calls. It was like a six hundred dollar loss, but I closed them for ten twenty three. They were sixty dollar calls, but I rolled over to the seventy dollar calls for next year. So then that way I got ten eighty nine. So I got a little bit more premium back. We lost ten twenty three, but then I got more premium at ten eighty nine, and then I'm securing another ten dollars of upside so that if the stock goes anywhere from here, we're not gonna do it. Yep, the rollover, Ernest. You've been waiting on this one. I have rolled over, closed out of the sixties for twenty uh twenty twenty five and then rolled over into 2026 at 70 and I was able to get more and I'm doing it now before the 60s go back into the money because now if the 60s go back into the money you're going to lose dollar for dollar and then we might be able to roll over the higher ones but it'll be harder to make up the dollar for dollar I lose the money on the loss I take the $600 loss but then I'm getting all of the premium back on another play so if the other play me it works what the hell's happening you know high ticker is going crazy I could see it on the high ticker Mm-hmm. At ten eighty nine. Mm -hmm. Gold going up, bro. The spy just rocketed. Is this it? New high of the year? Four seven five five. If we go one point higher, that's it. Twenty twenty four. New high. Back to twenty two. Look at this. That's crazy. You made up all of it in fucking one day. In one day. I don't know. Is the gap filled, I guess, from the low end of the calendar or the cap? No, 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 no. You haven't filled this one yet. You could still fill the gap at 10 more points from here. And then realistically, like 4771. Bostic pump on Bostic day. Mm hmm. There it is. And then we've rolled over the rolled over the covered calls on Uber. And I think we're good to go. I think we are good to go. Yeah, ES going crazy. Even oil came up, bro. Everything. This is one of the everything rally they say, you know? Mm-hmm. My goodness. Yeah, not bad. 
That was a 9.7 bill buy. Well, that was just because of like the funds and everything else, but that's it. Where you've shook it off, whatever four days, every day going down, everybody, dude, you shook it off in one day. Look at this again. Everything, even I think the Russell's not. I mean, we're not back to the uh, near the all time high, but like you could just see it in the calendar. Whatever you opened up with, remember I was telling you we're eventually gonna get a fat green shoot. Uh, you know, red, 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 red. But yeah, you just whatever you've gone down the last four, you're back to where you started on January third or whatever or second. Uh, you have data in one second. Consumer credit coming out now. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, does it lag? Should be loaded. Consumer credit should be coming out right now. I'm waiting. 11 billion to 9 billion is expectations. Oh, shit. 23 billion. Whoa. Consumer credit went insane. 23.75 billion versus 5 billion previous and 9 billion expectations. Hold on, though. That might be too hot. Bro, that's the highest consumer credit since, like, October of last year. No, I guess it's around the same period leading into Christmas. But that might be that might be a little too hot. I don't know. Again, anything too good unless it's CPI, CPI to the downside. Consumer credit revised to 5.8 from 5.2. That's part of the Christmas stuff and the buy now, pay later. But the consumer's strong, but then that's very hot activity. I don't even know where that... I don't know. There's only. I guess that takes you back to like early 2023. And then that's kind of numbers you were pulling in 2021 and whatnot. And even in twenty like high end of 2020. That's high. Well, there's Black Friday, Christmas shopping, all of that stuff. The real question I'm asking is, again, is too hot of a consumer bad data or does that make people feel good that the consumer is strong? BBWI, what's that? Bed, Bath & Body Works? Bath & Body? Why do I put the bed? Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works on the high. Buy now, pay later, not reported. It shouldn't appear. Well, then that's crazy. If that's just all credit cards, that's high, though. Again, that's only only been above $20 billion one time in 2023. All of 2022, it was above $20 billion until the uh, end of, like, October. And then, like, it was kind of an oscillating point for 2021. You see what I'm saying? We're here. It hasn't updated yet. I don't know if I refresh. Yeah, there's 23.7. So you had one time, one or two times above there. But you pull it out here, like I'm saying, it's not too many times it was above there. A couple of months. But for the most, that's a big balance. That's a real big rebound in consumer credit. But then again, it's like, is that too hot for the economy? Who knows? But at the very least, it doesn't destroy a narrative. At least it shows, you know, again, strong consumer. That's what people want to see. As long as strong consumer doesn't lead to strong inflation, people will be happy about it. Shouldn't it be bearish? Rate cut only happens if consumer slows down. Well, we've been in a weird phenomenon. As long as as long as the consumer is strong and you're not getting job losses and inflation going down, that is literally your soft landing that everybody is is clamoring for. So until the inflation rockets up with these numbers or the jobs like really start to decline heavily, everybody is taking this as Goldilocks more or less. So in a weird way, I, I do think it is uh, it's good for now, if that makes any sense, like literally good for now. But it's not showing signs of a weakened consumer. And then there's no sign. Maybe we'll find out on Thursday, maybe if inflation rockets up, but it doesn't look like inflation is going ape shit off of that. If anything, the bonds are kind of reacting negatively to that. BLCO dying. Mm. Last July was twenty three billion. Mm. 
Yeah, there was like two months, two or three months in there, but it was barely above, and then it came down. But it's not like, I mean, we've seen $20 billion before. If anything, $20 billion consumer credit is on the low end of 2022. My JP Morgan plays are clapped. So, again, we went early on that one. That's why, like, usually day before might be better. We'll see as we get into it if we want to add more. But right now, both calls and puts are negative on that play. What is Boss Lom? Are they at the healthcare conference? And then Pfizer's coming down a little bit. Shopify. The Boeing play, let's see. I think they're all down now. The first one in the morning got ravaged. The second one's down 15 bucks, and the other one's 18 and then the first one's down 60 and that was the smallest play out of all of them. I like KRE, but like I said, I want to wait a little bit, maybe towards closer to the bank earnings. I don't know if the plays came back to green, but they just keep bouncing in between break even and not. Now, they're still down. I'm going to wait a little bit because then that means we're burning time, and if the stock's going up, they're not moving. Uh, the... What's it called? The IBBs are up. Yeah, earnings right around the corner. You made back all of the four or five days of losses back in one. It's gonna be good, man. We're gonna you're gonna get a lot of volatility, baby. A lot of volatility. What level after forty seven fifty five? Or what do you mean? Next level is forty seven sixty five sixty six. Uh, then 47.90, and then 48.00, and then 48.18. That's that's where I have everything. I'm not in Marvel. I never played Marvel, believe it or not. I played Marvel beginning of last year and flipped out of it, but we never played it that one news day. We should have, though. That thing's been, I think that's kind of what started all these chips going crazy. Uh, Pfizer taking a candle down. Yeah, I love Pfizer. Yeah, I love. I'm glad, though, we got a rollover on Uber. I mean, long-term loves today. We'll take that. They had Airbnb, even Airbnb up three. You got a long way to go, buddy. Long way to go. Mm. No, we had that one news day on it, and we called it out, but I never played it. Baba, where is Baba? Yeah, Baba. Fanuk. Baba might go green after they. Why do they got a gap down if they gonna go green, man? Come on, consumer credit killed it. It's just how much consumers are spending on their credit cards. But that was good again, and we we just had this little debate on whether or not that's too good, where it could cause something bearish. But again, without any of the other evidence of other things slowing down, I don't, I don't think people are gonna react negatively to it. Bitcoin exchange traded funds may now actually be approved due to SEC's long held concerns about market manipulation. Coindesk article? No way. Again, there's been a lot of like negative news that have came out at the same time. Again, people would question the sources. How is it good if consumers are maxed out? Well, there's been higher consumer credit before. It's not as if this is like, oh my gosh, we've never seen this before, but. It's good as long as inflation isn't showing up. The strong consumer means people are buying. You could justify economic growth. The economy is not going to slow down that much. The jobs don't go down. But it, this will be good until jobs craters or CPI goes up. But for now, you had 
No crazy job movement on Friday, hence we're still up two. We'll find out on Thursday, but at the end of the day, until the inf unless inflation comes in hot or jobs start declining, and then you know people are kind of relying on a, a strong consumer to keep things steady. Wait for delinquencies. We've been waiting for a while. I think credit delinquencies have gone up to a degree, but I mean, again, like the crackheads on Wall Street, as long as no inflation is showing up, this is a, a you know, feeding into that phenomena of people just buying and the consumer holding things up. It's it's quite phenomenal. That's why it's a phenomenon. Art. All right, I need to go to the bathroom. Follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. Did you guys follow me on Instagram today? Is you got this is your last chance, man? It's your it might be just you know uh, limited time only. Brought to you by Tesla. Okay, I'll be right back. I love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome to Power Hour, baby. Fifty minutes remaining. Higher than usual neutral rate, certainly uh, higher than what we've grown accustomed to over the last decade or so. What does that mean for the equity market when it comes to returns? Of course, we're coming off a year in which the S&P 500 returned, what, 24 percent? Are we heading into another year like that or should we perhaps lower our expectations here? You know, it's it's pretty interesting because actually a more normalized uh, from a long term standpoint, having that more normal rate of two, two and a half percent on the neutral rate where you would put a little bit of inflation on top of that, that actually is pretty good for business and it's reasonable for valuations because it allows companies a little bit of pricing power. It allows individuals to have some wage gains year in and year out instead of the zero percent sorts of wage gains or zero or one that went on for so long. So a little bit of inflation in the system is actually healthy and normal. And we do think markets will be able to adjust to that pretty reasonably. And honestly, statistically, when you look back at studies coming off of a year like we had last year, it's not uncommon to have another solid year coming coming after that. And given what's going on in technology markets, wouldn't it be fun if we could tee up another late 90s, kind, mid to late 90s kind of market run? Mm -hmm. And uh, the Fed would definitely agree with you that, you know, a little bit of inflation in the system isn't a bad thing. Uh, maybe not 9%, but 2% sounds pretty okay. I'm looking through your notes and this line caught my eye that it's the health of the consumer that's a wild card for 2024. And of course, we heard from a lot of the retailers today boosting their guidance. Talk to us about how you see the consumer faring this year? We think as long as the consumer is employed, that the consumer continues to power through on this because there was the initial bout of what was termed revenge spending coming out of the pandemic. But I think what we've all learned in the last year or so is that it's not just revenge spending, it's spending more thoughtfully, more strategically in terms and in areas that are important. Lots of services, lots of... Um, opportunities to take the whole family on trips. It was interesting catching up with everyone last week, and there were a vast array of people that took the whole clan someplace or went on bigger trips to visit and has plans to continue to do that through the summer. So consumers, as long as, as they're employed, that helps put a buffer underneath yeah. and hopefully helps them absorb some of the, the other headwinds that they are facing. But we'll know more as the earnings season progresses. I, I am curious as to whether, though we should worry about some sort of, uh, I guess, split in terms of consumer spending, the idea that uh, we've heard, at least anecdotally, from folks at the lower end of the income spectrum seem to still be struggling with higher prices, or at least the perception of those higher prices, while folks who are uh, more well-off uh, haven't necessarily felt that and I guess feel I guess a little bit more confidence to continue spending yeah I, I definitely think that's an issue that bifurcation and we've seen iterations of that going on hopefully we get some support at the lower end you had a number of states move to up their minimum wages you've had a lot more union activity and it had it's not just relegated to those unionized companies but it's spreading to their competitors through that and I think you're also seeing the flip side of it in that you're seeing consumers and the retailers that sell to those consumers push back against some of that just 
incessant price increases in terms of the manufacturers taking it as far as they can and consumers are pushing back saying enough's enough and so and you're also seeing consumers especially younger consumers say look I don't need new I'll go do recycled or vintage or some other aspect of that and being more thoughtful about the goods they are purchasing and more strategic all right, Carol, it's always great to speak with you. Happy New Year. That is Carol Thank Schleif, you, Carol. Chief Investment Officer over at BMO Family Office. Now coming up, Bitcoin continues to rally on anticipation that U.S. regulators will soon approve its spot. Mm -hmm. We're more thoughtful. I only wear vintage. I'm more thoughtful. You may just like thinking about what they're buying. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Katie. Mm-mm. Vintage. We want. We don't want vintage. We want new, but can't afford it. How old are you, Mister Stan Shot? Let's see. Let's see the age. We got a lot of young guys in here. I feel. Mm -mm, I'm thirty. Um. I mean, you getting old, bro? Are you guys still got a hairline? Cause I, I feel you, man. Us thirty-year-olds out here, bro. We getting old. We getting old, man. Mm-hmm. All of us twenty-year-olds, we still got time. All of us forty-year-olds, y'all just telling me to how you got full head of fam. Then I ignore everything I said. You still, I feel you. You're allowed to complain. I said you got a full head of hair, bro. You at twenty. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, I feel. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that's it. Yes, la, ain't it? 244, McDonald's, Tesla on the high. Remember McDonald's in the Middle East stuff on Friday? And, bro, there was a global McDonald's boycott. I ain't heard anything about this. Yep, Uber rollovers. We got more than the other one, and then we rolled over before it gets back into the money. So then that way, the intrinsic value won't eat us up faster than the out of the monies. And then, again, if it takes, like, six months to go another $10, we could roll over to the next set. But at the very least, because remember, Uber went as high as what? Was Uber at, like, 64 or 62? Yeah, 64. We were missing out on, like, uh, $4 per share uh, based on that. So it at least gives us upside no matter what. Mm -mm -mm. Ubers are hella expensive. Ubers are expensive. I was using a lot of Uber. But I was like, damn, bro. And, like, it, it does add up. But then I was like, I should have just rented a car. But then I was like, I don't want to drive. So it's good. It's good. Where do you think inflation shows up first? Energy and commodities should be the place. But if not there, then, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, especially with how they manipulate everything with the BLS. But without energy inflation, without commodity inflation... It's going to be hard to see it there. Again, I think financial assets and real estate has an effect. But, I mean, again, I brought this up the other time. At one point, real estate was high. Uh, the stock market was at all-time highs. Nobody said, oh, the stock market going up is making inflation come back. So that's the only caveat. Uber identical to Airbnb. Well, just ones for travel. I, I don't know. Does Uber have it? You you ever see the Expedia thing? I was going to start asking the Expedia thing out of pocket questions. There's like Expedia with chat GBT and like you could ask it to like find you shit. But like I was going to I don't know, but I know that's why uh, Airbnb got into it. But let's see the real question now, man. Y'all don't realize this should be the best earnings for uh uh, Airbnb or they're going to get clapped because it's holiday season. Where is it? I saw the commercial for Expedia GPT and I wanted to ask it some questions. Mm 
Expedia, they got Margaritaville. Margaritaville, one ninety a, a night in San Diego. Wonderful reviews. What happened to the market up? A lot of bad news in the morning, but we kind of brushed it off, believe it or not, and then we just kind of melted up to now higher than uh, where we were at in 2024, one point higher at the beginning of the year. That was our high point. And then NVIDIA, CES, consumer guidance going up, like they were talking about a lot of things there. And then maybe oil dropping and the dollar coming down, that helped out a lot. Affirm shorts. I don't like Affirm at all, but it's all it does is rip faces. Again, the buy now, pay later trend is still proliferating, uh, fortunately, unfortunately, depending on who you ask. So I don't know, but I, I do think uh, interest is eating that company slowly, but we will see. Most crowd I've seen in Breck in 12 years of living here. Yeah, Colorado was packed. Bro, everywhere. And then I think there's getting good snow falling now. Everybody wanted to go skiing. I remember last year was like a blizzard everywhere, but I don't think it was like that. But I think that inspired people. Mm. Right. Cytokinesis going up or down? We don't know the buyout amount yet, but remember, they were saying as early as this week. It is coming back up, though. Low of negative 15. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I was in, like, zero degree in, like, in a 20-degree weather, and I felt very, I felt inspired. I felt like I could say it's cold now. Now I know what cold is. Boeing dumping. Oh, yeah. Hi. They wasted your time all day. So the close to the monies are back in the green. The small ones are still clapped, though. But we'll see. NVS bounced. And then SPY right here at another high. Mm -hmm. Again, down to 25, but that's the low. 25 is cold, though. That's, that's cold weather, man. I didn't know that <laughs> until recently. I really thought 50, you know, was really cold. But, you know, I've, that's why. So even the cold in Cali, I'm kind of like getting used to it a little bit. It's not that cold comparatively. It'd be like sunny outside in like 20 degree weather. I never understood that until recently. That was, it was a trip. Netflix on the high. Everything, man. That's it. Welcome, baby. Welcome back. Twenty to a new high of twenty twenty four. How you feel? Oh my goodness. What was the point of the other four days in bringing us down? Then that's it. They the worst start in decades got re, got unwinded in one day. Worst start in decades. What's happening? Worst start. Oh my gosh. Green shoot. We're back up. Look at that. Look at that. As volatile, it's gonna be a crazy one, man. We're gonna have volatility this week for sure. If this isn't even upside volatility, but just get ready for it all. Mm -hmm. You could have had another week. I that's I'm next next year. I'm taking another week, for sure. <laughs> just for sure, bro. A hundred percent. I'll be back on the week after. We'll chill for a little bit. LYV Live Nation they're moving up 1.8 on the highs right now PGT says mid or buyout no is that related to it that's with Masonite
Baba went green? No way. Tag it. I don't see anything on Live Nation. They're making a decent move, though. 1.8. Anet still going. Ulta now. Again, watch any of the other consumer plays. And remember earnings. You're like half a point away from hitting another high. It is low volume. You're 100% correct on that. Very low volume. Again, we still got like 30 minutes, but... I mean, we'll probably end around like 68 million or something. Maybe higher if it wants to get crazy. Who knows? LYV is still going up. Baba. I thought you said it was green. I'm playing with my emotions. do still trying to fight. Uh, Boeing is getting rocked right now. So, again, it's just back to it's a little lower. Again, I grabbed that short around here on the second double dip, but... I mean, I think it's just dancing around for premium. No, I don't think news. I just think end of the day, and then, again, they burned uh, They burned seven hours here. Kept it controlled. But only one of, of three plays are up on that for me. Am I going to buy the Apple Vision Pro? Probably not. I don't think I have, like, a use for it. Uh, it looks cool, though. I'm excited to see it. And I, I wonder if I'm going to walk around and see Mother Effers like walking around wearing them. Uh, dude, I saw somebody the other day. They still put an Apple sticker on their car. And I was like, bro, it's not 2012. We all have iPhones now. But I can't wait to see if like motherfuckers walking around with these like Apple goggles. I can't. That's my. That's what I'm most excited for. You know what I do want to buy though? I'm not going to lie to you. There's one thing where I kind of want to buy it. I kind of want to buy those, uh, those Ray-Bans with the glasses in them. They're... <laughs> The Ray Bans with the cameras in them. I kind of want to just like, because then I can live stream and y'all can see my POV. I think that'd be pretty cool. I want to see how that would work. I don't know. That, that was, yeah, the meta ones, bro. Those, I was like, that's kind of hard, bro. Yeah, the POV, it's, it's, it goes pretty hard, man. It's literally the Snapchat glasses. I know. That's the thing. That's why I'm hesitating because I'm like, wait. But the Snapchat ones only went for like five seconds or something. So, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> There's no BA news. Oh, United has found loose bolts in other parts on 737 MAX 9 plug doors as it inspects fleet of Boeing jets following the rapid depressurization aboard Alaska. Man, y'all just found that out 30 minutes before the bell? Oh, bullshit. Y'all ain't never inspected these planes before? Bullshit. Source the air current, United. Watch if United goes down, but, like, come on. Y'all found it out right now after all of that. The whole thing was two days ago on top of it. Just keep that in mind. It was, it's not like this. This happened on January 5th. But, yeah, it's getting clapped again. So there it is, another negative piece of Boeing news uh, perfectly at the end of the day. Oh, well, well, we'll see if it has it overnight. I'm in the puts. That's why I was just buying puts all day on it. Like I said, wait till the premiums died down and then it went up. Everyone's like, all right, maybe it's going to bounce and who knows, but that's it. All the plays except one of them are up now, but I've made more on the other play to uh, do better than it than the one that went down in the morning. I wanted an event update. Mm -hmm. It's bad. I mean, again, I have the puts on it, so... The first one, one put is up 50% now, so that's good. The other one, I'm still down a shit ton on the one in the morning, but it's uh, percentage-wise, but only down 40 bucks. And then the small, I got super far ones out of the money that are up by a dollar. Yeah, UAL, I got that. It should go down. I mean, again, I think all of the airlines should get clobbered a little bit. And remember, United Airlines, they have the most amount of those jets. They, they've ordered the most. So let me see the chart for you. So then you got to think about it. Anybody like with these planes, they're going to be out of service. So this is what we shot up on the watch list. United Airlines has 79 jets, uh, the Max 9s. Uh, and then Alaska has 65. Copa has 29. And then 26 on other. And then Aero Mexico has 19 of them. Mm-mm. But that's it. Boeing's about to hit to a new low right there. 
which su I wish those other but they just burn the premium. You guys realize that, right? We were talking about this all day, but that one play I made in the morning, that play's still down 50%. The plays you got up here, those are up now 80% if you got the double dip. And then the out of the money ones are still kind of clobbered, but you just you came right back to the low in four candles. Delta, they don't I don't think Delta has that many of the planes. Spirit has none. Yeah, Spirit still fly in the 737 Max 7. or the <laughs> They still fly in the ones that went down. They're like, no, it's salvage title, but we refixed it. We got it. Uh, you know, they bought it back from the insurance. Mm hmm Spirit just, but I love Spirit, man. God bless him. God bless him. They, yeah, they whip in the salvage title, Boeing. Y'all ain't know that existed, huh? Nobody's going to know, man. U.S. Treasurer Yellen says she believes congressional top-line spending deal is consistent with debt ceiling agreement last June. Okay. So again, I wonder United's still in the green though. Boeing 747 can endure 35,000 pressurization cycles in flights, roughly 135,000 165,000 flight hours before metal fatigue sets in. So that's really weird then if they have, if they've noticed, how many was it, nine jets they said they found or what was it? Or nine pumps or whatever? That's pretty crazy. So you like the salvage title joke? Y'all never thought about that, huh? These planes be flying salvage. Mm -hmm. Boeing going to be 210. Inshallah, Habibi. Inshallah. It's still early. Kev dog. I was looking for Kev dog in the morning, baby. What's up, man? How you living, Kev Dog? Let's go. Let's go, bro. Kev Dog. I said it in the morning. I saw like Kevin. I saw a Kyle. I was like, where's Kev Dog, bro? You don't Kevin, you no, you usually in the morning. I was like, you don't wake up early, Kev Dog? You had a crazy weekend, Kev Dog. Mm-hmm. I think Boeing will go back up. It's not like an engine blew up midair. Yeah, well, that would be worse because then they'd have liability. I mean, maybe Alaska Airlines might have liability if somebody was traumatized through the flight. Like, I can never fly again unless you give me $100 million to buy my own plane. Uh, but if anything, the problem would be if their production gets clapped. So now what happens if uh, what happens if the FAA is like, nah, you can't fly these planes for several months you can't even deliver them and then if you had any of these planes in production that's going to be wasted money and remember the whole thing people are buying on boeing is this comeback and right as they're about to have a good comeback you fall into another production issue uh it's not going to be good but that that it's short to midterm it's not like it, again if things get bad that'll be awful but for now it, it, it is definitely not what you want to see on a name like that CPI's on Thursday morning. We're going to have to wake up early again. And then Boeing News just came out and got clobbered. You say NVIDIA's lagging to the downside. I don't think the news today was good, but with CES and everybody bringing it to highs, it might come down right ahead of earnings or like pretty much the first bad set of earnings from like a tech company. They might get clobbered. Love added to their fleet. They ordered 300. Total order is 500. Do they have any delivered, though? Salvage Airlines. We cut corners to pass along the savings to you. Board now, and we'll make sure you don't get an exit row. Thanks.
Brandon Owens. My man, Mr. Owens. What a name. Brandon Owens. You could be like a country singer or you could be a wide receiver. I love that name. Brandon Owens. Owens is a good last name, bro. If Boeing release a handful and not a whole fleet, they'll be all right. Well, as long as it it doesn't, as long as the FAA says they can fly. Remember, it was just, what, two weeks ago that those planes were just allowed back into China and then this shit happens. So as long as it doesn't get in the way of orders, but in the for the short run, they're, they're, they have a lot of questions they need to answer. I know. I, that's why I said the video is weird. Everybody was too calm. We might have to watch it. I might have to tell you. Everybody was so calm, and it wasn't even that loud. That's why I was like, bro. Like, I would be, I'm telling you, I would be trying to, I would be praying. I would be repenting. I say, the Lord gave me an opportunity to repent right before I die. He let the plane have the door wide open, and then I'm like, oh, shit. Like, nah, man. Where is it? You haven't seen the video? This is it. Look at it. Nobody's saying a word. Literally, ain't nobody saying shit. Nobody freaking out. Nobody praying. They just land. Nobody even clapped when they came down. Start talking when it's landed. Okay, so there was no one seated there. There was thankfully no one seated near the window. Yeah, they just said. 737 8 max. Yeah. <laughs> 9 max. I thought we were too. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. They were chilling way too hard, bro. Mm hmm. Yeah, that one, that would have been crazy. Alt huge pop. Didn't Alt move earlier? Boeing and everything else moving up. Yeah, Alt another big pop up three percent. Alt immune. So maybe it's in the biotech land again. They, did they have good data recently? Maybe that's gonna be another buyout. No, oh, bro, it's crazy. I used to jump out of planes because the army is very quiet and calming because of the wind. I'm just, I'd have never had that experience. I used to freak out when all of the panels were on the plane still, too. <laughs> like, oh, no, man, my first airplane. I, you know, my first airplane, I only went on a plane when I was 18 years old. Like, that's I never I didn't go on an airplane till I was 18. That's how, that's how you know my family, how we grew up, man. They were just like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I, I was terrified, bro. Mm. How much Zian moves in relation to the tenure? If it moves 25 basis points, how much is it going to move? It should move the same about a quarter, a quarter of a percent. So as far as I think it's like what? Is it like 10 or $15 per point zero zero one or point zero one? How you going to scream when air is sucked out and rapid loss pressure? I'd make hand signals or something. You would know I was freaking. I wouldn't be that calm. Maybe I will. I've never been in that situation, but yeah. Another high, baby. NVIDIA on the high. Again, Ultimune, that's running. Another biotech. You had a couple of that today. Boeing got smacked there back to the low of the day. But trying to come up here, but everything's running, man. Nothing could bring the market down. That's it. Today was a day of bad news in Boeing and everything. Banks even recovered. That's it. 47.60. Next level, 47.66. This is a new high of the year. Again, 47.63. 
That'll be the low candle of that Friday, and then it closed around 47.72. I believe that's where you fill that gap. Oh, my goodness. Your girlfriend's aunt started Hooters Airlines. She embezzled $10 million and went to prison in the jail with Martha's, Martha Stewart. Nice. Did she get out? What happened in the market talking about rate cuts not happening? The rate cut odds went back to pricing and rate cuts. Even this morning it was negative, and then they came right back, came right back up. So again, right now you're pricing and rate cuts. Like I showed on the watch list yesterday, the probability of a rate cut in March is still 60% or higher. So like literally, this is the paradox of the Fed futures, but like literally if uh, – if the Fed meeting was tomorrow, they would cut rates, believe it or not, or whatever. If the March meeting was tomorrow, they would cut rates. You have like, what, a couple of months, and then you're going to get another Fed meeting. But that right there says a lot. But it has already gone back and forth. It's far going up. MPW, go to the watch list. Second link, I explained it uh, for a little bit there and what my plan is and what happened uh, that led it to drop so much the other day. Do you have any collateral right now? What do you mean? Small camps looking to bounce back. Is it too late to get an IWM? Small long term? I don't know. If you want to add it to the long term, I mean, I, I take the IWM above any of the other indexes that are at highs. But, I mean, it's still up. I'm still up, like, I think 3 or 4% on my plays from uh, December. Yeah, literally 4% on the dot right now. So it's still up a lot. It was up as much as like seven and a half. So you're right at that 50-50 point. But I don't, know, I don't know about long term for that. That's just a trade. I'd be down a swing here throughout the year. Something that negates the market. I have a short ES. So I have a lot of upside Russell plays and then a couple of other things. And then I had a short ES I was just positive on. Uh, now we're negative on it after today, and then I have Pfizer. Uh, we bought puts to protect that position, but yeah, I do have some counter plays, but I, I am mostly bullish uh, in terms of what I'm holding. Yeah, it would be a hedge, not collateral. <laughs> You were supposed to go to a flight to Dominican Republican in 01. You were three and we couldn't get on because my uncle ain't have all his papers. That day we had to reschedule, but that mother effer crashed 15 minutes after departure. No way. That sound, that's too much final destination, bro. You've been cheating death. I'd be If that was me, bro, I'd be terrified. I wouldn't go into a bathroom after that. I'd be like the water and then I'm going to slip and then get electrocuted by a toaster. You can't cheat death. There's no way. Yeah, watch out for semis carrying longs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dead ass finger to the sky. That's a trip, bro. No way. That's wild. That's wild.
NVIDIA is 520, bro. You went 5%. Again, there was like good and bad news, but everybody only focused on what they thought was good. Chat GPT had a higher error rate for pediatric cases. Axios. I have JP Morgan puts and calls, but they're both washed. The calls are coming back up a little bit more. The puts are trying to come back up more, but the calls were just up 100% uh, yesterday or Friday, and then they came back down. You can't buy ChatGPT. You can buy Microsoft. They own a little bit of it. Until uh, there's like private shares offered, you might be able to get into a chat GPT offering. Other than that, you can't. Mm -mm. But JP Morgan, I mean, they were negative on there. Still down. And then Boeing, a little bounce. Again, Boeing just killing time. CP3 AI. It, it was cool when it came out, and I think it has a great ticker. That's what gets it involved with everything, but I really don't know how they perform as a company. You want the greedy short? Let's see. What do we got for the schedule tomorrow? Again, we got a couple more Fed speakers, and think about it. I mean, today we might be able to chalk it up to the Bostic pump above all else, but... Tomorrow morning, you're going to be getting uh, what? You're going to get inflation rate, balance of trade in a couple of countries, import exports. That could be decent. The Red Book, Fed Bar at 12, three year note auction. Uh, and then oil. There's really not much tomorrow. So, again, it might just be whatever we get overnight and then whatever happens in China and Europe. So, again, it's going to be slow up until Thursday, Friday. Because even then, this was a big move today, and we've we're, you know we've gotten two percent on the Nasdaq. You've got to recover everything back, but the problem is, I mean, we don't have a like there's there's not that much volume, even though everybody was supposed to be coming back. I think you're the one CP3 AI, yeah. Chris Paul, Allen Iverson. Mm. People are telling me to license your new product. I don't know what to do with the license. I could do it to you so you get money from it, but you're putting forth all the money right away to produce it. I'm not sure. Uh, email me, tradingfraternity at gmail.com. Boeing, just all of the news. There's one update that United Airlines, they found more planes that didn't really pass the inspection. Then it had that big drop and then kind of popped here with the rest of that little market pop. And then we're waiting, waiting got about one minute, one minute 20 uh, till the 10 minute rigged. Trump asks to halt proceedings on ballot access in Maine. Who do you have in tonight's CFP championship? What's a CFP championship? Hmm. Yeah, I do walk. I I can't believe it's still a spec. Even crazier. Davidia 521, bro. College football? Oh, I don't know. I don't really like college football that much. I know, heresy. My bad, but yeah, I don't really... I barely watch normal football. Pfizer's at 3 p.m. Pacific time. 6% uh, 6, 6 p.m. Eastern. So you're not going to really know what's going on with Pfizer till after hours, and then we'll go from there. Is 
Standard Charter Bake says Bitcoin could reach price of two hundred thousand by the neck end of next year if Bitcoin ETFs are approved. Oh my goodness. Yeah, everyone was Pelosi did go big on Nvidia. Just not too long ago. Ten minute rigged. Nvidia is still going. Let's see. IBB, that one's actually running up here again. KRE is even up 0.75. MPW, again, that was up in the morning and now that's flipped. I think all the other REITs are trying to work their way up though. Pfizer is still kind of holding. Market on close, 2.4 billion to the buy side. Wow, it's like a this was like a face ripper melt up. This is what we were talking about on Friday. If we got past those levels, we were going to get the melt, but you didn't get it. And then sure enough, literally right when we got past 4529, they just took off. And there you have it. Not bad for low volume. It's weird because it's like low volume, but then again, I think a lot of it was just bigger buyers. So we'll see. And then tomorrow there shouldn't be much, but we'll see how everything else opens up. Hey, dude, we're higher. This is it. This is higher than... Oh, excuse me. This is higher than any point in 2024. So, like, all of those little days are going down now. Like, look, you're you're coming right back up. You're almost about to fill these gaps. I'd be a AI bubble, but it could have been a crypto bubble if that comes to fruition. That'd be crazy. Because again, crypto was on fire all of last year too. It's just still coming out with a bang. Not on the futures. Russell came down. Russell's above two thousand on the futures. Even the Russell itself is at what nineteen eighty four. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Why? On the wet. I mean, the ruling, if it comes in bad, it'll get everybody clapped. But most people are pretty optimistic. Dude, EWJ hitting 52-week high. Japan going crazy, too. Again, yet was part of it. Because the P is silent. That's a good one. <laughs> I actually like that. I like the P is silent. That makes sense. We literally, first Monday, we have cleaned out the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all gone. That's crazy. I had Japan CPI after hours. Even the yen went up. A lot of things went up today. A lot of things, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Uh, gold came down a little bit. Yeah, gold is in. Oh, where's oil? Seventy-one oh six. It came up one percent. I don't think I'm gonna touch oil. All right, 50 more seconds, final five. Balance to the buy side. You're at another high of the day. Let's see what happens, Chad. My goodness. Mm. Everybody is a K.I.E. And then the I.B.B. Eli Lilly on the on the high. BA saved the account, got a long term. Nice. Nice. I'm up fifty percent on the one from earlier. 
The other ones went up like 10% because they're smaller and then still down uh, 50% on the ones in the morning. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice. Look at the time. Final five in Chattadonia. We got to get ready. You got to get ready. Mm -hmm. I think JP Morning, JP Morning, JP Morgan is either going to do nothing because it's already moved so much on earnings, or I do think it could surprise. It could have a pretty big surprise to either. I'm leaning more to the downside, but I bought calls just in case because if Jamie buy everything, you know, they, they could still go up. Mm -hmm. But Chattadonia. The end of the day is here. You're hitting a high. In one day, you have wiped out the other four days of going down. The worst start to the decade, but it's time we bring it home here. The new guy, not so new. This is his second year, I guess. He's going to come on here. He gets very, very loud, but that's why it's my duty to remind you that when I say earmuffs, it is going to get very loud in here. When I say earmuffs, you should be muting your speakers or covering your ears, especially if you are sensitive to loud noises, and loud noises could bring about verbal diarrhea, uh, you know, or ear. What's the what's the ocular? Not ocular. What am I thinking about? Uh, but just like diarrhea out of the ear, uh, dormant BBB, uh, a lot of other issues. Maybe you just get irritated, hives, itchies. Some people even get herpes from it. It's it's disgusting. Uh, but either way, auditory. Yeah, they're auditory diarrhea. That's the actual term. Uh, but in general. When I say earmuffs, I want you to be safe and protected, so mute your speakers. You guys have been a wonderful audience. You guys have had a lot of fun here. You have been a lot of fun, so I don't want you to end your day on a bad note. You know what I'm saying? So end the day on a good one, man. Enjoy it. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. But now it's time, baby. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. Earmuffs, earmuffs, earmuffs. You ready? Earmuffs, you got them? Good. Okay, mute that. It's going to get loud. It's going to get loud. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're making our final approach as we make our final approach. You guys are holding on to any bags. Uh, please stow them in the overhead bins above or firmly beneath your seats. We'll be coming through the aisles with a trash bag if you'd like to dispose of those bags. But as we make this final approach, we're going to be landing here into the second link terminal. Second link terminal in the description. That's going to be your nightly watch list and main channel layover around 4 p.m. Pacific time. Then we're going to be taking on promptly around 6 a.m. out of sunny San Diego. California. As we make this final approach into San Diego International Airport, it's about 56 degrees and sunny, but that's very cold for San Diego. Otherwise, it's a beautiful day unless you wanted to fly on a new salvage title Boeing 737 MAX 9. But the good news is we're no longer under COVID guidelines until the election, so no masks are required. But we do ask that you exit one row at a time and drop a GG on your way yet. As always, we appreciate you guys in business. If you're interested in your Cold Rapid Awards program card, Please select the under flight attendant, and we'll get you that as soon as possible. As always, thank you for flying with the coat, and hopefully have a wonderful evening. Chattadonia, time to bring it home. The spy has gone crazy. Everything's gone crazy. Russell almost 2%. The NASDAQ, but now you have one minute. Go, 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 go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to wrap it up. Bring it home. Finalize those plays. Speak now or forever hold your peace. You don't have much data tomorrow. Now the market, the bulls and bears, they're still going to be arguing. You got a lot to deal with. Finalize the plays, shares, options, futures. You got a couple of earnings. You got the healthcare conference after the bell still going on. There's a lot, but you got to wrap it up and bring it home because you have less than 10 seconds remaining. Let's go. Six. Five, four, three, two, one.
three, two, one. Ding 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 Oh, Chattadonia. We did it. We made it. Seven hours in the books. I hope you enjoyed it. But if you made it here to the bell, new or old, it don't matter. I need a GG in the chat right now. Good game, baby. Let's go. Don't matter if you made money or lost money. I know you learned something. Everybody that brought something to the table. Everybody that contributed. Plays, personalities, news, info, vibes. That's what I'm talking about. Way to hold it down. And listen, without a GG, you ain't really part of the community. Without a GG, I'm going to ban you. That's all I'm saying. If you get Chad facts that I see, you don't drop GGs as your last message. Oh, it's hard, bro. It's hard. That's it. You think you're the best Chad, the worst Chad. Without a GG, it don't matter. Without the GG, it don't matter. You better drop that. Let's go, baby. I see you too, Twitch. Way to hold it down. I hope you know we're stronger as one. Members, non-members, stream alerts. People in the game, baby. Way to hold it down. Shout out all the donos. Good game. Everybody showing love. My positive people. My people who make accounts to participate. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Good game. Way to hold it down. Good game, bro. That's how you play. GG, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. Good game. Good game, dog. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. You play well. Good game, bro. Peace. GG, dog. I need me to rock. You won't see me a lot. Monday through Friday, you need me. Let's talk. Oh, this one, can we run it? We can run it there, Chad. I love y'all. It gave me a little bit of beat to talk over. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. You guys were awesome. We started off the week with a bang, baby. Second one to the year. Now look at the market. You see it all, baby. God bless the Chad. Shout out Chad and Dolia. Thank you, guys. it man i'll give you one more later but that's it man i love y'all thank you for being here bro for real i hope you enjoyed today as much as i did but man thank you for all the chads who hold it down all the chads who are positive bro really a part of the community staying in the game watering and planting and nurturing that long term going after the philo baby taking care of your spirit baby let's I hope you enjoyed it, and welcome back, man. It's good to be back. It's good to be back for the new year. So that's it, man. Go check out the links. You could go through the description. Be an explorer tonight. The watch list. Y'all asking me about MPW. All right, you asking me about gentlemen. play. We got I it. Look at I got it right here, man. We got it. Who you got? You got everything. What, what to expect? You got Baidu, Baba Plays. What else? We got Baidu. TLT, Even the ZB, the, like the Humana. The Wait, morning. is that it? I need oh, the this isn't. The, oh, this is the wrong one. I didn't even update the watch list. That's my fault. That's my fault, man. I, I didn't even give you the MPW one. I didn't even post it in there. I thought I did. I thought I did. Look at me. I'm, I'm a mess, man. I'm a mess. But thank you all. God bless you. Second link. First link, you want free free alerts for the long term. You should have got one today with the cover calls. You even got the stream alerts. If you don't pay attention, you can pay the premium. Maybe you just want to support, support, support. Shout out to the stream alerts, baby. But God bless you. Yeah, if you ain't like the video, you can run it up now. We still hit 1,000. Okay, baby. 
I'll take it, but for real, man, y'all hold it down regardless, man. And some of your attitudes, and I could tell because I could do the Chad facts. You know what I'm saying? So like or not, man, it don't matter. The way I see y'all and I get to see how y'all have contributed over the years, I'm very, very grateful. So thank you all who held it down, especially if you show love to your brothers and sisters in here. Everything else is just extra, so check them out, man. You can become a member, third link, merch. I don't know if we have it updated, Colt Real Estate, Colt Cards. We haven't done anything on there in, like, years, man. Follow me on Instagram, though. You can do that. You can follow me on Instagram. I posted a picture of my body. Does that sound, does that sound way? Not like OnlyFans type beat. Not suitable for children. Kids don't even want uh, Anyway, that's a South Park joke. South Park joke. You got to see it. But anyways, you can go check it out. Follow me on Instagram, man. How the option pricing works. That's a good one. We even had another tutorial to start off the year. You should check it out on the main channel. How to set up the long term. It's killing it. It loves today. It loves today. It really, really does. And then finally... Finally, finally, the prayer request walk. So listen, pray for me, man, but pray for my spirit, okay? I'm praying for y'all spirits. I already told y'all. That's all it is, man. I'm praying for that self-power, you know, and this is what we do, man. We've been praying for each other for a while now. I think it works. You tell me. I think it does. I've seen it work, but I don't care if you fill it out or not. I'm still going to pray for you, man. We spend so much time with each other. It'd be a shame if we didn't look out over each other, if we didn't want each other to be doing good. You know what I'm saying? That's why some of y'all, I see the chat facts. I see the side eye. You know, you a head scratcher, but still, though, I'm praying for y'all. And y'all got to pray for each other, too, man. This is what it's about. This is what we've always held down for a while, man. So, listen, y'all fill it out. You don't. I'm still going to pray for you, man. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Call it a day, but that is it, Chattadonia. That's all I have for it. I got to go get my food. I got to go get my dump. You know, it's been a long, long day to start off Monday. You know, that's it. We have been having daylight savings and no caffeine. I've been dipping out of here. I think I'm going to have to do it again. I'll give you one more, but for real. Thank you all for being here. I'll see you on the watch list in the morning. And uh, I'll give you one. I'll give you a little update. I'll send you. I don't know. I, he, he, he keeps sending me these, bro. He keeps sending me. I get, I get updates on him. I'll give you a little bit. I mean, I'm only, I'm, you ain't going to get all of it, though. Oh, I don't want to play for y'all. They don't like y'all. No, oh, I won't play, bro. Oh, I got to download it. Why won't it download? Oh, there it is. place we could talk about it chad another time another place we could talk about it chad Adoni, i love you god bless you have a wonderful day okay enjoy your day i'm gonna see you on the watch list you better wake up and drive tomorrow you got the rest of the day to do a lot bro you got a lot you got the rest of the day to do a lot baby you got it so do it do it with some drive man let's go focus on the spirit oh i hope they feel me man i hope they feel me but chad Adonia, i love you all Thank you again. Don't ever forget why we're here.
why we keep going. Why that faith, hope, and love ain't never going out of style besides the intellect, besides the material. We also know something more important, baby. Why, baby, why? Ah. Finger to the sky, baby. To God be the glory and through the grace of God alone. Amen. Amen. Oh. So, Chattadonia, I will see y'all in a little bit. Enjoy the evening and peace. Oh. Now, 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 before you get going, Joshua, is it a coincidence that the same plane, the only plane manufactured in the United States, keeps falling or having a problem, but we keep using them? If I... Is there a way I can opt out of flying on a Boeing? Is that possible? No. No. So you're telling me the only thing we could do is fly on a Boeing. You're t uh, how come nobody went to jail? Is it ironic? Is it, is it ironic more people went to jail over the Japanese yen than they did for Boeing killing 500 people? Exactly. I reclaim my time. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye. I yield back. Goodbye. Yes, the Japanese yen. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. 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 <laughs>